And now, ladies and gentlemen, time for the show. Once again, thank you for coming to our theater tonight. Have an enjoyable evening. The refreshment stand will remain open for a short time. Still plenty of time to get a snack or cold drink. We'll make an announcement before the stand closes to give you plenty of time to get that last-minute treat. Hey, everybody. Give me one second. Let me do that. And then I do... And then I do... This? There we go. Uh... Nancy Drew's a little bit weird in how I have to uh, capture it. Get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah! Yes! Yes! Good morning, Elise Explosion. 13 months says 13 whole American months. I'm a little bit weird. Uh, I don't know how long the stream is going to be. I say this often. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? We'll see. It'll be longer than 30 minutes. Well, at the very least, it's going to be longer than 30 minutes. So we're going to play some uh, Nancy Drew... Which one is this one? Curse of Blackmoor Manor. And then... Welcome to my latest case, The Curse of Blackmoor Manor. To start, choose junior or senior detective. Mm. If you're new to adventure games or need some help, choose gameplay overview. Uh, th this, um... We may play something else later today. I don't know how long it's going to take me to get tired of Nancy Drew. Get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah! Yes! Yes! Bean Bag, thank you so much for the two months. Yeah, I changed up some mods. I like, I... I like to switch it up. You never know what you're gonna get here. If there's one thing, you know, one way to keep a reliable staff is to constantly change it. And that's, <laughs> that's what I'm going for. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go junior detective. Dear Ned, greetings from jolly old England. Although right now I'm not so sure about the jolly part. That's because I'm on my way to Blackmore Manor where the daughter of one of our neighbors is living. The daughter, whose name is Linda, recently married Hugh Pendleton, a British diplomat. Hugh travels a lot, so the only people at the manor with Linda are Hugh's aunt, Mrs. Drake, mm -hmm. and Hugh's 12-year-old daughter, Jane. Mm -hmm. The thing is, mm -hmm. ever since Linda moved into the manor, her health has gone downhill. She's practically bedridden, and no one seems to know why. Her mother is convinced something is terribly wrong and wants me to find out what. So here I am, about to be dropped off at a huge centuries-old mansion in the middle of a dark, foggy moor. <laughs> I can't tell whether the butterflies in my stomach are because I'm excited or just a tad creeped out. Talk to you soon. I hope. Nancy. Night, Mish. Good luck. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is pretty nice. A little, a little spooky. Very slowly. Nancy. Who's there? Hello. The fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> There's something out there! 
Where, child? <laughs> Over there! <laughs> I mean, something was out there. Uh, come in. I'm Mrs. Drake. I take it you're Nancy Drew? Yes, and I really did see something, Mrs. Drake. I heard something, too. Oh, people are always seeing and hearing things on the moor at night. Especially you Americans. Why don't you just go on up to your room? It's the one with the moon on the door. I'd like to see Linda, if I could. I'm afraid Linda is, uh, not quite ready to meet with you just now. But please, come see me after you've unpacked. I'll be in the conservatory. All right, thank you. All right. You Americans. Especially all you Amer- Were, Was her voice a little bit loud? She- I feel like she was yelling at me a bit. How do I, uh... Oh, we should save. Nance. It had a ton of bass. Uh. Dear Ned, greetings dear Ned. from Jolly Old England. Dear Ned, greetings from Jolly Old England. Dear Ned, greetings from Jolly Old England. Dear Ned. Greetings from jolly fucking old England, okay? <laughs> Let's see here. That looks important. Anything, anything in here? No. I like this blue wall in jolly old England. Wonder what goes there. Something fits in here, but what? I'm glad we're not locked in prison. Uh, if you weren't there for our last Nancy Drew game, we were stuck in prison the whole game. It was not very fun. There's a parrot you can talk to for hints in this game. All right, I'll be on the lookout. Uh. Oh boy. Okay. Hey, thanks Adam for those bits. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna take those bits and solve uh, a mystery of sorts. A tripod? For a camera, maybe? So there's like an alarm. Is the music loud for you guys? Good, because that means I'm gonna change my. I'm gonna change it, because it got loud for me too. Dear Ned, greetings from Dear jolly Ned. old England. Dear Ned. Fucking greetings from jolly old England. Love for music 92. Thank you for the two months. Okay, I need to get out of this. I need to get out. No. I mean, away from the clock. Get me... No. Ball's Head Pub, this is Tommy. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Right, right, Nancy Drew, out at the old Blackmore Manor, are you? Coo, you must be ain't starving up there. Pity about your kitchen, but we'll fix you up for some Bex and Posh. Just tell me what you'd like. I'd like some Bex uh, and Posh. Okay, what do you have? We've got some loop-de-loop, -loop, bangers and mash, a real fine pinky and perky, and a delicious dog's eye, me fork and knife, just rubber duct. Yeah. Hello. Uh, <laughs> all of it. Could you repeat that? All of it. Sure. Oh, we've got some loop-de-loop -loop bangers and mash, pinky and perky in a dog's eye, and they're all Robin Hood. I'd like some loop-de-loop, -loop, please. I have some loop-de-loop. -loop. Okay, one loop-de-loop. -loop. Uncle Fred and Johnny Rudder? Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Alright then, 
We'll come round and leave it at your Rory. Oh, and we've got no hot potato about, so it might take a bit. But we'll have it up to you in no time. Fish and taters. Fish and taters. Let's see who, let's I'm see sorry, what- I'm sorry, I cannot take your call right now. Either leave me a message at the embassy or call me back later. Thank you. Okay. We've got some food on the way. Uh, that... That's probably helpful. How do I get out of here? Where's the... Where's the leave? There we go. Oh, but... What about that box? Oh... Well, this all looks like a bunch of business I'm gonna have to take care of at some point, and it's not gonna be entertaining. <laughs> Okay, well... How ever do I have to learn this? Yes, I'm afraid you do. If I do well, can we play a game? Yes, but only in French. Oh... Only in French? We're in lessons right now! Hello, governor! I need the key. I need the key. I need the key, governor. I need the key. We're in lessons right now. Hello. I'm afraid we're busy. It's Nancy Drew. Come back later, please. Hmm. Creepy. Oh, forget it. Stay in Italy as long as Let's see some serious coinage here. That's big money. Excellent. Oh, Vanna. Titanium 229 donated $12. It says, Hey Ian, I've been having a rough time lately and your streams always seem to perk me up a bit. Thanks for just being a cool, funny dude. Thank you so much, Titanium. Uh, I'm sorry you're having a rough time lately. Um, I hope that passes quick. In the meantime, enjoy the stream while we... Uh, you know, solve... Is there a mystery yet? Govna, is there a mystery yet? I'm gonna use that money to buy a loop-de-loop. -loop. I, I want that. I want that. No. Linda? <gasps> Hi, it's me, Nancy Drew. There's a person back Nancy there. Drew, our friendly neighborhood detective. Well... Welcome to Blackmore Manor. I apologize for greeting you under such unusual circumstances. I want to see your face. Uh... And I'm sorry to have to bother someone in your condition. My condition? What's my mother told you? What her son-in-law keeps telling me? That it's all in my head? That I'm just an unhappy new bride? That I just need time to adjust? Uh, I don't know. I'm tired all the time. My mouth is dry. My vision is blurry. But that's not important. Here's what's important. I'm dying, but that's not important. There are some doors that should never be opened. There are some doors that hold secrets which must never be known. That's everything you need to know. Now it... Mummy, can I come in? Mummy! No. You're supposed to be in your lessons. Lessons are over. I want to meet Nancy. I said no, Jane. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, Jane. That was my stepdaughter. She can be such a pest sometimes. Anyway, I understand you feel an obligation to my mother, but trust me, there's nothing you can do. You're welcome to stay, but I strongly recommend that you go home as soon as possible. It might jeopardize my ace detective status if I go home empty-handed. Please, Linda, just tell me what's wrong. Linda? Okay, I'll let you rest, but I'll be back. I'm here for you if you need me. Yeah. Okay. Mm, is that it? I think that's it for this. This must be Mrs. Drake's room. Guess she's not in her room. Let me in. Guess nope. she's not in her room. Is she in her room?
This is such a zany mansion. Oh, it's just a parrot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you didn't. Did you? Did you? I don't want to have a conversation with a parrot. What's your name? Lolo. 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 Okay, I get the point. Lulu. Lolo. 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 Do you, by any chance, know Latin? Uh, take that as a yes. Would you mind translating something for me? Fire away. Uh, I don't know. Can, can I get Benjamin? out? I don't want to talk to you anymore. The shortest day is broom the winter solstice. Let's see some serious coinage here. That's big money. Excellent. Oh, Vanna. Bye, bird. Don't leave me. I love you. Who's the pretty bird in the mirror? Don't leave me. I love you. Uh, Megara CG donated $10 and says, Hey Ian, my mom and I used to play Nancy Drew games every Mother's Day and we just played this one. Good luck, it's kind of a toughie. You know, I, I saw that while I was, when I bought this, I looked at the, uh... Who's the pretty bird in the mirror? Shut up, Lulu. At the descriptions, there were people I saying that this see. one gets a little, uh... Can I put the blanket back over the parrot? <laughs> yeah, this one's supposed to get a little tricky though. Um, but thanks so much. Hopefully you'll be here uh, if I end up needing a hint. Oh my God, I don't know about this. There goes my cell phone. Hello? Hi Nancy, it's Mrs. Petrov. How is everything? Have you seen Linda yet? Yes, and I'm afraid she seemed really depressed. Kentucky Fried <laughs> Lulu. <laughs> I've never known her to act like this. The last doctor that examined her said that aside from a little dry skin, which is not unusual for her, she was perfectly fine. Why is she hiding behind that curtain? I have no idea. When I was out there last week, I got fed up and pulled the curtain back. She threw a fit, but otherwise she looked absolutely normal. A little pale, perhaps, but who wouldn't be pale, cooped up like that? Something has changed her. Something in that house. Hugh is just as bewildered and upset by her behavior as I am. Please get to the bottom of this, Nancy. You're our last hope. Who exactly is Mrs. Drake? She's Hugh's aunt. She's taken care of Blackmore Manor ever since her brother died. He was Hugh's father. Too many... Mm, a character. Too many people. I'm not going to be able to keep up with all these all in these people way? the way she spends all her time in that conservatory slouching around trowel in hand murmuring to herself she'd think she was burying something or somebody where is hugh he was called to rome as a diplomat he's always being called out of the country without mm -hmm. warning without any say in the matter mm -hmm. he'd much rather be there with linda mm -hmm. although... although what it's just that hugh said it hasn't been very easy for him to talk to her lately. Whenever he calls, which is at least once a day, Linda always seems to fly off the handle for no reason. Classic which Linda. Which makes sense. Linda has always been extremely level-headed and even tempered. She never gets angry. At least she didn't used to. Well, Goodbye, now she does, because she's, uh... One more thing. My niece is on call and her husband's out of town, and, and I told her I'd go over there and babysit if she had to work. Okay. So if you call and I don't answer, that's why. Bye. Okay. So she's a werewolf, right? Is that what we've decided? Ooh, can I get my fortune told by that thing over there? Is that a fortune teller thing? Oh, geez. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, uh, okay, that's not, this is not what I thought it was. Uh, 
I don't know why you would put this in like your entryway though. Oh my God, there's so many. Okay. So this I recognize, right? This looks like what we saw in our, our room. Oh, hello. Ah, yes. Are you here from the agency? It's about time. Yeah. Agency? Oh, dear. You're not the typist from the spiffy specialty agency, I am. Are you? I am. Well, how do you do? I'm Nigel Mukherjee. I am a spiffy... I'm a spiffy specialist typer, or wh uh, whatever the hell. I'm Nancy Drew. What are you working on? I'm researching the Pendulin family, and Mrs. Drake has graciously opened the library for me. Nothing much has been written about the Pendulins. Until now. Why do you think that is? It might have something to do with their scandalous history. Or perhaps it has something to do with the family too. Ooh, I want to know about both of those things. Scandalous history? Well, having a family member burned as a witch can hardly be considered a mark of pride, I dare say. And then there's the whole business with the Blackmoor Beast. Who? Who was the family member? Eleanor Pendleton, tried and convicted oh. of witchcraft in 1650. That was a while ago. Witch trials here in Essex. It was rumored that Cromwell arranged the conviction. But she wasn't actually a witch? Who knows? Lady Penvelin was a rather vocal critic of Cromwell's policies and helped many of his enemies flee the country. Whether she actually was a practitioner of witchcraft is unknown, although many visitors to the manor during her tenure reported hearing strange ghostly bells. Ghost bells? Some she must be a witch. Floating about the manor, tolling their charmed chimes. I don't know Can about the beast. Tell me about the Blackmore Beast? It's a story that's been told for generations out here. During the 1600s, many of the villagers reported seeing a strange beast with red eyes and giant fangs prowling the moors. They asked the mistress of Blackmore Manor, Eleanor Pendleton, to put a bounty on the beast's head. But, oddly enough, she not only refused, she forbade anyone from hunting the creature. It was rumored that the beast was Eleanor's husband, whom she had cursed for mm. finding out too much about the Pendleton. Mm. She turned people into werewolves. Uh, what's your Pendleton's what's the secret? secret? For centuries, the Pendleton have been very secretive. Some believe they're protectors of a fabulous treasure or of some dark secret. Dude, I wish my family guarded a secret. I don't. I don't think that we did. I guess we could have. Who are all those paintings of in the Great Hall? Those are the Penvalins who owned Blackmoor Manor at one time or another. I'll let you get back to your work. Goodbye. Okay. Uh, he was he was pretty helpful. Oh God. Uh, that was a bit too close. Fascinating piece, isn't it? James Penvalin sculpted it in 1591. Although it appears that wand was added at a later date. He was quite a flamboyant figure and never married. But one day, a child appeared quite mysteriously in the castle, and he took her in as his own. That was Eleanor. Okay, all right. Many of the town folk believed all her right. to be a changeling all right. or fairy baby. A, f a fairy baby? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Is that a vampire up there? track the provenance of that piece but Philippe must have brought it back from the new world my own business wealthy as a merchant bro Americas, and restored Blackmore's original splendor after it had been abandoned for years his daughter Penelope continued the renovation commissioning the construction of this library by Roger Vizier who built a similar one for the French general Jean Leboeuf I didn't ask you fucking do you mind Fairy if I baby. Use this computer? No, not at all. But it's very old. Feel free to use mine if I'm not here. Who's Alan? Alan Penvelin was a noted researcher in computers and languages. Jane let me into his computer, but there was nothing much of interest on it. What's the password? I'm not sure. <laughs> What's the password? Atesway. <laughs> Merci. But <laughs> what's the password? 
Congrats uh, on your Great Britain gig. We'll be thinking of you while we help our neighbor, Mr. Bergdorf, install his brand new satellite dish and big screen television. Hopefully our unselfish act of kindness will help him forget all about those petunias we trampled while chasing fly balls into his yard and will compel him to invite us over once in a while. Like whenever a major sports event is on. Good luck cracking the case, Frank and Joe. Uh, thanks, Frank. Frank and Joe, I guess. Hey there, goat. Thank you for those bits. Um, no more, no email. Service abroad. So what's the point? Uh. Okay. All right. Yeah, you can still. He's typing up a storm over there. Uh, that looks... I'm researching Philippe would you shut it? That many scholars believe he was a pirate. That would explain his source of wealth. Those manuscripts are very old and brittle. They date back to the 14th century. Odo Penvelin collected most of them. His father, Randolph, and son, Milo, were rather more interested in military victories than in book collecting. How can he see where I am? He's on the other side of... <laughs> He's on the other side of the shelf. I'm gonna... Okay. That's enough of this room, I think. For now, let's get away from this guy. Get out of here. Let me out. I don't know about this flooring. This flooring is a little on the, on the ugly side. Well, there's the bird. There's uh, Lulu, maybe. Hello. Hello, governor. Uh, okay. Oh, here we go. What happened in there? Please stay out of the kitchen until the fire damage is repaired. How about I just go into the kitchen anyway? can't. Okay. Hello? Oh! This is a- this is a pretty neat room. Really gotta go down those stairs, don't I? Oh dear, getting a tad dry, aren't we? Oh dear. Doesn't work. This must be some kind of well. But where's the water? Hello. Hello. Uh, where did that voice come from? A carnivorous plant. Oh, God. Cool. Uh, uh, That's probably not a good No, idea. it's probably not. Oh! All settled in? Good. I'm happy that you're visiting Linda, but I know how much you teenagers like your televisions and loud stereos, so I must insist that you act respectfully and civilly while you stay with us. Since my nephew Hugh is away on business, I am in charge. My nephew. And if there's one thing I cannot stand, it's noise. Hugh's daughter Jane is staying with us and would very much like to meet you. But please try not to distract her. She has her studies and mustn't be disturbed during her lessons. Do you know what's wrong with Linda? Oh, Linda simply needs some time to adjust to her new living situation. England is not the United States. We do things differently, or should I say, properly, here. Uh -huh. The doctor believes it's just a case of nerves. Her mother told me she refused to let anyone see her. Uh... Her mother told me she refuses to let anyone see her. Is that true? I don't know, and the doctors don't know. No one seems to know anything. All I've been told is that Linda is unwell, and that in her stead, 
I must look after matters. Now, please, I really do not have time to entertain you. You may have the run of the house, but do not break anything, and refrain from mucking about with items that aren't yours. Two rules Jane seems incapable of following. And before I forget, our kitchen is being remodeled. So I'm going our in the kitchen, situation dude. Is rather unorthodox. I've made arrangements with a local restaurant to deliver meals to us. There should be a programmed number for them on the phone in your room. Feel free to order whatever you'd like. Concerned about... Okay, I don't really care about the food. Uh... Do you know what the password is for the computer in the library? No, that was my brother's toy. Okay. Uh... This conservatory is very beautiful. But why isn't there any water in the well? I'm not quite sure. We never really used it, but it was always full of water. That is until my brother died. And then it just dried up. Maybe he was Most the one of filling it? Were brought over by my grandfather. He was quite the adventurer. I remember when he brought back Lulu from the Amazon. At first, Mother wouldn't allow us to play with it because it had picked up too many unsuitable words from sailors. But it gradually learned proper manners. I'm concerned about that thing I saw outside. It was purely your imagination, unless you saw a, a stray dog. No. But I will not countenance any histronics about this issue. We have enough to worry about with Linda. And please do not get any ideas about going outside to investigate. I'm gonna go outside to investigate. Tracking mud all over That's exactly house. what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go out and investigate and just track mud fucking everywhere. This place must have quite a history. Where can I learn more? Go see Nigel in the library. No, not He's again. To write a book about our family history. Goodbye. The pleasure is all mine, child. I feel like if we weren't a dirty, filthy, disgusting American, we might have solved the mystery already. Uh, that's that's just how I feel about it. Messing with her plants is probably not a good idea. I don't care. I'm a detective. I'm gonna mess with whatever. Uh, one tablet every six hours at something for allergy symptoms may cause drowsiness. Do you have allergies, oh. Mrs. Drake? Oh, yes. Hay fever. Although I'm not at all sure what's worse. My allergies or that medication. It makes me feel as if I'm about to float right out of my shoes. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Alright. Hungry! Who's ready for some nummies? Did you say some something, nummies? Mrs. Drake? Not to you, dear. No nummies for you, dear. No nummies for you. Looks like John Pemblin may have developed some of the plants that are in here himself. Is <laughs> she Mary Poppins? She sounds like she got, she took too much of that medication and she thinks she's Mary Poppins. <laughs> okay, so obviously I'm gonna have to fill this up at some point. Uh... Uh, can I go outside then? I want to go look for the, uh... I want to look for the... Monster Man. I'd better stay inside. If I track mud in the house, Mrs. Drake will kill me. Well, I want to solve this mystery, but I don't want to track mud inside. How do I get these to be red? Red. 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 I get it. No email service. I just want the thing to go away. Is it telling me I should call home? Oh, I can call Ned. Hello? Hi, Ned. Hey, Nancy. 
What's going on? Let's just say that so far your call is the high point of my day. So how's Blackmore Manor? A little on the spooky side. How's Mrs. Petrov's daughter? A little on the spooky side. <laughs> it's just very strange. She stays in bed hiding behind this curtain all day. Do you have any idea what the deal is? Nope. We'll just keep talking to her. As soon as okay. she knows she can trust you, I'm sure she'll open up. I'll talk to you soon. Just be careful over there. Oh, alrighty, alrighty. Are those all the rooms? Surely that's not all the rooms. Can we go? God, that parrot. Hello, are you done with your lessons? Hi, you must be Nancy. I'm so pleased you're here. I'm uh -huh. Jean. I know you've come to visit my stepmom, but I'd love it if you could pop by whenever you get the chance. Oh, we'll have such fun. Let's play a game. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, sure, Jen, what do you want to play? play? Let's play this card game I found in your room. Actually, it's Bridget's room. Why are you I in my room? in my room? I mean, she died like 300 years ago. You can see a painting of her in the Great Hall. She's the one with the telescope. Okay, so you have to match up a pair of constellations. I made all the matches in 40 tries. Try to beat my record. Oh no. Oh wait. Did I not just... Uh... I saw that one. Fuck, dude. Ah. They all just look like X's. You beat my score. Felicitations. That was fun. <laughs> Felicitations. Like questions. Sure, what do you want to know? About mummy? Uh, I mean, Linda. I do hope you'll help. She's been a bit out of sorts lately. Uh... Do you know why she doesn't want to be seen? I think maybe it's because of the lady in black. I was playing in Mommy's room when she wasn't there, and when I looked up, there was a lady all dressed in black putting something on Mommy's nightstand. The woman left something? The lady put a note on Mommy's nightstand, but I didn't read it. That's when Mommy started feeling poorly. I don't want to think about that. Let's play a game. It will cheer me up. Do I just have to keep playing games to pump her for information? I just gotta keep playing sure. games. What would you like to play? Look inside the chest over there and pick a game. My great aunt said it's a hope chest, so I put my games in there in the hope someone would come over to play. We can play both. Uh, uh, punch, skull and bones, and I also have a jigsaw puzzle. You sure have a lot of games. I love games. I want to make computer games when I grow up. Uh. Well, I definitely don't want to play with the baby. Uh. Can I try the jigsaw puzzle? Let's see how quick your reflexes are. I'll time you. Ah, uh, don't do that. Mark, uh. Ah. Uh, oh my god. Five minutes. Shut up. Why did we dump them all on- Ah! Okay, there's a corner piece. That definitely goes here. Uh... 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 A corner piece... Corner piece... Uh, we'll get to it later. Probably goes there. Corner piece.
shut up! Shut up! What? Oh, does this not? Oh, oh. There. Smoking. So I do. I just have to keep playing games with her to uh, to pump this child for information. <laughs> have you ever seen anything strange outside? Once I saw my Uncle Roger's toupee fly off during a windstorm. Talk about freaky. It's not what I meant. I mean, have you seen a strange animal outside? No, but I have heard weird noises like this. Howling. But not like a dog howling, more like something human. I don't want to think about that. It's scary enough having to live in this gloomy place. Well, you have to think about it if you're hearing spooky human howling outside. Uh, Do you know what's the password? what the password is for the computer in the library? Yes, but I won't tell. Not unless you beat me at Skull and Bones. God! When Hulga bought this for me, it's like go fish, but you have to collect three of a kind of weird things like zombies and ghosts. You go first. This is not how you make friends, kid. You don't just force them to play games. Do you have any ghosts? Go dig. Do you have any zombies? Go dig. Go dig. Do you have any bones? Here you go. I need some bones. Do you have any haunted houses? Here you go. Do you have any spiders? Dig. Do you have any zombies? Afraid not. Do you have any ghosts? Nada. Tombstones? All yours. Don't you Do ask you for zombies. Don't you? All yours. Don't you ask for zombies. Do you have any coffins? No. Get out your shovel. Do you have any zombies? Here you go. That's a match. That's right, bitch. Do you have any ghosts? Go dig. Do you have any spiders? You're going to have to go dig. Do you have any bones? Sorry. Ah. Do you have any coffins? Sorry. Do you have any haunted houses? Nada. Do you have any spiders? You're going to have to go dig. You this got a is a really good, you. good. Do you have any bats? Fun dig. game. Doomstones? Go dig. Do you have any skulls? Go dig. Any haunted houses? Oh, oh you yours. bitch. A Don't match. ask me for time. Oh, Don't ask really me for nice. anything, actually. I can't. Do you have any spiders? You're going to have to go dig. Do you have any tombstones? Here you go. That's a match. Do you have any bones? Here you go. I got a match. Do you have any ghosts? Here you go. That's right, I bitch. That's Do you right, have any bitch. Skulls? Go dig. That's a match. Your witches, please? All yours. Do you have any spiders? Go dig. Do you have any skulls? Here you go. I got a match. Oh, oh, I still have witches. Do you have any witches? Here you go. That's a match. Do you have any spiders? I win. Girl got you demolished. Won. Good job. Okay. Demolished. The my grandfather's computer is on his coat of arms, plain as day. I don't know. Okay, 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 okay. Was was her grandfather the one with the telescope? The lady in black you Maybe? saw in Linda's room. Did she look like anyone you know? Like I said before, I couldn't really see her face, but she was kind of dressed like the lady in the great hall. Which lady? Eleanor. I know it sounds weird. That's why I didn't want to tell anyone. It's too creepy. Sometimes I wonder if I just dreamed it all up. Mrs. Drake is always saying I have a rampant imagination. Okay. Uh, I'm actually gonna keep a little notepad just, just because I tend I tend to forget things. Uh. Uh.
Okay. Do you think there's a treasure hidden around here? I highly doubt it. I mean, if there were, wouldn't someone have already found it? When I asked Ethel about it, she said that it's the Penvillain name and heritage that should be treasured. Blech. Okay, I well, get going. time to leave this t uh, terrifying child. Nigel gave that to me when I was in the library once. I think he was hoping it would scare me, but it didn't. I'm too smart to believe in that sort of stuff. Here we go. Since ancient times, the cunning savagery of wolves has both terrified and awed the humans with whom they came into contact. In Europe, where wolves were a constant threat to livestock, and allegedly to small children and lone travelers, Legends as to their evil vic viciousness became widespread. Predictably, one of these legends involved humans who could transform themselves into wolves. These creatures were, ca were called werewolves. Were means man. And the transformation came to be known as lycan lycanthropy. Lycanthropy? <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. I'm reading. Shut up. Shut it. Shut it. Shut up, please. Oh my god, shut up. This is a very scientific picture right here. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's just like a lot of talking. Oh wait, there was a phone number. Maybe I wonder if I could call the uh Maybe this person knows all about What you know, let me out. It would be rude to use it now. An introduction to runes. Runes are a set of symbols that came to Britain with the ancient Germanic people who immigrated to the country around 450 AD. Uh, they were used throughout Northern Europe during the Dark Ages, which lasted from around 500 to 1500. Because these symbols were used for writing, they can be termed... They can be termed an alphabet. The original runic alphabet was made up of 24 symbols and is known as the Elder uh, Futh Futhark. <laughs> These runes were okay, so I'm gonna need to use runes at some point. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to translate something with runes. While this bitch hums. Who's this? That's my mom, my real mom. She's an opera singer. It's not like she's famous or anything, but she does live in Paris. What is this book? Don't know really. Ethel gave it to me. She said it belonged to my grandfather. Do you think Brady Armstrong is cute? What? Oh my god, there's so many symbols and crap in here. Each of those cups seems to be associated with a Roman numeral. Oh my god. Okay. That was written by Charles Pemberton way back in like the 1500s. When I read it, it seemed really Get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah! Yes! Yes! Pew, pew, Tora. Thank you so much for subscribing. I didn't know you can share that you subscribed, but yeah, Nancy Drew is my homie, by the way. Nancy Drew really just needs to get her shit together. Oh my god, but thank you, thank you so much, Pew Pew Dora. Oh my god. That was for you, I hope you enjoyed that. You had a guinea pig? Yes, but it died. When? I don't know, I'd really rather not think about it, alright? 
win? I don't know. I, I don't remember. Looks like you're learning some interesting stuff. Bet you wouldn't say that if you were the one who had to learn it. Oh my god. Get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah! I totally love that show. Isn't Brady Armstrong so dreamy? Oh, look at how dreamy Brady Armstrong is. Look at that. How can you say no to that? That dreamy face. It's not lumpy or anything. Zerasin! Yeah, thank you for the two months, which isn't really two months. Uh, says, I haven't really subbed for two months, had to take a break, but yay. Thank you so much. Please enjoy this nice view of, of uh, Brady Armstrong. I bet Brady Armstrong, I bet it, it comes down to Brady Armstrong. I bet Brady Armstrong is the, uh, is the, is the werewolf. I gotta get away from this. Oh my god, were the, did the door just blink at me? I need the key. I need the key. Why do I need the key, though? Brady Armstrong did it. So we definitely need the key at some point. Ooh! Bling! Whoop! Is this a sound effect staircase or something? What the? Oh, okay. I see. Well, that's gonna be a lot to remember. Um. Bling. Whoop. I don't know how I'm going to remember which sound effect is which. Whoop does not sound like whoop to me. They should have just put organ or something. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do my best here. Oh, they, it tells me, it, it tells me, okay. So, whoop is one. Bling is two. Blading is three. Mike M. Twitch, thank you so much for subscribing. Says, been watching the archives while I work. Finally made it to a live one. Also, thanks, chat, for teaching me how Twitch works. Thank you, chat, for teaching how Twitch works. Because I did not know that someone needed help with that. Thank you for helping me out with that. And thanks so much, Mike, for subscribing. Let me, uh, this, this puzzle is for you, assuming that this is how I'm supposed to solve it. Uh, let me back up first. Back up. Okay. Ooh, I need the key. I need the key. Now let us never go up that staircase again. I need the key. 
Get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah! Yes! Otto Raynar, thank you so much for the it fits, but it won't turn. I need to put some kind of grease in there first. Fifteen months. You have to grease the key. Someone said I should try it backwards. It's not a bad idea. Maybe I'll get something else. I, th I probably won't, but I might as well while I'm here. Yeah, no. Okay, so we gotta lube up the key or something? I don't know. I don't know that I've ever needed to do that with a key before. Uh, I want to say that her grandfather, because I know she specifically mentioned someone with a telescope, but I don't remember, uh, No, because that is not, uh, that would not be a grandfather. Am I supposed to do, am I just supposed to do trial and error to figure out which one is her grandfather? Is that the goal here? Well, that, surely that's not the grandfather. That's gotta be, get me out of here, get me out. Hmm. Yeah, that was gonna be my guess. My guess was gonna be this one here because the bird is still alive. So, you know, that seems like it's recent enough to maybe be a, a grandfather per Ares ad animum. No. Maybe it's... I appreciate the, uh... The, uh... The hints. Uh, but please uh, stop. <laughs> uh, when I feel stuck, I, I will give a heads up. Uh, but I don't. Uh, I don't want to just be walked through this game. Hey, no attention to the you know. Behind the curtain. Uh, How good are you at giving hints? Tell your trouble to Lulu. Okay, well, I don't want either of those things. Bye, bird. Bob's your uncle. And the winner is Lulu. Who's the pretty bird in the mirror? Oh, my God. Feet prints. Is
Is there a werewolf in here? So I remember they said something about uh, someone setting something on their nightstand. I'm sorry to bother you again, but Jane told me about the lady in black. What lady in black? Jane never said anything to me about a lady in black. That kid is so weird. I just don't get her. <laughs> Fucking freak kid. Did you receive a note or something that's upset you? I did receive something. But it's none of your concern. You Bitch, I'm Nancy that. Drew. I'm sorry. Linda, you have to give me a chance. Everyone is so worried about you. If you just tell me what's happened, maybe I could help. Linda, I made a promise to your mother and I plan to keep it. I'm here for you when you need me. Linda? Linda! I'll be going now. Linda! You fucking werewolf. Linda's hiding behind a curtain. I don't really know why. Um, best guess is that she's a werewolf. I feel like most people that hide behind curtains, yeah, most of them tend to be werewolves. Okay, so there's something with a Starbucks in our room that we gotta. That must be the food I ordered. Ooh, the food. Ah, loop de loop, otherwise known as soup. Is that is that what you people this are doing over there? Delicious. Anyone over uh, in the UK, can you confirm that instead of ordering soup, you order uh, loop de loop? Oh my God! I'm stuffed. I'm stuffed. I can use my Johnny Rudder to grease up that lock outside Jane's room. Food solves everything. Time to butter up the lock. We're gonna just shove a bunch of fucking butter in there. When in doubt, your key's not working. You just, you just fucking shove. You gotta shove that butter, dude. Get in there. Some things up in there. Did I just lock her in? Okay, I don't know what this is. Um, blue dis ergo s. And I'll take that as a note as it's near the the lube key. Lube key. I'm not 100% sure what that, what was... So it, it locks the door in. Was I using that as a step to look up at the door? I'm a little confused about that one. Uh, But hey, we got that, we did butter key. I'm gonna save, save. Okay, I'm gonna be right back real quick. Uh, in the meantime, you can hang out with Lulu here. I'll be right back.
some water. Just gonna get some water. I'm thirsty. I need some water. Give me that water. Cause it's water time. Dude. Br Brom Baby Hands. Thank you for subscribing. Says, uh, suck at, uh, suck at these game. Love watching. Dude, I, I don't know that I'm necessarily that, uh, I don't know that I'm good at them either. Uh, but. I guess we'll see. Polly is a stupid bird. Polly is a stupid Polly bird. Polly is a stupid I bird. Who is a pretty bird in the mirror? And the winner is Lulu. Um. No, I, I do not have pets right now. I mean, I got Lulu. Lulu's kind of my pet right now. She's probably sleeping. How, why? She was just up like two minutes ago. Get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah! Yes! Sheriff Johnny Cage. Thank you very much for the three months. I don't know if that's 100% accurate. I feel like... I feel like you've been around for longer than three months. 20, um... You mean 20... Nancy Drew games? There are a bunch of Nancy Drew games. Uh, there were these weird money tracks outside Linda's room when I first arrived at Blackmore Manor. It looked like somebody who had just been outside had recently entered her room. I'm dying to open the box in my room that has all the constellations on it. Maybe those star charts in my room have something to do with it. Or maybe I should use my phone and do a web search on stars. Okay, well, I guess that's the thing I should do next. Uh, this is our room, right? Is it this box? But I don't- Maybe I don't- Maybe should take another look at Brigitte's coat of arms. Okay, let's go look at Brigitte's coat of arms. Um... Oh, 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 how do I know which one is, um, okay. I'm gonna make all the money now. He's gonna make all the money now. Dude. Guess who's gonna make all the money now? It's me. Punkfish, 77,954, donated $20. It says, Hi Ian, awesome that you were playing a Nancy Drew game on the stream. Love your videos and streams. Thanks for all that you do and the laughs you supply. Uh, from the girl who always asks about Nancy Drew games. Well, hey, this should be a treat then. Because, uh, as you mentioned, this is a Nancy Drew game. Thank you so much for that donation. And I hope... Uh, I hope I do this game justice. This looks important. Okay. Get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah! Yes! Is that the one? Yes. Is Draco... Draco, Lion, and there's like a, a gazelle thing or something? Uh, or maybe it's the links I saw. 
Draco, Draco, uh, Draco, I think should be red. Maybe is this? I don't know. In our seven underscore, thank you for subscribing. Hi, Moose. Uh, now that you've started to stream at a time that's more convenient to me, I had to subscribe. You the bestest. Okay, this... It's like a... You know? Thank you, NR7. Uh... Where's the... There it is. Wait, this is also in the north position, though. Maybe that's fine. Maybe, uh... Uh... So what I'm doing, or what my train of thought is, is that these animals relate to this thing. And since it says it's in the north position, it should also be, it should also be this red solid circle. But now that there's two of the same one, I'm feeling like that may not, I may not be on the right pathway here. But let's, there's a lion. Maybe it's not in the north position. Lion, lion. No. 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 There we go. Here's Leo. He's on the east. So he's got like a little half moon thingy going on. Red, red half moon. No, no. Okay, now we got a bunny and bunny and fishies. The thing is, I could be looking at the complete wrong uh constellation thingy or the wrong coat of arms. Bunny is south, which is a half green. And then we just need, we need the fish. Dude, my sign is cancer too. That's, uh... That is also my sign. Oh! So the fish need to be this blue moon on the right. It does not look like that was the answer. Uh, maybe I got this one wrong. It's like a... I don't think the pictures exactly match. It's like a dragon thing. That's what I thought it was. But what does Lynx do? Okay, Lynx must be... Wait. How is the Lynx... Wait.
Links should be the middle then. Cause these are all the other signs. I'm right? gonna make all the money now. Who's gonna make all the money now? Damn, dude. Grizzlin Boone donated $25 and says, Been enjoying your content for a while. Only started watching streams recently. Currently recovering from a double surgery. So here's a small thank you for the content and your genuine and easygoing style. Dude, thanks so much, Grizzlin Boone. Uh, hope you recover quick from that surgery, man. Well, feel free to uh, to take it easy, take it easy and relax today. We're just right now. We're just solving uh, solving some mysteries. Very poorly, I might add. Uh, okay. This background music does sound a little uh, moonlit, moonlit sonata y. Not quite, but it's. It's got the one, two, three, one, two, three, bum, 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 Okay. North. Solid red. Solid red circle. Yes. East is Leo, and east needs to be a circle, red circle on the left. I mean, that's... That looks right to me. Oh, here's a book up here. What is this? John and the Water Fairy. Granny and the Water Fairy. In a faraway place beside a pond since gone dry, there lived a frog named Granny. Grinny was content to live by himself and never ventured into the pond, for back then it was a fearsome place full of crocodiles that lurked beneath the surface, just like, or uh, just waiting for a tasty little morsel like Grinny to swim by. <coughs> but one day a beautiful princess appeared on the other side of the pond. Like Grinny, she was by herself, for she had been unfairly banished from her father's kingdom. Sometimes at night, Grinny could hear her singing sad songs and talking to herself out of loneliness. He longed to swim across the pond so they could keep each other company, but he knew the crocodiles would eat him if he tried. Oh man. So he sat on the shore, croaking mournfully in the moonlight, all alone. And then... Then one day, a kind-hearted water fairy appeared in the mist above the swamp that surrounded the pond and told Grinny that she would help him across the pond so that he and the princess could be together. Ooh, hello, Clue. Hello, Clue. Hello, Governor. Water, earth, fire, that'll come in handy at some point. 
How? Grinny asked. I cannot swim across, for the crocodiles are fast and fierce, and have eaten more friends and relatives than I dare to count. You will not have to swim, the water fairy replied, for I shall make a path for you. And don't forget, crocodiles tend to hide in the middle of the pond and near the trees, and they hate boats. Well, that was a very fantastical thing to say. With that, a lily pad suddenly appeared in the pond in front of Grenny. Although he was still afraid, he summoned his courage and hopped onto it. Then another lily pad appeared, and after that another, then another. Grenny leapt from one to the next to the next, his tiny heart pounding in his chest. Until at long last he leapt from the lily from the last lily pad onto the dock where the princess sat. She was delighted to see the little frog, and when she realized that Grinny had made the perilous journey across the pond just to be with her, she smiled for the first time since her banishment. So grateful was she for Grinny's company that she gave the Water Fairy a gift, a bright red key, which the Water Fairy soon put to use. And all three lived happily ever after. What? How does that, how is that the end of a story? The water fairy put that key to use, the end. <laughs> I hope she lubed that key up with some butter. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, how do I, let me out of here. Do I have to stop it first? Okay. Um, okay, where was I? I think this should be, unless I can turn... I can't. Okay, the rabbit... Is it half green on the right? Oh, that maybe that's why. Maybe I put the uh, I put the thing on the wrong half. What <gasps> this is? Bum, bum, bum. Okay, I was right. I just put the green on the wrong deal. This lens is supposed to go into a telescope that sits on a tripod. Okay, well I know where that. Well I know where the tripod is. Is that it? Can I take this with me? Okay. Uh, well, I'm just gonna remind myself what's in here. So these are my, my travel items. That's some pretty cool luggage though. I'm into that luggage. Something fits in here, but what? Uh, okay, 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 okay. So I need to find a telescope. Maybe I'll order some more food, you know, that was really helpful the first time. <laughs> maybe they'll- maybe they'll deliver me a, uh, another clue. Okay, this is Tommy. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. I'd like to order some food. Sure, we've got some loop to I want some bangers, bangers and mash, please. And the dog's eye and the raw bangers and mash. Radio, Uncle Fred and Johnny Rudder. Uh, okay. All right then, we'll come round and leave it at your Rory. Baked potato. Okay, maybe we'll get, uh, who knows, maybe they'll send us, maybe we'll find the telescope in the, uh, in the, the bangers and mash. You know, you never know. Oh my god, that is a very intense painting to be in a bedroom. That would creep me out. Okay. Say goodbye by saying baked potato. <laughs> baked potato, everybody. Hi, Linda. Nancy? I can't believe you're still here. 
I thought for sure that... Maybe you can help me. What did the lady in black leave for you on your nightstand? All I know is, I've awakened something in this house. Something that refuses to rest. What did you do? One day, after Hugh left for Rome, I inadvertently discovered a secret Ooh. passageway. I started to explore it. Ooh. And pretty soon, I found this really old-looking message etched into the wall. When I read it, I realized it was some kind of ancient curse. I tried to laugh it off, but it was kind of unnerving. So I went back to my room and found a note on my nightstand. And on it was written the exact same curse. That very bum, bum, night, bum. I started to feel... strange. The curse has been coming true ever since. I want to know where the where secret is passageway secret is. I can't tell you that. I've already caused my own doom. I won't do the same to you. Maybe you can help me, but I'm sure not going to give you any information. I hope you can help me without, you know, me telling you what's going on. Can you tell me what this curse said? I burned it as soon as I read it. I don't know why I bother telling you this. You can't do anything for me. I should have listened, but I didn't. And now what's done is done. How well do you get along with Jane? I've been giving it the old college try, believe me. But she can just be so strange sometimes. Well, she's a kid. How so? She'll just do the oddest thing. Yeah, she's a kid. Like one night just after Hugh left, she came into my room and insisted I read a book to her. That doesn't sound very odd to me. The book was on monsters. Yeah. Vampires. Yeah. And werewolves and witches. I mean, what kind of little girl reads books like that? Little girls into rad shit she like vampires, werewolves, and children. witches. She wants to read a book about cool shit. I don't understand. I'll see you soon. Please. Okay. Well, be on the lookout for any secret passageways. I know that's a long shot to just see a secret passageway somewhere, but uh Mrs. Drake, is that you? Hello, Mrs. Drake, are you in there? Mrs. Drake. Mrs. Drake. <laughs> for you to visit Blackmore Manor so you could spend your time scaring the wits out of elderly women. But I really had no idea... Mrs. Am I getting Drake kicked like out? That. I mean, all I did was knock on her door. It was the dead of night. What on earth were you expecting? For her to get up and have tea with you? I'm sorry, Mrs. Petrov. I guess I wasn't thinking. Well, unfortunately, what... Oh my god. Not more to be said. Well, there's one more thing. I'm fired. Bingo. What? How far back are we? Wait, hold on, hold on. What is what is second Mrs. chance? Drake, okay. Is that you? Okay, I like that it gives me the option to come. Pay no attention to the bird behind the curtain. Don't miss a don't wake up, Mrs. Drake. We are saving. I'm gonna make it a separate one just in case. Uh, Nance, uh, two. Okay. Well, now we know. Now we know that it's possible to get fired by disturbing uh, the elderly, I suppose. You're gonna need a bigger bowl. You're gonna need to shut the fuck up, is what you're gonna need. I need the key. Felicity, the door, the door! How does she not You're wake up with a bigger bolt? Does she not wake up with this parrot right next to her? Jeez. I need the key. I need a key. Okay. Polly is a stupid bird. Polly yep, is Polly a bird. is a stupid bird. I agree. Um.
Oh, task list. Fucking. Can't check that off yet. I forgot that there was there were task lists. Can I check anything off? Check. Check. That's done. Check. That's done. Is it done? Can't check that off till it's done. I haven't done that yet. I haven't done that yet. That's done. That's done. Done with that. Check. Check. That I haven't done that. I haven't done that. Can't check can't check that off till it's done. Okay. That's done. Alan Pinvalin. How am I supposed to know which one is? That's done. Check. 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 I'm. F Check. Check. Okay. Take a look at Alan Pinvalin's coat of arms and see if the password for his computer is on it somewhere. Maybe this. Maybe this is bird mouth. Maybe the password is bird mouth, parrot teeth, parrot mouth, parrot, bird, bird mouth. Let's see, let's see bird mouth. Bird mouth, bird teeth, bird, no. Lulu lips, Lulu lips, no. Uh, I mean, I guess that could be the wrong guy. I mean, I'll try this. Let me try these other ones. Because I'm not 100% certain that that's even the right person I just assumed it was because he's got the bird new man oh it's got to be Newman Lumen like come on that's that sounds like a password to me No. Hmm. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's Newman Lumen, dude. Like. I'm a little jealous that that's not my password. New. Unless there's a way to fucking translate it. I know that I asked the parrot about Latin, but other than that, I don't know. Can I ask him to translate shit? What's that supposed to mean? Everyone's sleeping. Go to your room and set your clock. What time do most people get up around here? 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Set your clock for 6 a.m. Ah, sweet <laughs> Okay, well, I guess I gotta set my clock for 6 a.m. That must be the food I ordered. Is there a clue? Is there a telescope Fingers in here? Mash, huh? Looks like sausages to me. Tommy's cooking is beginning to grow on me. Why'd you say it like mm. that? I can use my Johnny Rudder to grease up that lock outside Jane's room. Well, I got some more butter. <laughs> Apparently, I'm really into saving the butter after <laughs> meals that I eat. You never know. Okay. What is that? 
Oh, maybe I better have a look around. All right, so we got some sweet jams going on. Some sweet uh, chanting, chanting jams. I'm not sure. Sleep. But yeah, but there's like maniacal laughing going on, dude. This still looks very bright in here. Oh come on. Try feeding it something. Oh come on. Here, have some fucking butter. Ow. Ow. Okay, doesn't want doesn't want the butter. Uh plants is probably not a good idea. Hmm. I kind of thought it would be more obvious what I should do when there's creepy laughing. Creepy laughabouts going on? Are you the one? Oh god, I forgot that she fucking it moved. Working. I don't even know what it did in the first place. Get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah! <laughs> yes! Yes! Power Cord Gamer, thank you for the 13 months, over a year, can't believe it's been this long, I agree. Thank you, thank you. Oh dude, he's got his face on his own computer, he set himself as his background. What? One! Oh, that's an L. How much? 17 seconds? Too bad Nigel's not here to see my score. That was, uh... Oh my god. The riddles I found in Corbin's secret room... Let's 
keys held in hand, most likely. Wait. Face north and lift his eyes to the sky while the key. Okay, so I have to f make someone face north and look to the sky? Oh my god, how long is this? Oh wait, that's as long as it is. It's a lot of stuff to work, to read. Search country archives for comments. Eh. Jane told me that the tapestry in her room was created by Charles. How interesting. Image tile work, blah, blah, strength, blah, blah, blah. James Penvalin never marries, yet a baby, Eleanor, suddenly appears in his household, sparking rumors that she, that she is a fairy baby. <laughs> uh, which leads to her being accused as a witch. Eleanor's son, Edward, is raised by the sister of that place. Doubtful. Uh, not in Blackmoor. Notebook. The image on Edward's coat of arms is most curious. Each one seems to be showing some sort of direction. Jouster running to the right, guard with the spear pointing up. Is Edward Penvalin the person? Uh. No, we're looking at, we're looking for Alan Penvalin. Okay, so that is Alan. Alan used Lulu to write his Okay, so we'll probably have to translate the thing with Lulu. Nigel, I'm very intrigued by what you've learned at far, so far at Blackmoor. Good work. I can definitely see this is a bestseller if you deliver the goods. Or should I say goodies? We gotta deliver the goodies, guys. Alright. Unless it lets me go into... Hey. Say goodnight, Gracie. Okay. You're gonna need a bigger bolt. Felicity, the door! Holy the door! shut up. The time has I need the come key. For <laughs> Please be quiet, stupid <gasps> fucking bird. She's probably sleeping. Then why did I wake up? Why did I wake up at three in the morning and walk around? I don't I don't think it helped me at all. <laughs> Let me go back to bed. <laughs> Last night I woke up to the sound of this very strange, very spooky chanting. I still have no idea what it was or where it came from. In his notes, Nigel said that the tapestry in Jane's room is related to the images in the tiles around her room. Strength is represented by... okay. 
Okay. Let's go talk to Birdface. What's that? I know again. He was Randolph's grandson and the first initiate. Odor did not have the proper qualities for Randolph's instruction. Because he was stupid. No, Jane. It's because Randolph believed that the proper qualities skip every generation. We talked about that, remember? What? I guess. Milo was a great soldier, just like his grandfather. And with his grandfather's help, he was victorious at Khan. That was a battle fought in 1417, during the Hundred Years' War. That's right. But I don't understand something. The Hundred Years' War lasted longer than a hundred years, right? So why do they call it that? Why don't they call it the 116-year war, huh? Oh my, look at the time. We need to go over your geometry. Please open your book to page 46 and read silently. Seemed like a fine question. This is not a good time. Is it not a good time? What if I lock you in there with the key that I have? Lulu needs to shut up. Drop the morning to you, matey. How about a hint? Lulu hungry. Lulu want cake first. You mean like a cupcake or something? Jane's room. Jane's room. Look in Jane's room. All right. I guess I'll look in Jane's room. You're gonna need a bigger bowl. You're gonna need to You're shut the fuck bowl. up, or I'm gonna eat a bird. Huh? I'm afraid we're busy. I'm afraid we're busy. How are you doing? Linda? I'll be going now. How are you doing? Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Linda? I'll be For some going reason. Now. You're allowed to like Lulu. Just because I don't like something, that doesn't... I don't like a lot of things. <laughs> there are many of things that I don't like. Guess she's not in her room. Guess she's not in her room. Guess she's not in her room. You're gonna need a bigger boat. Uh... Uh, looks like a piece is missing. It does look like a piece is missing. Now this thing doesn't work for it worked once, but I didn't uh, I didn't know what it did, and then I guess I broke it. Um, uh, this guy's still not here. go into the kitchen that's really what I want to do I don't know how to get that person out of Jane's yes. room. I'd like to play the card machine in the Great Hall, but it's broken. It's not broken. I removed its crank, as it was proving to be too much of a distraction for Jane. I suppose I could see where it's gone to. But in the meantime, be a dear and do something for me, would you? Sure. Do you see that hodgepodge of plants over there? They're my prize seedlings. I had them perfectly arranged in that box, so I could easily move them about to catch the light. Unfortunately, Jane took all of them Fucking out when Jane. I wasn't looking. And now for the life of me, I cannot get them back in the box so that they all fit. Why don't you give it a try Hodge while I pots. see about that crank? 
If we both succeed, we shall both be happy. If you catch my meaning. Remember, they must all fit in that box. All right, what, what? After all this worrying about touching her plants, it's like, well, now that's exactly what you're gonna do. It's time to touch. It's time to touch some plants. Mm. That doesn't seem right. Oh. Ah, no. Well. Oh, bother. What a hodgepodge. Oh, oh, bugger. Oh, you can rotate them. <laughs> okay, well, that's helpful. I didn't even, okay. All right, well, that, that, that opens my options a bit. There we go. Oh, come on now. There. And Okay. Master Gardener. Uh, I wish I had talked to her about other stuff before we discussed the crank, because I still don't know what to do with the crank. I don't know that I need the crank right now. Uh, but that's done. Let's go see if I can talk. Let's go see if I can talk to Jane. I don't want to disturb them. I, I do. Can't check that off. Can't check that off till it's done. I haven't done that yet. Those tiles outside of Jane's room can be moved around. Oh. I would like to use my K. Uh, can they be? Oh, they can be moved around. Oh my god, they move around very quickly. It's like a rainbow. I know where I've seen a, a rainbow before. Oh, well, I don't want to move. I don't want to move these until I know. I remember they're saying something about a juggler. Okay. So there's a tapestry in Jane's room, which probably tells me how to do this one. Let's 
still broken. Ah, uh, well. Can I go outside? It's daytime now. No. Well, what what am I to do now? Guess she's not in her room. And the winner is Lulu. I need the key. The time has come for closing. Uh -oh. Not good. Stay away. Stay away. What's not good? Behind you. Don't look. Don't look. What's behind me? Don't look. Don't look. I'm not falling for that. There's nothing there, Lulu. Nothing there. <laughs> what a piece of shit bird. I'm trying to solve a mystery of uh, some sort. I don't have time for these shenanigans. Uh, is there something else I gotta do in here? Hi, my name is Nancy Drew. Could I ask you some questions about lycanthropy? I'm sorry, I'm about to leave for a seminar and I'm very busy. Besides, I've written two books and 12 articles on the subject. If you have questions, perhaps you should try reading one of them. Hey, you put your book. I did. Or you That's put your number in your number. book. Well, if you didn't understand something, I'm afraid I really don't have time to explain it to you. I understood everything. It's just that I know someone who seems to be exhibiting some of the symptoms of lycanthropic meta... Lycanthropic metamorphosis? Well, that's different. Talk to me. What do you consider to be the definitive signs that someone is turning into some kind of animal? Symptoms are relatively subtle. A dry mouth, a fatigue, impaired vision, and reduced blood flow to the skin. Mm. Person pays. Yes. yes. But the really disturbing thing is, she won't let anyone see her. She just lies in bed all day behind this curtain. Hmm. And at night, what does she do at night? I can't monthly, be sure. Monthly, monthly, can help some dreams come true. Some kind of animal. And when I asked to see my friend, I was told she was unavailable. This sounds very promising. You don't really believe she's turning into some kind of creature, do you? Young lady, I believe the human mind is capable of far more than we can ever imagine. Pale skin, dry mouth, fatigue. The human mind is perfectly capable of causing the body to exhibit such symptoms, if it is so motivated. May Cornwell. Thank you for the $3. Hello, Ian and chat. Don't know if anyone remembers me. I do. I haven't been able to watch a stream since, I think, August, but... I'm on break from college, so I have free time again. I've only just gotten here, so could someone explain what the mystery is? Uh, you know, I feel like I'm still trying to figure out the mystery. There's like a lady in bed. She sits behind a curtain all day. And maybe she's a werewolf. You know? What would motivate someone to turn into an animal? Most lycanthropes are under a great deal of stress. Due perhaps to the death of a loved one, marriage, divorce, a relocation, that sort of thing. They're emotionally vulnerable, which means they're particularly open to the power of suggestion. Someone suggests they become a lycanthrope? Not in so many words, of course. Somehow, they get it in their head that they're destined to take another form. They see something. They read like a something. curse? Someone says something to them. Somehow, they come to believe they're supposed to undergo a physical metamorphosis. And so, in their weakened psychological state, they do. Do you think seeing an ancient curse would be enough to send someone, you know, over the lycanthropic edge? Absolutely. Of course, a person cannot morph into XYZ if that person has no idea what XYZ is. 
She has to have some prior knowledge of the creature she thinks she has been condemned to become. Very a book, complex. A, website, a movie, a play, a casual anecdote, any number of monthly, monthly can help our dreams come true. Leo Brooklyn donated two dollars and says, "Still don't, uh, still don't have the time to watch the stream live, but I will be sure to catch it later on on Moose Two. Keep up the great work." Thank you so much, Leo Brooklyn, and uh, anyone out there watching, if you if you can't catch the whole stream, youtube.com slash moose2, that's where it's going to be. Are temper tantrums symptomatic of lycanthropy? There are no hard and fast rules when it comes to lycanthropy, or almost anything else for that matter. But if someone believes that what they're changing into is irrational, or has a bad temper, then they will exhibit irrational, ill-tempered behavior, especially if this is contrary to their former nature. But thanks for those. Thanks for those donations, uh, Leo and and May. Thanks for your time. You're welcome. You could. You can also watch uh, old videos on uh, on my Twitch page. Uh, they don't stay there forever, though. And um, not to. Not to try and convince you or anything, but watching on YouTube does uh, help me out a bit more. But, you know, watch wherever you would like to watch. Okay, so we learned some interesting things there. Um, but, um... But I still don't know what to do. I need something else for this. Oh, are you going to talk to me now, please? How are you doing? Linda? I'll be going now. Okay, obviously I need to do something before these people are gonna leave their room, right? She's just gonna keep studying until I figure out. I thought that, uh... I thought that solving that, the plant puzzle, was gonna get me somewhere, but now I don't know where she went. Oh, she's yes. back. The picture book in Jane's room. Do you know much about its history? My brother Alan found it somewhere in the house. He was quite fascinated by it, but he'd never let me look at it. What was your brother Alan like? Oh, he was quite remarkable. He taught linguistics and computer science and won many prestigious awards. He loved games, especially pranks, mm, pranks. and was forever tinkering with this and that. I do miss him sometimes, but now he's gone. He died a month after my husband passed away. And ever since, I've been here all alone. Until Hugh came back from the United States, that is. Can you tell me about Lulu? Lulu is a very old parrot. She must be over 80 years old. Please be very careful with her, especially if you feed her. Parrots have quite delicate constitutions, you know. Mm-hmm. I managed to get all those seedlings back in the box. Wonderful. And I managed to find that crank. There you go. Great, thank you. I spoke with Mr. Tucker at the Boar's Head Pub, but frankly, I'm not at all sure what he said. Yes, his language is quite colorful, isn't it? He's Cockney, you see. My brother Alan and I loved to make up Cockney rhymes when we were young. We drive our governess quite batty. Haven't got a pot of glue, haven't got a pot of glue. Oh, how we teased her. Pot of glue? A clue, dear. Haven't got a clue. Rhymes with glue, you see. Goodbye. Run along. Well, they were very clever, weren't they? 
Okay, so we've got the crank um, to fix the thing that I don't know what it's for. <laughs> so that's that's a good thing. Go crank. Uh I still don't really What did that do? What? Oh, uh, um, uh, Vanessa donated two dollars and says uh, I'm going through a hard time right now but your videos and this stream are helping me a lot thank you for everything Ian uh, I'm sorry to hear that Vanessa I hope things uh, I hope things turn around real quick uh, but thank you thank you for watching I don't know what the let me out of here. I don't know what I'm doing. May Cornwell. Thank you so much for subscribing. I thought maybe it was another version of memory, but uh I don't know. Maybe, um, what's her face? Jane or whoever can tell me I don't want to disturb them. how to play eventually. Surely this is, I mean, we're done with this completely, right? Try and dimension the dice. Dude, if I knew how, trust me, I would be dimensioning those dice right now. No. So I can search... Black, Beast of Blackmore. That's not helpful. Why would I? Let's search Cockney rhyming slang. Why not? Is this just like a translation? <laughs> uh. Oh, I don't know about a Dance Hello? Dance Revolution Hello, stream. Petra. It's Nancy Drew. What's happened? How's Linda? She's fine. I mean, she's no worse, at least as far as I can tell. That's good news, I suppose. What can I do for you? Did Linda say anything to you about finding a secret passageway? No. Linda told you she found a secret passageway? Yes. Do you think she wasn't telling the truth? I don't know. Given her fragile state of mind, what's true and what she thinks is true may well be two different things, that's all. Mm -hmm. When you were here visiting Linda, did you ever see or hear anything odd? Yes, Mrs. Drake. Why do you ask? 
Blackmoor Manor looks like the kind of place that most people would assume is haunted, don't you think? Frankly, I was too worried about Linda to take notice of much of anything there. Except that most of the rooms I saw look like they'd been decorated by a medieval monkey. Okay, Miss Goodbye, Petrov. Goodbye, Mrs. Petrov. Okay, Miss Petrov. Uh, I mean, we could see what, what is what is Ned up to. Oops. Hello? Hi, me again. Hi, what's up? You sure I'm not disturbing you? I mean, shouldn't you be studying or something? Shouldn't you be solving a mystery or something? I'm on a break. What a coincidence. So am I. What's up? Linda told me that her problem started right after she found this curse in a secret passageway. So what'd the curse say? She refused to tell me. Sounds to me like you'd better give finding that out your top priority. I think Linda may be turning into the Beast of Blackmore. Excuse me? See, I found this book that had information on lycanthropy in it. Lycanthropy? Werewolves? Basically, yes. Anyway, I called this expert, and from what she said, I really think Linda thinks she's been cursed to become the legendary Beast of Blackmore. Mm -hmm. on her head. Right. Linda's symptoms are probably all psychosomatic. Probably? I mean, her symptoms are all psychosomatic. Uh, hopefully. So what does this Beast of Blackmore do? I don't know that, and I'm kind of hoping I don't find out. That makes two of us. Ned, you're not being Jane, helpful. She has this really weird picture book in her room. What do you mean, a picture book? I mean, pictures are all that's in this book. No words, just these strange hand-drawn images. And the book is old, like it's been around for centuries. It's like someone drew in a book. Right, huh? Maybe it's uh, some kind of an ancient instruction manual. You know, for people who didn't know how to read. Could be. When I asked her about it, Jane said her grandfather gave it to her. And then... And then what? And then she changed the subject. Hmm. Sounds like that book may prove to be pretty important. I'll Ned, talk to you, soon. you are, looking forward to it. are useless. It's not worth using all my international minutes to talk to Ned. Hello! Bye, bird. Hmm. I need the key. Felicity, the door, the door! Guess she's not in her room. Felicity, the door, the door! I feel like it's gotta be... It's gotta be Birdmouth. I feel like this is the next thing. And there's nothing... There's nowhere else to go. Oh god. Hello. Bye bird. Cheerio. Felicity, the door, the door. The time has come for a closing book. I've tried uh I mean, unless, unless I tried the wrong, I could try more of these things. I could have sworn that the one with Lulu was going to be the right one, though. Well, 
welcome my adventurous friend. Who's the wrong Don't dude? Tell my sister, but there are ghosts in Blackmoor Manor. Thirteen of them to be exact. The problem is they're very shy, so they only come out when it's very late at night, usually just after midnight. And even then, they only show up in quiet places, like the Great Hall, and the hallways, and the conservatory. Okay. Worse, they'll only come out for a very short period of time. But if you can find and touch all 13 ghosts in the time you're allotted, come back here, and I'll give you a prize. One which I guarantee you'll enjoy. So who's ready to go on a ghost hunt? Oh dear. My watch tells me that the ghosts are not likely to show up right now. Oh. Between midnight and 4 a.m. Farewell. Okay. Midnight and 4 a.m. So. Midnight ghost hunt. We're going on a midnight ghost hunt tonight. Okay, uh, well then I can do... Check. I'm finished with that. Check. Okay, I'm gonna save. Can I get into Jane's room? No. Did you hear that? I heard someone when I walked by here. Hello. How are you doing? Linda? I'll be going now. Linda, you piece of shit. I know you're there. Can you just like... I wonder if you can... Do I have to use the clock to skip to like the next day? Can I use it to skip forward like an hour or so? It's 7.30. What if I set an alarm for like... 9. Let's take a little... Power nap. Oh my god, she's still... Okay. Okay, gonna take a quick break, and then... And then we're gonna... We're gonna go on a ghost hunt. We're going to go on a midnight ghost hunt. Uh, once I pee. I need to beat pee first. then all right let's 
time for a ghost hunt. We're just gonna sleep through the entire day. We're just gonna... Where'd the door go? No. Per Gamentum exit. So who's ready to go on a ghost hunt? I'm ready to go on a ghost Remember, hunt. You mustn't waste any time. Our little chums won't stay visible for long. So, on your mark, get set, go! Wait. Wait. Okay. So I'm supposed to find ghosts in the... Uh, there's a ghost. I see you. I see you there. Oh, oh, Three down, ten to go. there's a little ghost there. Oh, I see you, I see you, little ghost. What other rooms? It was the Great Hall, uh... Oh, I see you. Great Hall. Oh. Oh. Hmm. They also say the library? Oh, they did say the conservatory? Oh, no, that's not a ghost. I thought I saw one. Oh, there's a ghost. how many I have. Uh... Is that... There's someone here? I still don't have all the ghosts. Uh, maybe they're upstairs? Oh, there's one. Ten down, three to go. Three, three to go. Uh... 
Is there just one left now? How does this not wake everybody in the house up? Here, ghost number 13. All right. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Congratulations, you're one of the few people who have seen the 13 ghosts of Blackmoor Manor. As a reward, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. When I am facing the green dragon, look to the left and pull below the vase with the tree when i'm facing the green dragon but a word to the wise if you're wearing a hat hang on to it have fun all right green dragon uh I don't, I don't remember seeing a green dragon. Uh, that's not a green dragon. Touch the ghost, pull the dragon. If I face the green dragon, look to the left. Find a green dragon, face it, look to the left, and pull- Okay, so that's- that's my next, uh- Oh! Uh, no, I thought- I said oh, like, I was- Like, I figured something else- Something out, but I actually don't know that I did that. Green? Uh, I thought it might mean the plant, but it probably means an actual dragon. There's not a green dragon in here, is there? There's a plant. Uh... No. I mean, I could just try and pull this plant anyway now. Who's this guy? I don't recall seeing. Well, there's a there's a dragon that's red. Yeah, I thought maybe it meant Snapdragon, but there's no way. Well, I know the dragon is gold, but it's on a, it's on a red background. Green dragon. Uh just remember, I'm not really looking for hints or help. I appreciate all the hints. Uh, but in a much more real sense, I don't appreciate the hints. <laughs> I mean, there's a dragon of sorts there. I see plants. Like, there's a, there's a plant here. 
But it's it can't be that I can't even look at it. She's probably sleeping. I don't give a fuck. I see a turtle. If I face the green dragon, look to the left and pull below the vase with the tree. Face the green dragon. I guess what I'm most concerned with, I'm worried about if I go to sleep, does it have to be at this m moment in time? That I have to pull this thing? Because there's a plant here, but like... I may, I may catch some Z's. Face. Face the green. Well, there's definitely a plant over here. I'm gonna catch some Z's. I'm gonna see if some chanting, maybe some chanting is gonna wake me up. When they say everyone gets up, is it seven? Or six? Everyone gets up at six? Going now. Linda is useless. Useless. Is there a green? Is there a green dragon in here? There's a no. Linda is dead. Guess she's not in her room. Who's a pretty bird in the mirror? Pay no attention to the bird behind the curtain. You're gonna need a bigger boat. Felicity! The door! The door! This bird this fucking sucks, dude. Maybe they had a green dragon and they moved it. <laughs> oh my god, I just got eaten by a fucking, a fucking plant. <laughs> okay, well... Now we know not to mess around with that plant. Yes. Did you not see me get eaten Goodbye. by a plant? Uh, I just don't. 
Doesn't work. Probably because the well's empty. Get me out of here. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. I don't want to go over here. Let me out. Get me out of this place. Maybe he didn't mean a green dragon. Maybe he meant... something else entirely. I just, I don't, I don't see it. Is typey guy's not here? Okay, You're creepy. Ah. Uh. So who's ready to go in a ghost hunt? Well, I've already done the ghost hunt. A green? A green? Okay. Well... Let's, uh, there's got to be another angle we can do. Could I order food for the bird, maybe? I know she, I know the bird was talking about Jane's room. But uh I still can't get in there. I'm afraid we're busy. We're in lessons right now. I don't know how long, uh... Okay, so we can't order food. Hugh Penvalin here. Hello, Mr. Penvalin. This is Nancy Drew. I'm the one who's visiting Linda. You know, from the United States? Across the pond? Yes, of course. Are you at Blackmore? Yes, I am, and I've talked to Linda. Good for you, because frankly, that's something I've been quite unable to do lately. These temper tantrums of hers make rational discourse well nigh impossible. She gets angry for no reason? Absolutely none. We'll be talking on the phone about the weather or Jane's lessons or something equally innocuous, and suddenly she'll be bellowing at me and slamming the phone down. There must be something that sets her off. Everything sets her off. I promise you, these rages of hers are totally uncalled for and quite unbearable. I love her dearly, but... She's making things very difficult. Have you spent much time on your father's computer? The one that's in the library? I dare say I've never touched it. Mathematics, computer science, linguistics, all the things that fascinated my scholarly father bored me to tears. He gave up on me quite early on. With Jane, however, it was a different story. What do you mean? From the day she was born, my father doted on her, far more than he ever doted on me. Read to her, bought her books, games. Truth be told, I was a bit jealous. He passed away when she was still a toddler, so it's unlikely she remembers all the attention he showered on her. But I do, and I still find it so out of character as to be mystifying. Okay. I understand that Mrs. Drake is your aunt? Yes, Aunt Letitia. We're not very close, however. She's always been rather aloof, much more interested in being a pendulum than a person, if you know what I mean. 
Does Linda get along with her? As far as I know, yes. Although I have caught my aunt eyeing Linda strangely at times. And of course, there's the six-month habitation clause. The what? According to the Penvalin rules of inheritance, the spouse of Blackmore Manor's current owner, that would be Linda since I'm the current owner, the spouse of the current owner must reside in the manor for at least six months. The f Should she why? or he leave the manor before six months is up, ownership of one half of the estate immediately passes to the next legal heir. And that would be Mrs. Drake. Correct. Okay. Okay. Well, that's an interesting little nugget. I met your daughter, Jane. Quite the bundle of energy, isn't she? I get the feeling that she's a little lonely. I'm sure she is, what with a private tutor instead of school and Linda being... under the weather. And coming back to Blackmore no doubt reminds her of her real mother. Renee and I were divorced almost two years ago. Jane went into a bit of a tailspin for a while, but she's come to adore Linda. She's been calling her mummy since the day we were married. Hmm. What do you know about the Beast of Blackmore? Pure medieval fiction, the product of little minds in an era of dangerously little education. I have forbidden Ethel to so much as mention it to Jane. Where did you hear about it? The man doing research in the library, Nigel Mukherjee? Another of my aunt's ideas. The fact that the Penvalins have never had a book written about them has been a perpetual source of social embarrassment for her. How long has he had access to the library? For months now. Not that he's much of a bother. He's quiet as a church mouse, and he never seems to set foot out of the library. He was recommended by a friend, and he has assured us over and over that the book he publishes will cast mm -hmm. only a positive light upon the Penguin name. Although come to mm -hmm. Get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah! Yes! Yes! I would not trust that author very much if I was you. Niznob, thank you so much for the two months. It's been a good month so far, and I'm still sub to you. I'm also looking forward to the Smart House thing more than anything. That's literally my favorite movie in this world. It was nice talking to you. This is an extremely busy time for me, so I apologize in advance if you call and I'm unavailable. I understand. Good. Cheerio. Cheerio, Niznob. Cheerio. Cheerio for that subscription. Uh... What do I think of Tom Holland being cast as young Nathan Drake? I don't know anything about that. I don't know anything about it. I keep thinking someone's gonna like slip something in my luggage. Okay, so... It's not a good time. Um, Come back later, please. Maybe I should I should change the time. The name of the character we were just speaking to was Hugh. Hugh, uh, whatever the last name is, P -p 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 something. Maybe at maybe at noon I could come for a visit. I don't want to disturb Are you f fucking kidding me? Sure wish I knew where this green dragon was. It's almost like there's a room that I need to go to that I haven't been to yet or something. It's, it's what it feels like. Oh, maybe oh, I gotta talk to this guy again. Have you seen any runes anywhere in the manor? You mean like Norse runes? No, I haven't. I don't really know much about them anyway. Dead languages aren't really my bag, you know. I'll let you get back to your work. Vale.
Dude, the the accents. What's wrong with the accents? I doubt you'll find much of interest in there. There may need lawyers. Penvalin, that's the last Charles name. Penvalin was a prominent judge in the 16th century. Sad to say, he lost his son at a young age. Left his estate to his grandson Thomas. It's got to be I mean it's got to be where the plants are cuz there's like a plant It's all about uh, you pull the the plant, right? It's possible that this thing, maybe this thing is the... Maybe it's one of these plants? It doesn't help that she's awake. a green dragon, where would I be? Yeah, yeah, it is something that I gotta stand directly in front of. It's something I have to stand directly in front of and there has to be like a plant nearby. Yeah, I mean, that's... I kind of thought maybe that plant was the, uh... Was the dragon, but there's no plants around it to touch. Let's see, let's see what's in our checklist. Did that. I'm finished with that. Sure wish I could talk to Jane. Is that just a British thing? Okay, so all it's saying I gotta do is I gotta find the dragon, uh, rearrange the tiles, but I still don't know... I still don't know um, the order of those tiles yet. Why is there a? I haven't done that yet. Can't check that off till it's done. I haven't done that yet. Ian saying, okay, just activated Google on your phone. Okay, Google, search for uh, big booties. I hope that worked. Uh... 
Uh... Hey Siri, search for enormous booties. Uh, maybe the dragon is... Maybe it's an astrological sign? I don't remember... Very good. Very good. So the dragon was... Uh... Draco, does that help me at all? I don't know if that helps me at all. Very good. And now the plural? Very query. good. Where aura? Query? Query? Yeah, I'm still looking for the green dragon. I wish I knew. I wish I knew... No... Okay, I'm gonna try moving the time again. I'm gonna try changing the time again. Cause I feel like surely they've gotta let me back in Jane's room. I got I have stuff I gotta talk to. Talk to Jane about. Come back later, please. Yeah, I've read a lot of stuff saying that this this was a fairly diff well fairly difficult in terms of Nancy Drew games. That's fine, it's... I'm okay with getting stuck. Occasionally. It's no fun if you just breeze... Well, that's not true. It, it can also be fun if you just breeze through it, but... Fucking finally. Okay, now I can get something for... I use that to make cakes for Lulu the parrot. That's why the ingredients are so nasty. Like, I would eat mealworms. Please. Glad we don't have to use that thing to cook our food? I saw the kitchen. What happened to it? I guess you could say I happened to it. But it was Ethel's fault. She inspired me to study the oxidation rates of different kinds of cookie doughs. Only my snickerdoodle experiment got away from me. Can you please? I'm going to bake another cake for Lulu, if that's okay. Help yourself. I won't need the oven until I have something to bake. Well... I'm going to bake another cake for Lulu, if that's okay. Help yourself. Some worms? Some, some berries? I don't know, some fucking lettuce? You want some salsa? Some salami, I guess? Some mi mixed nuts, maybe? Yeah. Is she just always humming all the time? Every time I'm in here, she's humming something. That looks pretty good. Let's, uh... Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Me. You must be Nancy. I'm Jane's tutor, Ethel. God. How do you do? Jane is very excited you're visiting. You're all she's talked about for the past week. 
I saw Jane's lesson schedule. That's quite an unusual list of subjects. Yes, well. I'm sorry, but I'm in a bit of a rush. I need to go over some things with Jane. Oh, I guess I'll be going then. Oh god, okay. I don't know about sliding her way. Well, I sure hope I got everything I needed from that room, because, uh... Lulu want a yummy cake? Cake! Lulu want cake! Oh god, I killed Lulu. Lulu, I'm afraid I bet it's something I shouldn't have. Well, Hugh Pendolin just... Oh my god. She's upset, which means he's upset, which means... Well, which means you've been uninvited to Blackmore Manor. You mean... Call a cab, dear. You're fired. Okay, so apparently we were not allowed to kill the bird. <laughs> Well, uh, Hello. bye, bird. Hello. So, can I now? I can't get. We're in lessons right now. We're in lessons right now. Um, can you tell me anything? Or I'm just gonna have to go to like 4 p.m. the next day or something. Is that water on the ground? How would you, are you doing? Would you like a yummy cake? Linda? I'll be going now. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna go to 4 p.m. tomorrow and try and make another... Is this 4 p.m. tomorrow? Or is this I just laid down and woke up? Oh, no, it works, okay. Can you tell me what kind of cake to make for the bird, please? I don't see a green dragon. Hi, Nancy. Jane, did there used to be a telescope in my room? Mm-hmm. I took it outside to look at the stars. But if you want it back, you'll have to play God. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> okay, what's the game? If you get the puzzle done in time, I'll return the telescope. If not, then you'll have to try again. Why don't you just give me On the telescope? Mark, I'm an adult. Set. Do what I say. I don't have time for fun. Five minutes. Oh, this is corner piece. Move, move. Okay. Don't I don't know about Four that minutes. one. There, you won. Good show. 
I'll put the telescope back in your room first chance I get. You better. Do you know of any secret passageways in the manor? I found one, but all it did was lead to this funny picture. Do you think you could show me where the passageway is? Wouldn't you rather play games? No. With me? I'm so bored. Mm, get it out of the way first. If I play a game with you, will you tell me where the secret passageway is? Okay. I got this at this really neat museum in the States. It's supposed to be an original Maya game, but don't worry. You don't have to, like, kill people or take their hearts out or anything. Why? It's really easy to play. You roll the corn and move your warrior the number of dots on the corn. If no dots, then you get to move five spaces. You get two turns, but you can pass on your second turn. You just keep on going down this track, and you can capture my person if you land on him. Whoever gets all the warriors wins. I'll be blue. Here we go. I don't- I don't understand this game. I don't... I pass. Pass. I pass. You can go. I can go. Uh. Your turn. Pass. I don't understand why I'm rolling you corns. Pass. Right, am I gonna turn around when you? Your turn. Oh. Another warrior bites the dust. Okay, well now I understand. Well, this is a really shitty game. Your turn. Pass. I guess I I'll pass. 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 You can go. Pass. I pass. You can go. Thank you. Oh, Thank no. you. Your turn. Come Your on, turn. baby. Give me one corn. One corn. Oh, no. Get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah! Yes! Yes! Khead161, thank you so much for the two months, says, uh, your turn. I pass. I pass. I pass. 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 Give me a one corn. No. Nope. Your turn. Thank you, Khead. You can go. Oh my know. god, we just reset. <laughs> you can go. Well, this is not a good position to be in. Pass. Okay. Give me a one corn, baby. Give me that one corn. No. You can go. Your turn. Give me a two corn. Give me a two corn. Oh no! Oh no! Oh god, we still ha we have to keep going. <laughs> I thought that was it. You can go. Your turn. It's one corn. Give me the one corn. Uh... Your turn. Pass. I pass. Two Your corn, turn. two corn. Your turn. Pass. I pass. Oh my god. Ha. Your turn. 
If you two corn Pass. me, I swear. Okay. All right. No fair. Okay. I found the secret passageway in the east hall. That's the hall with the coat of arms on the door. But it's not a very exciting secret passageway. You're going to be totally bored. Wouldn't you rather play a game with me instead? I'd like to get into the east hall, the east please. Hall is locked. Do you know how I can get in it? My great aunt took the key. She probably thought I'd break something in there. But I found another one. Here, you can keep it if you want. Yes, please. Have you ever heard anything strange at night that sounds like chanting? No. Liar. I should get going. Toodles. Okay, um, well, she doesn't... Ooh, this looks interesting. That's my family tree. Ask me anything about anyone. Go on, ask me. I went to know about... Tell me about Albert. He was very mysterious, and the people of Blackmore were afraid of him because he knew all these scientific things. No one knows much about him, though. Is anyone known as the Green Dragon? And Hugo? Um, he had a lot of kids, and his dates were 1401 to 1466. What about Milo? Milo inherited not only his grandfather's red hair, but his military prowess. Milo was instrumental in the Siege of Khan and was awarded even more lands by Henry V. Um, Edward. Uh, I didn't play Abduction on stream, but I did play it in, in my own free time. That wasn't a game that I streamed. Odo, that's an odd name. Yeah, he isn't very exciting, really. Like farming and cows. His son Milo is much more interesting. Tell me about Randolph. Randolph the Red, so named for his bright red hair, was considered a hero at the Battle of Portiers. For his heroism, King Edward III awarded him with the lands in the region called Penvelin. That's how we got our name. Alroyt? Ah. Does she not tell me how to make- I'm going to bake another cake for Lulu, if that's okay. Help yourself. I better get rid of the cake I have before I try baking another one. <laughs> what if it's just a cracker cake, right? That's what birds like. Birds like crackers. Oh. It makes me wonder what parents like to eat. I could always check the web via my cell phone and find out. Oh my god, I have to do it to the percent? Really though? Vegetables, proteins, whole grains, nuts. Never feed your parrot avocado tea, coffee, chocolate, un... I feel like a cracker cake will work just fine then. Well, Lulu, I'm gonna save before I maybe kill you. Who's a pretty bird in the middle? Hello! Lulu want a yummy cake? Cake! Lulu want cake! <laughs> Delicious! Uh, I can move the tiles around outside, of, but I don't know what order they go in. Uh, I'm not, I don't know that I'm ready for that just yet. I'm leaving you. I need the key. I need the key.
Oh, 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 what's this? What's all this then? Is this a green dragon? Oh, maybe I should pull under the... Oh, it's a slide, dude. Hold on, let me... Anything else? Anything else? Okay, dude, we're gonna take the slide. Here we go. Oh yeah! Yeah, boy! Was I supposed to click on those targets as I was going down? Let's go do that again. I definitely oh, sp spied there. some targets over there. What was that? Get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah! Yes! Yes! I don't know, I don't know that it's gonna let me interact with anything. I don't know that this is helpful to me right now. Whee! <laughs> yeah, I don't... I don't know. Entitled Bucket. Thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you for all your chill streams and videos. I was uh, never usually into games games like this, but I am now, thanks to you. Thanks so much for watching and for subscribing. Uh, happy to spread the love of some uh, some casual gaming. Well, I already got into the secret passageway in the East Hall. Well, tell How me anyway. How do I get into the secret passageway in the East Hall? I don't know why you have to go there, but if you must know, the way I got in was by moving the hands on that statue with all the arms. I was just playing around with them when this secret door just suddenly appeared. Oh, really? Oh, really? I should get going. Come back soon. <laughs> okay, and while we're in here, we should probably look... Um... I should probably look for how I'm supposed to move these... These symbols. As the moon rises upon thee, fear not, but draw upon the strength of absent friends and toast to their memories and happiness and wonder. With a stalwart heart of a knight, let charity be thy guiding angel. Stay uh, firm in the world as a dedicated junior, and fear not the ravages of father time. For dear child, as you learn the lessons of folly, the secrets of this world shall dawn in thy soul. Oh, that's a good idea to make another cake. Okay, where was all that, uh... Wait, when I went down the secret s slide, I noticed this bullseye thing on the wall. If I'm, I'm willing to bet that if I throw something at it and manage to hit the bullseye, something will happen. Okay, so there is something we can throw at the bullseye. I just don't know what it is yet. Um... But I... Can't check that off yet. So there's another secret passageway? Okay, I did that. I'm finished with that. Did that. Check. Did that. I'm finished with that. Did that. Did that. Check. Did that. Check. Check. Okay, I think this is how I'm supposed to figure out... Because there was something about a...
I remember the Joker being a something. Where did I... Okay. So strength... Is... Man holding the world, right? Uh, charity. Coin exchange. Uh... Compass. F uh, Father Time. Equals hooded figure. And folly by a juggler. So strength. Uh... Happiness and wonder. So strength is first, right? Then charity. It's moon rises, fear not, draw upon the strength of absent friends, toast their memories and happiness and wonder. Let charity be thy guiding angel. So charity is two. Wait, are these just in order? Passage of Father Time, and then... I don't see anything. Oh yeah, Folly's on Maybe they are in, they, it looks like they are in, uh, in order. So can I just use my K here? Oh my God, is there? There's five. One, two, three, four, five. So then there's five more that I don't know. There's like a compass. Do I need to put together the As rest the of the uh... rises upon me, fear not, but draw upon the strength of absent. <laughs> it's Kimmy Yo. Thank you so much for subscribing. Says got some birthday money today and figured I should use it well. Thanks for making this a good day. Happy, happy birthday. Thanks for hanging out on your birthday. It's just, uh, well, assuming it's your birthday. I guess you could get birthday money on a day when it's not your birthday, but. Happy birthday. Okay, I remember there were cups somewhere. What I don't know, I don't know yet. I don't know. Uh. I don't know this one yet. But I do know that there were like eyeballs in this toy chest. Maybe I can throw an eyeball? Uh. Oh, here, 
here's uh here's our symbols. So it goes fire, air. Oh my god, I didn't correctly take down. Damn it. Uh. Get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah! Yes! Yes! Which book was that in? I left off a line. Was it in the... Uh... God, it was in that stupid storybook. It was in the book about a frog. But I don't remember where I found that book. The Duvin! Thank you for subscribing. Finally managed to catch one of your streams, so I thought I would celebrate by subbing. Love everything you do. Thank you, thank you so much. I really hate this person then. Coming. Yeah, I'm I'm uh I'm just taking notes. Where was that? Book. Was it in the library? It must have been in the library. You want to talk? You want to give me some info or anything yet? How are you doing? Linda? I'll be going now. Maybe I will ask the bird. How about a hint? Lulu hungry. Oh Lulu my god. Hungry yeah, yeah, I know the drill. I do want to know they more about the tiles. The the and then there's the hands move. Okay, so we gotta be on the lookout for dragon hands. Who's a pretty bird in the mirror? Can I not use crackers anymore? I'm going to bake another cake for Lulu, if that's okay. Go right ahead. Yummy cake? Cake! Lulu on cake! Oh. Delicious! I can move the tiles that go around the outside of Jane's door, but I don't know what order they go in. How about a hint? Jane's rope, Jane's rope. Writing's on the wall. Bye, bird. Bob's your uncle. Who's a pretty bird in the mirror? Is it just that poem? Am I just supposed to... It's just gotta be the poem. It's the only thing that's on the wall. As the moon rises upon thee, fear not, but draw upon a strength of absent... Brady Armstrong is the answer.
I sure wish I could, like... Do you mind if I make something? Go right ahead. I wish I could, like, write down the poem without having to actually write down the poem. As the moon rises upon thee, fear not, but draw upon a strength of absent friends and toast to their memories and happiness and wonder. Okay, so it's With probably a like heart of a night. Let charity be thy guiding angel. Stay firm in knowledge as a dedicated moon. Cheer and fear not the ravages of father time. Strength. For dear child, as you learn the lessons of folly, the secrets of this world shall dawn in thy soul. Absent friends, maybe. She definitely reads it in like a... Hmm, this is an important word. Toast. Uh... Stalwart heart of a knight. Charity. Angel. Stay firm in knowledge. Knowledge. Geometer, Father Time, Ch Child maybe, Folly, okay let's see what we can do with the, uh, with that info. Okay, so Moon is probably f the first one. I'm gonna... More phenomenal. More phenomenal. Thank you for subscribing. I love your channel. I was so glad when I found out, or when I found your stream archives, as they have been getting me through my work days. Keep up the great work. Hey, thanks so much for subscribing, and thank you for watching my stream, ar stream archives. I really appreciate it. So Moon, and then Atlas. Uh, mm, toast, so the, maybe the cups next. Moon, Atlas, cups. Uh, happiness. Mm. Wander, no, heart of a night. There is a night there, so probably the night is next. Charity, which is the uh, coin exchange, coin hands. Angel, there is an angel here, angel. Knowledge, compass, compass. Father time, old man is on here, old man. Child folly, secrets, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's 10, so I need two more. Uh.
Secrets, Dawn, and Soul. Which ones do I not... So I haven't used Sun, which is Dawn, most likely. And then I haven't used... I've used the other ones, right? Moon, check. Atlas, check. Cups, check. Oh, where did the... Where's the juggler? Folly. Folly comes before the sun. So, juggler. Okay. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's see what we can... We can do here. This is going to be a pain in the ass. <laughs> okay, moon first. Then Atlas. Then we gotta do the the cups are next. Ooh, this is a problem. Okay, so cups go next. Cups and then the knight. Ooh. Uh Cups, knight, and then coin hands. Cups, knight. Okay, so that's in order. Cups, knight, coin hands, angel. Oh my god, the angel is so far away. Maybe I should keep cycling the... Uh, I should probably keep cycling these guys. Moon. Okay, Moon. Atlas. Cup guy, knight. But then how am I going to get the coin hands over there? Knight, coin hands. Angel. Compass is next. Compass, angel, compass, I hope this is going to work. Old man, Okay, here we go. Moon is first. Then we got Atlas. Then we got... Cups. Then we got the Knight.
Coin hands. Angel. Compass. Oh my god, the old man and the son are in the wrong order. Oh my god, uh... That's okay. That's okay. It's fixable. Old man goes, then the sun go. Knight, coins, angel, compass, old man. Oh my god, the sun and the juggler are in the wrong. Oh my god. Well, that wasn't a big pain in the booty. Okay, 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 okay. That I think can be used on a thing. around here maybe here oh, that looks important later let's get let's see if we can't uh Where did that toy chest go? Hey, where's your... Can I have the eyeball, please? I need something to throw. I need to throw a thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Get me out of here, get me out of here. Viewed the door off. What? Was the story? Where was that stupid story? Was a Penelope Penvalen's collections of French novels. She was a patron to a raft of artists, and her salon was quite popular. I know I read a story limited. about a even kept her maiden name a frog. Gazuntite. Donka. I feel like it was in someone's bedroom. I don't think it was in here. Hello, Nancy. I'll let you get back to your work. Tally ho. need to check off That's done. Okay. Find something to throw at the bullseye. Move the hands on. Okay. Can't check that off yet. 
Oh, right, I can do the telescope thing. Uh... Okay. Let's yes. go do that. Oh, Goodbye. No info here. Good evening. Let's go check out the telescope. Better give me something good. Cool. There are symbols in that mural that I couldn't see before. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'll write that down. So we've got four little oboe flute things. Uh, we've got, where's one? One. So one is a sad mask. So one sad mask. Two is parrot. Three is harp or lute. Four is lobo deals. And five is happy mask. Is that it? Did I just take that with me? Uh... I don't know where the frog book went. Where did the frog book go? Get me out of here. Get me out of here. I could have sworn. Oh, there it is. I was going to say, I could have sworn it was in this room somewhere. Okay, that's what I thought. I forgot to put this little line on Earth. So Earth and water were the same symbol. Uh, which is why I figured that Earth had the line on it, but I wanted to be positive. You should also write down these. You've got like a, like a four, like a weird little five looking thing, a moon, a devil, devil key looking deal. For those curious, this is currently what my Nancy Drew notepad looks like. Yeah? Got a bunch of notes on there. There's also some, a little, starting some notes back there. Ooh, that looks, ooh, this all looks important. Does it not?
And then you've got like, bam. Dude, you gotta take you gotta take your brutal notes, man. This I really wish you would just shut up. This is an interesting one. So you've got I wonder if these are going to have to do with the pipes. Maybe I get to slide down different passageways eventually. That'd be cool. There's no setting to stop the humming, probably. Uh, but even if there were, I don't know that I would do it. We've got two of the same symbols on this one on the left here. Which means something somewhere, I'm sure. You've got cups. This better be information that I'm going to need, because I, I am writing all of it down. <laughs> Alright. Oh my god, there's even more. Uh, I'm just gonna, you know, well, if I end up needing more, I'll, I'll come back to this book. I'm not writing all that crap down right now. <laughs> screenshots? Well, I don't know about... I don't know that screenshotting is, is fair. I mean, was there any... Did we see anything about dragon hands? <laughs> get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah! Yes! Yes! I don't see anything about dragon hands in there. <laughs> Gym Leader Jade, thank you so much for subscribing for five months. How are you doing? Linda? I'll be going now. How are you doing? Oh, no, 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 that's not Monday, what I meant to do. Monday can help our dreams come true. Mike Cobella donated two dollars and says ex Chaka had to leave because her internet is all poopy but she wants to let you and the chat know that you folks are in her heart well thank you so much for that Mike dude I hate when the internet sucks I mean I guess I should be thankful that I have internet at all but 
I become unruly quite quickly when I don't have me internet. Guess she's not in her room. Oops. Guess she's Polly not in her room. Polly is a stupid bird. Polly is a stupid bird. Polly is a stupid bird. I still see no dragon hands. I need my internet, in, my internet injected into my veins. Uh, let's go ask. Let's ask Lulu. Let's let's ask Lulu about the dragon hands. Hello. How about a hint? Talk to me. Oh. In which directions should I turn the hands on that dragon statue in the East Hall? Do you know? Edward knows. He's coated with answers. He's armed with the truth. Get the door! Get the door! Edward knows. He's coated with answers. I don't know which one is Edward, though. Bye, bird. Cheerio. a hint. Talk to me! Any hint as to what the deal is with a bullseye I passed when I went down that slide? Cricket has the ball. Cricket has oh, the ball. Oh, duh. Game, fire. Bye, bird. Bye, bye. Thank you, Lulu. That was, that was quite a nice hint. I feel like I tried to pick up that... I've clicked on this before. Monthly, monthly, can help our dreams come true. I thought I clicked on it before. Uh, Pasithia, uh, Argia, uh, Pasithia Argia, that's my best guess. Thank you for the two dollars. Time has come for... Okay. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> That's right. That, uh... Well, a little, you know, I thought maybe the slide would take me somewhere cooler. I'll be honest. Uh, but we did get... Uh, what I'm coming to realize, or coming to think... So there's... Definitely something here. Uh, but I think this whole situation... Is one of the things that I took down on the, the notes. I think these are all going to be pipes that I'm going to have to... Uh, To make sure they connect so this one would probably be yeah like that that's probably right okay uh not that so I can check off. Can't check that off yet. Oh wait, That's I haven't done, done the uh, the arms. I'm finished with that. That's done. Okay. Edward Edward knows Edward's cloak. What did he say? Edward? Someone about someone fucking named Edward. Oh, oh, no.
Well, this is obviously something because I can look closer at this one. I see this guy, but... Um, not... Not particularly helpful. I don't know who... This is the only one I can look closer at. Can I look through the lens? What I don't understand is, what is with... Oh! Oh no, I thought I could maybe use... What's the deal? You get back to your what is work. this dude Valley. not helpful at all? I sure wish there was someone I could, like, talk to. Yes? Goodbye. The pleasure is all mine, child. <laughs> I could go ask Jane, um, I could go ask Jane about Edward, probably. Didn't she have, like, a giant book of a bunch of stuff? cake I have before I try baking another one. I didn't realize I already had one. I like the idea of keeping one on hand, though. Uh -huh. Oh, it's not Nancy that's humming. It's this fucking girl. Hi, Nancy. It's fucking Jane. I should get going. Toodles. Is there anything in this book that will help me? Oh! 
Well, I don't know. This this drawing maybe this got a bunch of hands on it, right? I don't know if I don't know how I'm gonna take down. I don't think that this is right. Just, I'm taking it down because it's the only lead I got. Uh, this isn't really even that, I don't know if this is really even something that I can recreate on the Okay, I'm guessing I'm gonna go try and do the uh Um You're gonna need a bigger bowl. I don't know what this has to do with coats or anything though. You know? Yeah, I don't think that this is gonna help me at all. I agree, I should be able to just take the book with me. The time has come for Hello! How about a hint? Talk to me! I can't even get any more hints. It's like you should know what to do next. Let's uh You think maybe the top two were pointing up? I don't know, that drawing was so... That drawing was really hard to maybe... I mean, I can give it a shot. Yeah. The drawing wasn't really, it had them all at angles. So... Dude, put the book in a fanny pack. Perfect. Uh. Who am I calling? We're sorry, your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. Can you hold on for a minute? Can you call me back later? Thanks. It was not very helpful. Ned is not gonna help me. I'm not calling Ned. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Petrov. Hi, what's going on? Goodbye, Mrs. Petrov. Take care. I guess I am calling Ned. Hello? Hi, Ned. Hey, what's the latest? Apparently, each of Jane's ancestors had different coats of arms. Really? That's odd. You'd think there would be just one coat of arms for the whole family. Believe me, the Pendleton family is nothing if not odd. Each coat of arms includes very distinct images and symbols. I wonder why they're so different. It's a long story, but I'm beginning to think that each Pendleton left behind a puzzle. And that his or her coat of arms contains clues to solving that puzzle. Yeah, but I don't know I mean, which is. Sort of I'll talk to you soon. Just be careful over there. Which? I guess in theory, if I looked at maybe if I look at all the coat of arms again, all of a sudden there'll just be a, an answer that looks like it would make sense to me.
You would think one of these would... Oh... You know what? No. I was thinking maybe the... Maybe the colors of someone's... Indicated the images. It would have to be something that has six, and I only see one coat that has six of anything. So my guess would be that maybe somehow these, are these colors? No. Butter's not gonna help me. I don't think. It bothers me that I took this with me, this telescope part. It makes me feel like I'm supposed to look at things. And uh, see something different. And I don't know why I don't know why my phone says I'm supposed to be doing something. What am I supposed to be doing? I mean, maybe I could go to sleep. Maybe going to sleep. I mean, stuff happened at night once. But I don't see anything else that could really indicate, aside from those those colors. Because there's got to be six of something. Oh, it's the same colors. Well, that's helpful. Okay. So that's the right guy. Because that's the same... Okay. Okay. Um. Who's a pretty bird in the mirror? I wonder if the colors represent directions or if I'm supposed to interpret these symbols. Is it just the way that things are facing? So like right up. You guys gotta like chill out or something. Some of you are much too passionate. I'm gonna go. That maybe each symbol is the direction. Cause I don't, I don't know that the colors, I only see three colors was uh, blue, green, and red. Pay no attention to the bird behind the curtain. I have not tried sleeping yet. There we go. That's unfortunate. 
unfortunate. If I want to look around in there, I'm going to need a flashlight. Well... I still need something to help me see in there. Felicity! The door! The door! Uh... Okay... Well, do I have any more of I gotta get a flashlight. Check. That's done. Check. Linda? I'll see you soon. Please. Linda? I'll see you soon. I hope so. Can I borrow your phone as like a light or something? I don't have... Do you have a flashlight? Can I have a flashlight? So, did you find what you were looking for on that secret passageway? Let's just say you live in a very interesting house. I don't want to hear. It's so scary to think people can be looking about behind these walls. But you shouldn't tell anyone about them either. If you do, they'll probably close them off and say they're too dangerous. Do you have a flashlight? <laughs> A flashlight? Oh, Nancy, flashlight is an American term. In the UK, we call it a torch. Well, fuck off one, and give I me a flashlight. A glow sticks. If you want one, you have to play a game with me. That's the rule. This is a game I bought in Arizona. You have to make as many matches as possible. On your mark, get set, go! I'm just going easy. What am I doing? Can I move it anywhere? Oh, well that's weird. Answering the phone. Someone is calling me, but I don't want to answer. I keep getting calls from like uh like I keep getting a bunch of junk calls. I get called at least once a day, and it's like, thank you for st staying at our resort, which I've never been to a resort that I know of. I figure if it's something important, they'll leave a message. I answer the phone if I, I recognize the number. Oh. Great score! Here's your glow stick. If this one goes out, I'll let you play for another one. You get the same kind of calls? Do you get them often? Like, I feel like I didn't always get these calls. And then all of a sudden, like this year, or maybe I last year, Ta -ta. it's been like every day. The past couple months, it's been like every day I get a call from just some automated message service. Oh, this person left a voicemail, so maybe it was important. Oh. I know what it is now. It's all the Honda dealers around me calling to try and sell me a car. 
At least this one was. No, I do I do not put my phone number on Twitter or Facebook. Polly is a stupid bird. Polly is a stupid bird. This one, at least this one, the past handful of days it's been Honda dealers trying to be like, hey, come buy a car from us. I have to do this again? Yeah, I, j I just got a Honda, and the other dealerships don't know that, so they think there's still a chance. But it's too late. This is spooky. I don't know that I like this. I don't like this! I don't, I am not a fan of the spooky darkness. I think something is going to jump out in front of me. <gasps> I hope I don't get eaten. Oh, that, that is a lovely image right there. That doesn't look like a curse. Barber, and a picture of a parrot. I wonder if Lulu has something to do with this. Um, okay. You can confirm that's how you talk. I can't help it. Especially in this game where there's a bunch of really fake sounding accents. I can't help using my own fake accents. It's I don't even realize I'm doing it Okay I don't know how that- that doesn't look anything like... Okay, I sure hope I can get out of here without being spooked. <laughs> it was Lulu all along. Dude, Lulu was the werewolf, man. You're gonna need a bigger bolt. I mean... It's not insane to think that we can't use our phone as a, a flashlight, because, I mean, phones didn't always have... ...things that you could use as a flashlight. Oh, the bird behind the curtain. Hello! Does the word barber mean anything to you? What's the magic word? I have no idea. Lulu, what magic word? Magic word, magic word, magic word. A deal's a deal. The word annoying comes to mind. Ding! Sorry, that is incorrect! Brrr! Magic word, magic word, magic word. A deal's a deal. Okay, okay. I guess I'll go try to figure out what the magic word is. Cheerio! The magic word. I'm currently. Hello. Bye, bird. I'm currently trying to extract information from a parrot. This is. This is where Nancy Drew's life has taken her. Can I Google magic words? Magic words that parrots know. Pay no attention to the bird behind the curtain. Oh god, they emailed me too. Buy a car! Come buy a car from us! Come on! Hi, Nancy. Do you know what the magic word is for Lulu? Magic word? Uh, no. 
I think you're spending a bit too much time with that parrot. Shut up! I should get going. Toodles! I'll hang out with whoever I want to, parrot or no. <laughs> Is the magic word Brady Armstrong? Uh yeah, I wonder if this is related to it. I already have this written down somewhere. Do you know anything about a magic Hello, word? I'll let you get back to your work. Tally ho! Tally ho! Who's a pretty bird in the mirror? Hello! How about a hint? Talk to me! Bye, bird. <laughs> Tally-ho is the magic word. <laughs> Linda, I found the secret passageway. Jane told me where it is, but I didn't see any curse in there. How could you have missed it? It was right there, just waiting to be found. Wanting to be found. I can't believe how foolish I was. That stupid gargoyle. I hated how its evil eyes would stare at me whenever I walked to my room. So I moved it around, changed its position, kept fiddling with it. But when that secret door suddenly opened, I couldn't resist going in there. Which gargoyle is this? What do you mean, which gargoyle? I thought you said you found the secret passageway. So there's more than one. Linda, I think someone's trying to scare you off. I think they thought you were getting too close to something that's hidden in this house. You're right. I did get too close to something. That witch, that witch that was burned at the stake. She's cursed me and she's probably cursed you too. But which gargoyle? I'll see you soon. I hope so. There's like at least three that I can think of. Would it have been that hard to be like, oh, this, this is the gargoyle. Same teams. Oh, but that's the gargoyle Linda was talking about. And it looks just like the one in, there's gotta be an easier way to figure this out. There's gotta be an easier way to figure this out. It's gotta be, uh... Something tells me I'd better not mess with this until I... Something tells me I'd better not mess well, he's... with this until I know what I'm doing. I f kind of feel like maybe I did know what I'm doing. Because he's in the, um... He's in this guy, and he's facing... Well, I guess it's not really clear which way he's facing. There's got to be an easier way to figure this out. Obviously, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing yet. Or she would shut up. Yeah, I agree. Linda figured it out just by messing with it. I should be able to do the same. Okay. Got the flashlight. I'm finished with that. Got That's that. Fun. That's done. Um, I feel like when in doubt, try and talk to people. Guess she's not in her room. So I guess I'll stop by here real quick and then go back to the conservatory and see if I've got any Hi, new Nancy. dialogue. Oh, here we go. Which Pendleton had his portrait painted with a gargoyle? Don't really know. You bitch. Come on. What happened now? I knew everything about my family tree. I should get going. I know everything. Walk. Ask me a question about everybody. I know everything. And 
and Hugo? Um, he had a lot of kids, and his dates were 1401 to 1466. You're so fucking helpful, aren't you? You just, you just think you're the most helpful, but you don't know shit. You don't know what I need. I need to know who the gargoyle man is. Uh, I'll check. Uh, I didn't- I didn't think you could turn the page, but I will check. Yes? Do you know anything about Lulu's magic word? Magic word? Oh, yes. You see, my brother and grandfather would play a word game with Lulu. I never understood how it was played, but they'd play for hours. Lulu would sometimes grow sullen and refuse to play the game anymore unless they told her that- Oh, what was it that they'd have to tell her? It's perched on the tip of my tongue. Ah, oh, they had to tell Lulu that she was a very, very clever and beautiful bird. Okay. Would you have a torch that I could borrow? No, I'm afraid not. Jane ruined all of ours with some sort of experiment she cooked up. But I believe she may have some of those glow sticks for illumination. Goodbye. Good evening. Uh, okay. Well, maybe if I go call the bird pretty and whatever. Hello! I know the magic word. Magic word, magic word. What's the magic word? Lulu is a very, very clever and beautiful bird. Ah, clever and beautiful! How true, how true! Clever and beautiful! Ah. Easy, Lulu! You're hurting my ears! Oh, what's your word? Barber. Leech. Leech, 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 leech. Leech? Didn't it have A's on it, though? Uh... Oh, I'm gonna have to figure out how this word game works. So, barber. Leech. Bye, bird. I don't think that that... Bye, bird. I Bye, thought bird. I was going to have to play a... Play a word game. <laughs> oh yeah, check that out. Okay. That still doesn't tell me who, which one... <laughs> Had the gargoyle. Prince Edward. He lived in France with his father, Le Comte de Roquefort. He was very interested in languages and translated books from Greek and Latin. What can you tell me about Eleanor? Just that she was burned as a witch, but it wasn't true, and her father, James, died when he saw her die. And then the family fled to France. I don't want to talk about this. Who's James? He never married, but one day, when he was very old, a baby was found at the doorstep to the manor. He took her in and raised her as his own. That was Eleanor. Tell me about Thomas. He was Charles's grandson and wrote a lot of poetry. He also had three wives, Catherine, Anne, and Mary. <laughs> but not like at the same time. They died and he just remarried. But who was the Julian? gargoyle man? She married man. the Duke of Ballingsford, but she stayed at Blackmore to raise her son Thomas, who inherited the estate when his grandfather Charles died. I wonder if the portraits are in order, maybe? Who was Alan? He was my grandfather, but I didn't know him because he died when I was little. I guess he was nice. If the... If the, uh... Pictures are hung in an order... 
Maybe that would help. Like, woman, woman, man, man, woman, woman. That's a pretty distinct pattern. And then he would be the... That still doesn't, that still doesn't give me, that still doesn't give me what I need. First woman is a man? Really? It really looked like a... Are you sure? I guess I could see that. I can't zoom in. So I kind of gotta... I mean, number two is definitely woman. Uh, there aren't really any defining... Dude, okay. I'll take I'll take your word for it. But I still I still don't know that actually even if I found out the name of the person, I don't think that that is going to help me at all. Oops. It's the berries and cream guy. It, you know what? Now that you call it the berries and cr the berries and cream guy, I guess I could see that. Eleanor, Edward, Edmund, oh, Corbin, Philly. Penelope, Martha. Yeah, I don't know that it's super helpful. Tell me about Richard. He died in Waterloo fighting against Napoleon. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's, uh... Mm hmm, mm hmm. Let's grab a nap. <laughs> Not Super helpful. Oh, I can use, I can enter shit into that puzzle? I didn't know that. I tried to do that last time we were down there and it didn't let me mess with it. You can't do that. You can't give me a thing, don't let me mess with it, and then suddenly say, oh, now that you have an answer, well, now you can mess with it. Let me mess with it unsuccessfully so I know that it can be messed with. Uh, I, time in this game does move. Um, but I don't know that it's that big of a deal. It seems like so far time has really just uh, dictated um, when I can and can't talk to Jane because she's got her lessons. Yeah, see now... So do I just have to keep running back and forth between this 
bird and this wall. Is that what I'm gonna be doing now? Sure mean anything to you, you very, very clever and beautiful bird, you? Egg first, little hungry. Egg first, egg first. You little bitch. Yeah, yeah, I know the drill. You're gonna need a bigger boat. Hello. Lulu want a yummy cake? Cake. Lulu want cake. <laughs> Delicious. Why is right, the cake then. eating noise always so loud? What's the key to moving that gargoyle so the secret passageway Linda told me about will open up? Corbin's the key. Corbin and his boat of charms. Boat of charms? To rhyme is divine. Okay. Corbin. A boat of... Coat of arms? Boat of charms? I mean, I think we get that the coat of arms have clues, but Corvin is Corbin is a good hand. Bye, bird. Bye, bird. No, no, I mean more like the sound of him eating it. Everything gets louder when he eats the thing. Baby. <laughs> the crunch. Pay no attention to the bird behind the curtain. You're gonna need a bigger bowl. Oh, very, very clever and beautiful bird. What's up with the word baby? Bonnet. Baby bonnet. Yeah, baby. Baby bonnet. All right. Bye, bird. Uh, here's... Bye, uh, let's, bye. let's do something really fun now. Uh, yeah, we've, we've yet to do it before, but I'll walk you through this one. First off, we are going to uh, set these dragon hands right. Oops. Oops. <laughs> then, now, now stay with me here. We're gonna go downstairs. All the way downstairs. And then I, I figured this one out, you know, on my own. But I'm gonna put the word bonnet uh, here, I think. Now, it's just a guess, uh, but I think maybe I'm gonna go tell the word hour uh, to the bird. I think, I think maybe that's a good lead. If you're having trouble keeping up, it's okay. It's, uh, you know, I'm a real detective. <gasps> Jesus fucking Christ. You gave me Christ. such a fright. <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing in there? Um... Looking at artifacts? I don't think any of your concern. Oh, I see. Well, not what I, meant I to say. beg your pardon for the disturbance. I'll be on my way then. I tried to say something else. Hello. 
You're such a very, very clever and beautiful bird. I'll bet the word hour means something <laughs> to you. Egg first, little hungry. Egg first, egg first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know the drill. Polly is a stupid bird. Polly is a stupid bird. This is not a good I just time. saw you in the hallway. To the ear. I need the parrot for the, his uh, word knowledge or something. I'm going to bake another cake for Lulu, if that's okay. Help yourself. I know they gave me all these options to bake a cake, and I just I just keep going for the crackers. I know the crackers work. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, you can make it more nutritional, but I mean, I killed it last time I put more than one thing in it, so I'm just gonna stick with. Hi, Nancy. I should get going. Toodles. I'm gonna stick with the tried and true method. You're gonna need a bigger bowl. Hello. Lulu want a yummy cake? I've only played a bit of Uru. Not online even. Good. So tell me what the word hour means to you. Glass! Hour! Glass! Bye, bird. Bye, bird. Pay no attention to the bird behind the curtain. Oh, now. Now stick with me here. It's okay if you're getting a little bit lost. Uh oh. <sighs> Looks like it's time for another glow stick. You gotta be fucking. I'm gonna use. I'm going anyway. I shouldn't need a glow stick. I I I I've been down here so many times. Can I guess? Can I guess farm? Ant. There's no F. Ant. Uh, Ant. Hill is a good one. Dude, thank goodness. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Shoot. Here we go again. Someone's crying. Are you crying? Linda? Tell me again how you opened up that secret passageway. Not on your life. I've already said too much. I'll see you soon. Please. Unless I was Linda? just... Whoops. I'll see you soon. Please. Maybe I made it up in my head. It definitely sounded like someone was crying. Guess she's not in her room. Hi, 
dancing? Maybe nobody's crying. Maybe I'm insane. Maybe I'm just a fucking crazy Could person. Could I get another glow stick? Yes, but you know the rule. First, we have to play another game. Hey, how about I'm an adult? On your mark, get set, go! Ugh. I'm trying to solve a werewolf mystery or some crap, kid. Game fucking blows, dude. This is not worth having a handheld of. It's not worth it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't see any matches. Uh, it's probably, it's probably right in front of my, oh, there it is. Oh, thank goodness. I should get going. Come back soon. You guys better be humming along with me. I better not be the only person humming these jamming tunes. Looks like the rest of this grid is on the other side of the wall. Okay, well, I should not fuck with that. Okay, so that's definitely something. It's like a... It's like a triangle thing with like two other triangle things, kind of. And then it's like a grid. Bum, ba dum, bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Is that really all that's down here? I think that's all that's down here. Um, and I don't think there's anything in my notes that looks quite like that. Not quite. Mm-hmm. 
We Okay. Okay, so Check. 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 Can't check that off yet. Check. I'm finished with that. Uh Oh, um I bet, um, I bet What's-Her-Face maybe wants to talk to me, but I'm already down here. No, I have not done anything with the card machine. I still do not understand how the card machine works. Yes? Goodbye. Good day. <laughs> This all looks, this looks important. Let's go talk to um, pretty much anybody. Because right now uh, we got nothing to do. Until... I really wish the kitchen would open up. I feel like the kitchen is gonna give me some answers. No, the water hose still doesn't work. I'll see you soon. Please. No, I don't think you can go outside. I mean, there's a front door. But, uh... What was that guy's name again? It was uh, Corbin. Oops. Tell me about Corbin. Oh, uh, I don't know. He doesn't have a coat of arms in the Great Hall because he didn't live here. Wasn't even a British subject. That's all I know. Well, that's not very helpful now, is it? Who was Frederic? He was a soldier for the French. He was killed in the War of Spanish Succession in July of 1702. Who was Helene? Can we stop soon? Helene married the Duke of Bouville and died in 1760. End of story. All right, Mrs. Ask me about anybody. What about Colin? Oh, this is so, so cool. They say he was a spy for England, even though he lived in France. Isn't that so very? I'd like to be a spy. Okay, so he doesn't have a coat of arms. At least in the Great Hall. Um... But why does he have a picture in the hall if he didn't... If he didn't live here? Uh, can Mr. Library Man answer? He knows a lot about things. Library Man! Who is the man in the Great Hall with a gargoyle? That's Corbin Pendleton, born in 1670 and died in 1741, I believe. He was Eleanor's grandson and spent his life in France. It was rumored that he secretly returned to Blackmore to continue his grandmother's experiments in the mystical arts. Where can I find his coat of arms? I didn't realize you were so interested in Penvillain history. I'd be happy to show you his coat of arms, but I'm in dire need of a typist. Perhaps, if you can help me out, I can find that which you seek. It's a deal. What do you want me to do? Perhaps first we should see how fast you type. This program will rate your speed. Just type the characters that appear on the screen. 
If you're good enough, I'll let you type up my memoirs, and then I'll let you see the coat of arms. I'm fucking Nancy Drew, okay? I'm not a typist. Oh, why? How is this? It's... Uh... They move around all over the screen. I don't understand how this is teaching me or helping me or telling you how fast I type. M-E-F-B-J-S-Z-R-U-B-T-B-P... Oh. Excellent score. Now... Here's what I'd like you to type up. These are my memoirs. I think you'll find them quite interesting. I was very, very These tiny. Are the most oh. boring memoirs I've ever read in my life. I, re I remember distinctly how proud I was when and now I am about to embark on the voyage of a historian. Yeah, done. Finally, I feel like I've been typing forever. Nigel! Nigel! Did Nigel just like peace out? Nancy, thanks much for your work. Here's your reward. Attached is a sketch of Corbin's crest that I found in the Chateau de Vertu in France. I've never found a picture of it in here in Blackmore. Okay, um, I don't even remember what I needed this for. This is for the, uh, the way the, the gargoyle faces, right? Uh, I guess I'm just gonna sketch it out real quick. A sun in the middle. got that uh can't check that off oh. yet oh this is this is how I sketched that down. I don't know if you can actually see that or not, but someone said they wanted to see. But it doesn't, um... Save? Okay. What that doesn't quite tell me what I need to do... a little creepy. I did it perfect that time, didn't I? Well, almost perfect. You did very well. 
But remember, this must remain a secret. Do not discuss it with anyone. Yes, Ethel. And don't forget, you have a math exam tomorrow. Yes, Ethel. And be sure to brush your teeth. Yes, Ethel. Good night. So, the biggest thing that stands out to me in that cutscene, I know I, I said there was something up here. It smells like oil. I didn't realize it was a giant hole. So they basically just have a giant hole right in the middle of their entryway. Where you can just s snap your, your ankle off, I guess. It's not a drain. Look at that. I can't I can't look at it anymore. It's just a hole. It doesn't have like a grate over it or anything. Look, it's just a hole. It's a giant hole. If it had a grate over it, sure, okay. She's probably sleeping. See you, Romp. Um, okay, so that was monthly, monthly, creepy. Our dreams come true. And I guess everybody is sleeping. Naonic donated three dollars and says, I know what you need, a little money to help you along this journey. The 3D models are creepy though. Uh, nice seeing another stream from you. Thank you so much, Naonic. Uh, yeah, the 3D models are terrifying, but I, that's actually, I kind of really like them. Like, it's one of the few things I, I really remember liking from the last Nancy Drew game we played, where the, all the characters and how creepy they all are. I like that. Um, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and skip ahead to like four so I can go talk to her. Hey bitch, I know you were up to some creepy shit last night. Jane, I saw you and Ethel performing some kind of ritual. What were you doing? Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. You and Ethel were pouring oil. Am I gonna or die because of this? Some kind of drain. Cool, you're a daft one. Imagine me and Ethel running around in the middle of the night pouring oil down drains. I didn't say anything about it taking place in the middle of the night. Bitch. Well, uh, isn't that when weird rituals usually take place in the dead of night? Anyway, you were probably just having a bad dream. Believe me, this castle can sometimes give you nightmares. Are you kidding me? I'm Nancy Drew. I'm not going to get pushed around by this. Where's my option to say, bitch, I caught you. Tell me what's going on. I'm Nancy fucking Drew. I'll kick you in the teeth. That's something Nancy does, probably, to children that aren't answering questions, right? I should get going. Ta-ta. Okay. If you don't tell me what what you guys are up to, I, I swear Brady Armstrong is gonna die. I will kill Brady Armstrong unless you tell me what you were doing pouring oil down drains in the middle of the night. Linda? Is there anything I can get for you? A well full of nice cold water sounds good. My mouth is so dry and I always seem to be thirsty. And I get so hungry. You should go. Why? I said go. Now. Get out. Do you hear me? Get out! Hi, Linda. Linda? <laughs> I'll be going now. 
Get out now! Hi, Linda. Linda. Uh, do I have... Okay, I should get... I should get a cracker cake. Do you mind if I make something? Go right ahead. I was, I, I won't lie, I was kind of hoping that it would be werewolf ending if I talked to her one more time. It'd be like, werewolf, I'm a werewolf, I'm gonna eat you. Um. No, 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 Looks like a piece is missing. No, 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 no. Yes? I think Ethel is trying to recruit Jane into some kind of secret society. Oh, for heaven's sake, child. Where did you ever get such nonsense? I saw Ethel and Jane performing this ritual in the Great Hall in the middle of the night. Poppycock! A ritual in the middle of the night? Young lady, I will not abide such wild stories. Imagine Ethel Bossany recruiting my grandniece into some kind of secret society. <laughs> Next thing you'll be saying, Linda has been cursed by some roving spirit. Or that we have ghosts prowling about. Uh, right. Well, I'm sorry for bothering you. The pleasure is all mine, child. Someone needs to be pushed into a man-eating plant. If you catch if you catch my drift. It's about time someone gets pushed into a plant. Uh, you know, I still don't understand the coat of arms. Uh, unless there's something around here. To Hello. translate. Oh, I almost forgot to thank you for typing my manuscript. Was Corbin's coat of arms helpful? Yes, it was. But why isn't his coat of arms in Blackmoor? Probably because he never lived in Blackmoor. After Eleanor was executed, the Penvelins lived in France until Philippe returned in 1714. The coat of arms is quite extraordinary. In fact, several of the Penvelin heraldry are distinct in that they contain unconventional, uh, conventions. Let me take a look at that photo. See here. The shooting stars symbolize Corbin's heritage, since Randolph the Red's shield also contains this imagery. But the formation is quite intriguing. The shield is divided in eight sections, but some sections contain no imagery. Moreover, the unbalance between Dexter and Sinister is quite baffling. Dexter and Sinister? Sorry, that's a term used for describing heraldry. Dexter is Latin for right hand, and Sinister means left. It gets even more confusing because this describes the sides from the coat of arms point of view. So we'd say there are two shooting stars in the upper sinister, or left-hand corner. Okay... What do you think of Ethel Bosney? I think she's an odd lot, that one. She has no formal background in pedagogy or scholarship. I would be a much better influence on Jane were I her tutor, but Mrs. Drake insists on employing Ethel. Just because it means the left and right are flipped. I'll let you get back to your work. That Tally. doesn't, uh... Yes. I'll let you get back to your work. Tally-ho! That doesn't quite help me. Though, I do need to go look at, uh... Where is Mr... This is, uh... Randolph the Red, right? He mentioned this one too.
Do I take notes while watching stuff, playing stuff for episodes? No, but I should. Usually when I'm watching stuff for episodes, I'm just watching or playing. This is gonna come into play eventually, right? These symbols look familiar. Yeah, they do. Oh, it's the fucking. Okay, okay. Um, we had an order for this. We found it on the wall in the telescope. Sad mask is first. Parrot is second. Harp, flutes, happy mask. I wonder if that means. Sad mask. See, but I don't see sad mask on here. Uh, unless I went backwards. I still, I don't know what that, uh, but, uh, well, what the fuck was that? So, Sad Mask shows up. Okay, if I choose the parrot, then I get the Sad Mask. And then a Happy Mask shows up. And then a Happy Mask shows up. And then a, a Sad Face. And then there's a uh uh so okay so she gets the drawing paper uh So she chooses the pillar. Uh, what if I choose the parrot? Well, now there's the pillar. There's a sad mask. And then... Well, is this kind of like, is it almost go fishy? Kind of like the skull and bones thing where I'm like, do you have any earths? And then she gives me an earth. And then I'm like, do you have any parrots? And then she says, do you have any pegasus? I don't. But now she has all of them. Do you have any parrots? No, but there's an earth there. Uh, 
Do you have a parrot? Sorry, Betty. You lose. That's right, Betty, you bitch. I don't know. Uh... Sad mask, parrot. Am I just supposed to try and win with those items, maybe? I'm going to give it one more, one more go. Okay. So I want to win sad mask, parrot, harp, flutes, and happy mask. Of which I have none of those. I, so she takes my earth. And now she's guessing harp. I don't have a harp. So now it's my turn. Okay. I'm going to guess Pegasus. She does have Pegasus. So she gives me that one. And now it's my turn again. But I can't guess the ones I don't have any of. Okay, so I got a harp. Oh, but she guesses the harp. I need the harp, though. Okay, I got the flutes. I need the flutes. Uh, I also need the, no, I don't need the scroll. Do I need the happy mask though? And I need the, can I guess the earth? Nope. She's guessing the parrot. Yeah, I mean it's obviously supposed to go be goldfish or go fish because I I know how it works now. Boom. Okay. I don't need either of those though. Ah, uh, I do need the sad mask. And I desperately need the happy mask. Take it. I don't need those. The problem is that I can't guess I can't guess a card that I... Well, I guess that's how Go Fish works. Don't guess the flutes, please. Okay. Crap. She won the ones that I needed. Sorry, Betty. You lose. Okay. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's these words instead. You know? Maybe it's like, I just need to know the order of the words, maybe? It went sad mask. If I can't find anything else to do, I'll come back and try this again. But for now, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna take down these words in order.
Maybe she'll give that to me if I win. Please, 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 stop with the hints. I know you've been here long enough to know. Please stop giving me hints. I don't want your dirty hints. Um. So do, am I just supposed to try and win with these cards, maybe? I don't know. No hints emote isn't going to help. I mean, people already say no hints. They didn't even say nobody even stopped anyone that time. I don't want to berate people, but I know some people given hints have been here long enough to know that I've asked to not have hints. Mm. Okay. I wonder if I have to win the whole thing? Surely not. Garbage dude, she's gonna she's gonna take one. Oh. Uh I wonder if I have to get all of them. Should I just try again now at this point? Heart, flutes, happy mask. Oh, or is that just what I win? Maybe I just have to win the game and I get a prize now. I should just kept going. If I get a scroll, I need to guess the scroll. If I get a happy mask, I need to guess the happy mask. Oh my god. Are you joking right now? I'm screwed now. I can't guess anything but the flutes, and I know she doesn't have them. Oh my god. Do you have a flute yet? Don't guess a harp, don't guess a harp. Thank you.
No. Okay. All right, all right. Yeah, it's like Go Fish. It's like Go Fish, only you're making pairs of three. I won! All right, Betty, pay up. Okay. Well, that, that was very helpful, Betty. Um, I wonder if this is another thing for the wall, maybe? Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Okay. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. What did we have to do next? That's done. Can't sh can't check that off till it's done. Okay. Surely we don't have the clue. <laughs> I'm gonna take a really quick bathroom break and then we will explore the new hidden uh the new hidden the new hidden passageway. Oh, looks like it's time for another glow stick. Hi, Nancy. Could I get another glow stick? Yes, but you know the rules. <sighs>
This girl and her stupid games, dude. Like, I don't really understand what the point of this is. Every time you need a glue, a uh, glow stick, you gotta play this super exciting game. I just want to get on with the mystery of the werewolves. Am I just maxing out the high score every time? Is that as... Great score! Un glow stick pour vous, madame. It's called exciting gameplay. I should get going. Come back soon. I just want the glow stick so I can go explore this the creepy uh monthly monthly can help our dreams come true. I also am not a fan that I have to keep doing this over and over again. Lexi Camille uh, donated two dollars and says so I just had a pretty intense panic attack but just listening to this stream calm me down more than anything else I've tried so thank you for just being a soothing guy Ian also shout out to the chat for sending me love thank you very much Lexi Camille uh, I hope you feel better um panic attacks aren't fun but uh I hope this game is, I guess, to watch. I'm having fun, but um, I'll try to continue to be calming. I know I sometimes yell passionately at, at people. Time to take more notes. It's time to take more notes. And then go back to that rune book. H F T I I C Fish. Oh God! I destroy that. That's not what that looks like at all. Fish. Sideways bow tie thingy. Chicken foot. T. X. Uh, like an S thingy. P. M. Yeah, that looks more like an S. S R. Okay. Um. Let's before we go check out the notes. Uh, wait. What is that? Oh, I can look at it. Let's see if she wants to talk now that I've been in her secret passageway. Ooh, someone left her a steak. Did you order this meat? I told you, I get hungry. Now go away. Hi, Linda. <sighs> I'll be going now. Okay, well, she's eating raw meat. I've not talked to the lady in bed about hairy hands yet. I've read the hairy hands in the book. I don't know that she's uh, mentioned. So is this the alf like in order?
Oh, I see. Uh, well, that looks interesting. I think I can make this one right down here, actually. Uh, actually, wait, maybe. Well, I could try. Wait, no, I can't. There's two M's. Well, I think that may be my only, I'll put it in anyway. has three M's. Oh man, the password for the computer? Yeah, we did that a while ago. Okay, it can't be the top one because we don't have the N thing. Um... Could maybe be this bottom one, actually. H T I weird S. Oh no, we don't have that thing. See? I should get going. Come back soon. <laughs> um, who would like to talk to me about runes? Hello. How about a hint? Lulu hungry. Lulu want cake for. Yeah, yeah, I know the drill. The time has come. For yes. I'll let you get back to your work. Tally ho. I mean, the only place I've seen runes is on that wall and in that notebook. And it looks like there's only one phrase in the notebook that uses exclusively letters from uh that puzzle yes goodbye the pleasure is all mine child the problem is that i don't think i can do it without repeating the letters what secrets does lulu too many secrets lulu knows way too many secrets can i go in the kitchen yet no. Only the blameless shall pass here. All others shall transform into beasts. Tooth and nail shall grow long, and hair shall turn coarse. Sounds like a curse. Be as loathsome as their cold hearts. Prove thy worthiness and memorialize here the innocent one so wrongly condemned for saving lives. Else consider thyself right and truly cursed. Uh, was it the witch, you think? The witch that was burned? Prove thy worthiness and memorialize here the innocent one. Okay. 
Well, I can attempt to do that. Uh. Oh, wrong thing. So I'm gonna look for the witch lady and then maybe type her name in? I don't know. Whoops. It was Eleanor, maybe? What can you tell me about Eleanor? Just that she was burned as a witch, but it wasn't true. And her father, James, died when he saw her die. And then the family fled to France. I don't want to talk about this. I'm just going to have to assume that these are in order, right? Well, no. I guess they say the order around... Is that always A? There's different E's. E1... Uh... Okay. M... Maybe M. There's the one is the L. I. Yeah, but we don't have the I. Oh, wait, there's an I. In. Oh. R is just R. Well, I think we can do that. Um, I'm gonna pop by our little werewolf to see if anybody's interested in talking yet. Hi, Linda. <sighs> I'll be going now. Okay. This again. Oops. Right, left, right, left, left, right. Okay. Eleanor. <laughs> We're gonna save, cause I may be about to die. Watch my glow stick run out. The fuck is this? Maybe this was some kind of security system that Eleanor devised when she was helping Cromwell's enemies get out of the country. That's gotta be that thing that you have to make it face. Okay, okay, you gotta make it face the right way and point up into the light for some reason. Um, so there's. Uh, 
Library statue uh, connected to hand puzzle. Though I don't quite know. Which way was it supposed to be facing? It was supposed to be facing north with it with his head pointed up or something like that. That's north. But this little jingle thing, I definitely don't understand. I'm going to explore some more, but there's definitely... I need to remember... Um, I need to remember how that statue is supposed to be facing. Uh, not super helpful... Press when I deep depress the button that's in the middle of those two suits of armor handles, and then press one on press one of its fingers. A bell plays somewhere in the house. So. I haven't done that yet. Memorize the innocent one. I did Check. that. That's done. Haven't done that. Okay. Uh. So is Nigel gone? Nigel's gone. I seem to recall him saying that it needed to face north. Pet parrot. Roman numerals. I know that he talked to me about that statue. Maybe 
I didn't... Maybe I didn't take it down in my notes. Wait. No. It's the wrong thing. Okay, well, did he put it in his notes anywhere? Oh, here we go. Maybe he didn't tell me. Maybe I read it. Um... Only by persuading Mercury to face north and lift his eyes to the sky. Okay. Face north, eyes to the sky. So I, I had it. Oops. I guess I'll save. Okay. And I... Oops. No, 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 no. Get me out. Maybe he's facing s south? Which way is which? Is this north or is this north? I would assume that this is north. Just because, I don't know, I feel like the building is facing north. It's got all these compasses everywhere. Unless there's a compass in the room somewhere. I guess I'm gonna go try and talk to Jane one more time and then go back and dick around with that puzzle some more. I don't know. Hi, Nancy. I should get going. Ta ta. <laughs> If I remember this right, right, left, right, left, left, right, boom. Okay. Oh, I have to do this again? I hate that I have to redo all these puzzles. Like, I solved it once. Is that not enough for you? Wait, how come I didn't? Oh, okay. I didn't realize that the passageway was off to the left. So I'm assuming that's north.
Well, what do the switches do then? Well, he's looking at me now. Let's, uh, you know what we should do? I think, I think maybe we should talk to a parrot. Because I don't know about, uh, I don't know about this guy. I don't understand the, uh, bells? I don't really... No, I don't want to go down there. Yummy cake? Gimme. Oh, Any hint when it comes to the grid I found at the end of that secret passageway? Hot marks the spot. Hot marks the spot. Two sides to every story. Hot marks the spot. Which grid? What grid? Uh Hot marks the spot? Well, I don't know if he Bye bird. Bob's your uncle. I don't know if he means... I don't know which secret passageway he means. Uh, I've only watched one episode of the new Mystery Science Theater. It was good though, but that's the only one I've seen. Where's the... Uh -huh. Well, that... That sure looks like a grid. I wonder... I wonder if that is relevant. I wonder if that is relevant. Because it was a it was a half grid of three, right? So there was like a star. Oops. Uh, <laughs> Do you mind if I make something? Go right ahead. Oops. I feel like every single stream I've watched has a moment where Ian says he's only seen the first episode of the knee, the new MST3K. That's why I answered it so briefly. Cause I ha I feel like I have said it every. <laughs> Not that that's a bad thing. I'm I'm happy that people are asking me about Mystery Science Theater, but I don't have any new information to share. I should get going. Toodles.
I haven't even seen that many mixed feelings on MST3K. I've seen mostly very good feedback. I, it seems like a lot of people really like the new, uh, the new season. Dang, dude. Uh, Oh, okay. Well, I guess I could I just get it. Um Uh Okay. Well, that was nice. I got uh, a scepter thing. That uh, uh I don't even I don't know what to do with that. Oh, is it a... Surely it's not a... No. Well... like a light that I can use? No. Uh oh. God. Glow stick. Oh my god. I don't even know that I was supposed to get this thing now. I don't know where this is supposed to go. Hi, Nancy. I should get going. Oops. Toodles. Hi, Nancy. Could I get another glow stick? Yes, but you know the rule. First, we have to play another game. On your mark, get set, go! How long does it even take to program a game like this? It can't take that long, right? Dude, check out all of my high scores. Fanfare, please. Here you go. Yeah, where is she getting all? Where is she getting all of these glow sticks? She just has like a a, a stockpile of them. idea what to do with this thing um, and unless someone wants to guess she's not in her room Who's a pretty bird in the mirror? if someone wants to tell me about something maybe yeah Linda how are you doing I've been hearing things music very faint very yeah rough. out of nowhere going nowhere 
like bells in a faraway church. There was me. Have you ever heard them before? No. Well, I heard them too, so don't worry. You're not hearing things. I'll see you soon. Please. Hi, Linda. Linda? I'll be going now. Um... Can I like... How do I get to the... Can I like stick something down there? I guess I should go back down to the other. Once I pot you up again, you'll be right as rain. Yes. Goodbye. The pleasure is all mine, child. I guess it's gotta be that stupid triangle puzzle, but uh, none of the stuff that I've seen involving the triangles uh, seems to be helpful. Unless I'm just supposed to change them all to the the um, the symbol for fire. I mean, Lulu said hot marks the spot, and the triangle symbol is fire, so, I mean, maybe? Dude, what do you mean the CGI is painful? The CGI is amazing in this game. Says there's two sides. I thought I would see the other side of this puzzle where we were, but I didn't. Okay, well that's the That sure is the symbol for fire. But I can't see the other half. See a donut. Can I use the staff to pry open the door? I don't know. I don't know. Pay no attention to the bird behind the curtain. The time has come for closing book. Guess she's not in her room. The time has come. Because there's nowhere else to go, for right? I can't go outside. I can't go in the kitchen. I can look at the hole, but I can I put butter in it? No. Can't butter it.
Man, there was that note. I wonder... I wonder if I'm supposed to get that note from the plant, you know? But I don't think I have anything to help with that. Use... <laughs> rub butter on everything. Finish with that. Look for a clue in Corbin's coat of arms. I did that. That's done. Can't check that off yet. It looks like there are triangles on both sides of the partition at the end of the passageway. Figure out how to access the other side. It's gotta be. It's got to be in that hallway somewhere. I don't know what else it could possibly be. gotta be down lower because that door was down so low I mean there's this but this isn't the other side of the Oh, 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 Something happened. It shut off? Did something shut off? Everything's pointing up, which is... Fire? Uh... Can't check that off till it's done. Figure out which way those triangles at the ends of the secret passageway should go. So a wall will open up or something. That's done. Hot. It's gotta be up. Why would they not all be up? Hot marks the spot. Okay, well, we at least we have another objective. We need to figure out... We gotta find, like, a grid of... Um... What, 12... Is it 12 triangles? Yeah, I'm like 10. I'm like 10 years old. Hint. Lulu hungry. Lulu want cake first. Yeah, yeah, I know the drill. Hello. Lulu want a yummy cake? Cake. Lulu want cake. 
God. Delicious. Yes, Tell please. Me a hint when it comes to what to do with that wand I got from the statue in the library. The columns are key. So is a book. Give the dumb book a really good look. Columns are key. So is the book. Give the dumb book a. Bye, bird. Bob's your uncle. Wait, so it is something that goes in the column? And the winner is Lulu. And the winner is Lulu. Well, who's the winner? Uh, I mean, maybe it could go here, but I don't know. This looks like a J of sorts. Oh! Well, that was a waste of a hint. Uh, okay, so I just need, what, two more of these? I need one for here. I need a moon-looking one, and I need... Uh, a face. Uh, I want to check. You're going to need a bigger bowl. You're going to need to shut the fuck up. I'm going to check this thing again. I want to know if moving the triangles on the right side of the puzzle affected uh, the triangles on the left side of the puzzle at all. But I, I have my doubts. I didn't hear anything. Oh, but it did. There we go. Wow, looks like I won't be needing any more of Jane's glow sticks. Thank fucking God for that. Something tells me I should save. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. 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 Oh my gosh, the room is moving. Uh, well, this isn't good. Um, dead end. Okay. Remember that, um... Remember those graphs I was drawing out in those books? I want to say we're down here. But, uh... Can I get out? So, well, where'd it go? I don't even know what I was looking at, and it disappeared? Are you joking? And now am I stuck here? What?
Well, I sure was looking at something. I don't know what it was or where it went. Oh. Am I... Is this like a you are here kind of thing? Am I trying to get to the angel? I guess I'm trying to get to the angel. I don't know. get to so now where am I oh my god now I'm in a oh 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 okay I think I get it now I hope I'm supposed to be trying to go to that uh I hope I'm supposed to be trying to get to the angel. Okay, so I'll end up back in the room with the bowl if I get out of here. God, there's too much stuff to click on. Okay, so I'm in the bowl room. And this is the way I want to go. So I guess I'm just going to... Which way am I facing, though, if it just rotated? So now I'm facing right. Now I'm facing the bowl room. Now I'm facing left. Now I'm facing Angel Man? Oh my god, well now where did I go? Well now I'm facing Devil Man. Uh, I kinda wanna see what, uh, what Devil Man, what's up with Devil Man though, so I'm gonna save. Okay, so now we know... Oh my gosh, the room is moving! It's a pretty, it was a pretty big death. Oh my god, I'm all the way back here. Where's my bowl room? Give me my bowl room! Alright, 
So what we need to do is we need to get into the room here. We need to get into the room while it's on the left. Uh... The left deal. Problem is, I don't know which way I'm facing right now. So now I'm facing... To the right. Okay, so that's... So now I'm facing backwards. Maybe? Wait. You can't get in over there. I'm gonna have to get in... I'm gonna have to get in... Uh... Well, maybe not. Am I in the room now? No, I'm in the angle room. Damn it. Let me out. Okay. Now I'm in... Now I'm in the good room. Now I'm in... Okay, so we should see a room... Oh. Now there should be a room. Unless I got flipped around, I think I may have gotten flipped around. Oh, no. Don't want to go in there. Oh my god, does this- this room doesn't move the rooms. I think I'm just screwed. I think I just have to die. Actually, I saved, right? Well, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to mess up. I don't want to get us stuck in a loop. Okay. 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 But the good news is, is that I know what I'm doing a little bit. Oh my gosh, the room is moving. Uh-oh, I turned around. Now I don't know where I, uh... Okay, bowl room. Awesome. Okay. So I need to... How is that even possible? Because if I get on here... Maybe it works. So now I'm here. No, it doesn't work because now the the walls are facing the wrong way. Maybe not. Oh, wait, no, I went into a corner, didn't I? Oh, fuck me, dude.
So I guess I have to get on... Oh wait, no, this is the... Oh, that's fine. So, okay. So I came in from here. Maybe I have to get on... Over here. Because this will... Okay, closes it. Rotating around me. Now I'm facing... Fucking... I don't know. Walked in this way, it rotated. So now I'm facing left. So now if I... Turn around... No, that's the bowl room. Fuck, I fucked it all up. Oh my god. Okay, I'm in the spinny room now. I'm in the, the outer room. The problem is that... Oh! Ooh! Ooh! Oh my god. Uh... Uh Weird symbols. Maybe knowing what that snake symbol means will help me figure out what the others mean. This is There's so many symbols, dude. Uh I'm, I, I am writing all of this down because it was a pain to get here, so I don't want to come back until I know. Until I know that I need to be back here. Triangle. Triangle lifting weights. Freak triangle, freak O thing. Okay, well, I got all those down, and for some reason, those snake around into uh, a pot of some sort. Or like a jar, maybe? I feel like I'm taking Blue's Clues here. Didn't he have like a notepad? Big red notebook or something? Yeah, I'm a handy dandy notebook, dude. And then there's like a snake thing in the middle. I don't know. Uh, it's a snake eating himself. All right. So this is what my notes my notes look for this area. That's pretty uh it's pretty good, right? So do I have to go all the way back now?
Oh my god, I thought that was the exit. Oh my god, I'm in a corner. Uh... Now where am I? Oh my god. This is, I'm not gonna die here, right? Uh, now let me go. Oh, oh, we can go from either direction now. I can, uh, The drill. We lose just a little. Who's a pretty bird in the bitch. Hey, I've been in your secret passageway. You wanna like give me some information Hi, or Linda. anything? <sighs> I'll be going now. Oh god. Lulu always wins. Dude, Lulu. Lulu's just getting as many cracker cakes as his little bird I'm heart to make wants. Cake for Lulu, if that's okay. Go right ahead. I won't need the oven until I have something to bake. Yeah, I, I know. I'm going to bake another cake for Lulu, if that's okay. Help yourself. I hope Lulu does not get his own spinoff series. I don't want that. Or her own. Lulu is, uh... Pretty sure Lulu, Lulu is a female parrot. Devil thing plus, uh, I mean, that does look important. I guess I'll write that down. Still don't know what any of that stuff means. Uh, do you have? I found your secret passageway. Do you happen to know what the symbol of a snake eating its own tail means? Never heard of that. I should get going. Ta-ta. Can I Google it on my cellular phone? No. This is Paliki. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. I have another question. You know, about lycanthropy? I'm listening. 
Thanks for your time. You're welcome. Okay, that was helpful. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Petrov. Hi, what's going on? Did you meet Nigel Mukherjee when you were here? Mm, not really. Mrs. Drake told me who he was, but whenever I passed the library, he was always on his cell phone, talking as if he didn't want anyone to hear. You know, furtively. Could you hear what he was saying? Not a word. He was taking great pains to make sure he was not overheard. Say, you don't suppose he has something to do with what's been happening to Linda, do you? I'm not sure yet. I'm still, you know, <laughs> gathering facts. I'd forgotten all about him until just now. He was up to something. I don't know what, but he was up to something. Goodbye, Mrs. Petrov. Take care. See ya, Stripes. Okay. Is he here? He's back. Ah, there you are. I'm sorry to inform you that I shall soon be leaving Blackmoor. I just have a few things to take care of, and then I shall bid you adieu. Why? Where are you going? I have good reason to believe this place is genuinely haunted. There's no way I'm staying here one minute longer than I have to. Thankfully, I've finished most of my research and have enough to start my book. Do you know what the symbol of a snake eating its tail signifies? The Ouroboros? It's a very old image and is usually associated with alchemy. You really do come up with the strangest questions, Nancy. I'll let you get back to your work. Tally-ho! He got spooked. He got spooked by the statue. Yes. I'll let uh, you get back to your work. Goodbye. Okay, well, let's go talk to the bird. Well, actually, let's go downstairs. Uh, to the conservatory. And then go talk to the bird. I still haven't filled up this fountain at all. Yes. Yeah. Goodbye. That's what Good I thought. evening. Fucking useless. Uh, where was I going? Talk to the bird. Talk to the bird. I feel like I've been up and down these stairs so much. Hello! Lulu want a yummy cake? Cake! Lulu want cake! Delicious! Bye, bird. Lulu! Okay, so there's no... There's no hint. Uh, I want to say... Maybe... Uh, let's check our list. You're talking to your... Your future self watching on the archive? I like that. Oh, I'm supposed to do a web search on my cell phone. Uh, alchemy, the attempt by ancient practitioners to turn base materials into gold in their search for perfection and immortality, had its origin in blah blah blah. Uh, blah blah blah. Uh, blah 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 blah. Uh, alchemy was ever evolving combination, blah blah blah. Alchemy spanned thousands of years, blah blah blah. So, Aqua Fortis was in that last thing. What about the jar looking one? I could have sworn that was just a. Uh... I'm not going to write down all of these symbols because I've got them on my phone.
Alchemists routinely processed and or combined substances in order to create new ones. For instance, they collected the oily material that forms naturally as sulfur-bearing sulfur rocks weather, distilled it to make green vitriol, then distilled green vit vitriol to make vitriol. Monthly, monthly can help our dreams come true. So they're doing something with that oil. Uh, is that what they're doing? They're doing alchemy at night with the oil? De Wonder Spawns, thank you for the $2. Uh, says, I twisted my knee today on the bus, so it's really nice to see you stream. It helps. Thank you. I'm sorry about your knee. I hope that feels better. As someone who has knee issues, uh, I sympathize. Uh, but thank you for the donation. Take it easy. Ice that knee. And uh, we're going to maybe solve a mystery or maybe not. Uh, well, I don't, I don't know. I haven't done that yet. Why don't I search Ouroboros? Right? That's what I was trying to figure out what it was. Discover what the deal is with the symbol. Check. Okay. Find out what's on the other side. That. I'm finished. That's done. Read up on alchemy and figure out what's up with those symbols below the Ouroboros. Uh, well, yeah, I know those symbols. It definitely looks like they're trying to combine the symbols. Uh... Hi, Nancy. I should get going. Ta-ta. I guess I could go down there and try and dick around with the symbols. Do you mind if I make something? Go right ahead. Was there any in this book? Ooh, I wonder if, uh... 
I wonder if she'll talk to me about alchemy? Someone has to know something about alchemy. This is Nancy Drew, again. Like, they can't just pull alchemy out of nowhere and nobody knows that alchemy is going on down here. I should be able to talk to Jane about it, because I know that's what she was doing. This is Paliki. This is Nancy Drew, again. What is it now? Thanks for your time. You're welcome. Felicity! The door! The door! Man, I don't want to go all the way. Oops. We're sorry. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. I guess we're going to go all the way back down there. And a winner. I don't remember. Yeah, I'm not calling Ned. When has Ned ever been helpful? Ned's just gonna be like, oh, hey, I'm in another country. My name's Ned. So am I in the spinny room now? Can I just chill out here? I think maybe I can just... Dude, this game does need a, a Tony Shock. I agree. So like, is this supposed to, Well, there you go. <laughs> All right. Well, don't fuck around with the alchemy. Uh, what if I just, okay. So, <laughs> everything, that was a very calm oops. Oops. I guess I'm dead. Uh. Aqua Fortis. Three parts spirit of salt. Okay. Combined with that, maybe? No. Oh, 
Oh, am I trying to make? So if I do... Okay, to make Aqua Fortis... Wait, no. Aqua Fortis. They would combine vitriol and nitri. Oh, but they don't have the. Oh, yeah, they do. Bip -bip bing Okay. So now. So now I've got Aqua Regia, or I need to make... Three parts Spirit of Salt, one part Aqua Fortis. Is the Aqua Fortis already in the thing? So I, I do I just need to add three spirit of salt? Noir Zephan, thank you so much for the 14 months. Because I can't add... Only substance that could dissolve, dissolve gold. Unless I'm supposed to use... I feel like I want to start over. I feel like I don't remember what I did the first time to get it right, so now I don't know. Have a spirit of salt. Uh, unless, okay, so I'm trying to make, okay, so I'm trying to make aqua regia, maybe. So if I distill No. Distill green uh distill
to make green vitriol. And then distill. I don't fucking know, dude. Can I just make anything? Lime. I'm just gonna blow it up. I don't know. I need to start over. Oops. Oops. Okay. Okay. So. Aquafortis is in the box. And to get that... I did vitriol and nitrate, maybe? Okay, okay. So I'm trying to figure out how to solve this. So I gotta make... Okay. Okay, so Aqua Regia. Get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah! Yes! Dad works for Xbox. Thank you so much for subscribing. And uh, congratulations to your dad for that really cool job. Three parts Spirit of Salt. So it's gotta be combined with... Uh, Regia, which we already know is... Weirdy thing plus... Uh, X thing. Three parts spirit of salt. Three parts... So, if I did one, two, three... All of it together? Okay, all right, all right. All right, all right. Okay. All right, and now we're making to make Spirit of Salt. Distill. Distill green vitriol. Okay, then green vitriol. Alchemists routinely process or combine substances. For instance, they collected oily material that forms. Oh, oh. Green vitriol. Oily material that forms sulfur-bearing rocks. Sulfur... Do we see sulfur anywhere? Vinegar. Sulfur. There's sulfur. What'd they say? Sulfur and... Weathering, maybe? Filtration. Separation. Earth. Or 
precipitation, distillation, separation. It just says oily material that forms naturally as sulfur bearing rocks weather. Maybe, uh, maybe water? Lead. Separation, maybe. Distillation. Air, water. Well, I thought water maybe was on here. Sublimation. Earth? Earth and sulfur? I can't be Earth. Precipitation's not on here. Distillation is. Green vitriol. So, so if I distill... Is green. Vitriol. Is that what I'm making? I'm supposed to be making a spirit of salt. So I know how to make, maybe, green uh, vitriol. Then distilled. And then you distill it again to make vitriol. But that doesn't... It would then combine vitriol and nitrite plus nitrite. Wait. No. Green vitriol and common salt. There's not regular salt here, though. Spirit of salt. Am I looking at the wrong fucking thing? Does it matter that it's sideways? Oh, it does. It's a completely different thing. Okay. Well, maybe that'll be easier. What am I trying to make then? I'm trying to make fucking mercury. No wonder this was so confusing. Lime. Mercury was obtained by burning cinnabar. Okay, so is it just... Yeah, I'm not look I'm not looking at the chat cuz I know you guys are probably telling me so. Cuz I know I can't trust you guys to not tell me so. But I guess that validates me not looking at the chat. <laughs> Distilled vinegar. Can I just do vinegar and then distilled? Vinegar. What is that thing? I 
feel like I've seen that s somewhere before, but it's not on... Uh... Oh, wait, there it is. Uh, liquor... Hepatis? Distilling... Sulfur... Do I have to distill each one separately? Dis sulfur? Sal... Ammoniac... Lime... Where's... Did we have to make lime? Distillation, purification, lead. Okay. Lime was... Okay, burning chalk or limestone. Burn. How did I make... Burning chalk or limestone. There's quick lime. Uh Is quick lime the same as r I feel like I shouldn't be cutting corners here when things can blow me up. Maybe that is what it is. Uh didn't I make lime? Okay, I guess I, I guess I'll do quick lime. I don't I don't know how to interpret that other than it's lime, but you don't have to do all of the steps. Quick lime. Sulfur. Distill, sulfur, quicklime. Dude! We made it. A keyhole. Uh... The, mm, Charles? Oh, the Journal of Charles Penvillain. Ill cannot believe, uh, that Gar, uh, Gon, Gonnet is gone? The tragedy has caused his mother to shun all light, seeking solace in silence and shadow. But finding it not, his sister, having shared the bright day of his birth, cannot but constantly uh, relive the gray day of his passing. And I, his father, find my thoughts going to him like May flies to the hearth.
Get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah! Yes! Oh, Gareth. Gotcha, Gareth. My Supernova Sunshine, thank you very much for the 12 months. What was, what could have been, what is to become of the pen? Oh, I'm not reading. I'm not reading a bunch of random chunks. Are you kidding me? I'll take the, I'll take the this. Hereby decree that in, initiate may be male or female and that the education of said initiate is to begin no sooner than the 12th okay surely this is one of the most uh, are you making gold Okay, well, we've done that. Heaven's Word, yeah. Door chimes for secret doors. That doesn't super help me. Unless I could get down here without having the sword yet, but... Well, I guess I could have gotten down here without having the sword yet, actually. Begun to take note of my clandestine activities, reporting to the constable that they have heard strange noises and seen strange lights when passing the manor at night. I am loath to curtail my experiments, for working in such close proximity to the treasure ooh, is a boon to my spirits, but I fear there is a treasure. They are guarding a treasure. But what? A werewolf treasure? This looks like some kind of medieval forge. This looks like some kind of ancient mold. By pulling out different plugs, I can create different patterns in the mold. Looks like a chunk of metal. Can I... Okay. So this looks a lot like that one thing we saw in the book. Uh, though I don't know how to put... We're missing a link, I think. Master of the Winds. Ah... Uh... I'll just write down the letters. A, Z, B, F, E, A, A, A. Oh, these are just their names. This isn't necessarily a, anything important. Zephyrus West? O Boreas the North Wind? Fa Favonius? I don't know. South Wind? East Wind? I didn't read all that, but I took a couple notes over things that looked somewhat important. Uh, remain largely intact all these years. Would that I could lay claim to my birthright and live here openly. But Lydia tells me that my grandmother's name still stirs fear and hatred in the hearts of nearby villagers. My dear initiate. You're not going to read the rest? 
Uh, congratulations for progressing this far. Your goal... Oh, this matches the, uh... The writing on that, um... That piece of paper in, uh, What's-Her-Face's room. Congratulations for progressing this far. Your goal may, uh, not be in sight, but it is very, very close. I leave this for you because the, uh, Athenor... I don't know what that is. Uh, can be daunting and not a little discouraging. Just bear in mind that to use it, you must first light it. And to light it, you must give it four things. Earth, air, water, and fire. Should you require more information, consult uh, the uh, Mutus Liber... Something even my grandfather, Corbin, apparently did with some frequency. Penelope Penvalin. Wow, this letter was written more than 200 years ago. Regret that we shall never meet. Uh, a glimpse into my life. Project myself to the future. Blackmore Manor is indeed the sum of the hearts and minds of all who have dwelt here. Uh... This looks important. Welcome, dear initiate. The trials, blah, blah, blah. Demonstrated your worthiness, yada, yada, yada. Set this tradition in motion. Six columns in the Great Hall, each hiding a brave knight who will direct the movement of the oil of enlightenment to this forge in which a key shall be created to reveal the secret of our father. Okay, okay. Secret must be well guarded. Hide the final solution to unlock this secret in your coat of arms. And in the silent book. Okay, so someone's coat of arms is important. Uh, can only add to his genius. Tiles are now locked. Key to be found. Nearby staircase that sings. Well, I got that. If the well is empty. Devious lock hidden in the passages under the manor. We'll return it. Okay. Okay, so down here is where I fill up the tub. This is kind of cool, though. They've got, like, a family thing where everyone in their family is trying to do some weird shit together, you know? Welcome, neither gladness, uh, no force of misguided. Bring fire to the forge. Tame the master guardian gargoyle and his two companions with Mercury's wand. Hmm. To know these strange riddles and puzzles have endured for so many generations. It is pretty cool. But I wish they would chill out. Why are there so many puzzles? I already opened the moon box. So I'm basically going through all of the initiate challenges myself. Dragon now watches over the manor, and a column is dedicated to Saturn, god of time. With time, you will discover the passage that hides its key behind a target? Did I even get the moon one? No? 
Oh, that's not, that's the wrong time. Uh, great shortcut through moving rooms is to open and close Mars door two times without advancing. Yeah, well, I figured that one out. Okay. Well, if I get stuck, I should check in there because it looks like it has info. Oh my god. Hmm. You are one big drink of water, aren't you? Cool it a little bit. All right. Uh. Yeah, I don't know about this one. What's all this, then? Whoa. Sounds like the big guy out there just took a step. <laughs> no! Am I trying to get him over here? Stronger than others. No. Uh, well, now I'm over here. Is that where I want to be? Okay, all right. I think I'm supposed to land on... Oh, fucking idiot. Okay, so I'm supposed to land on... It's kind of like chess, only... Like, really bad. I don't really know what the blue button does, though. It's the only thing I do. That's how I have to start. Handle the no. It is quite a no. <laughs> yeah, at the start, the start, the arrows don't work. Come on now, let me get you. Don't you want me to, want me to get you? Yoink! <laughs> Alright, who's, who's the next brave guy? Ho, 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 ho. 
That worked, that worked. That was accidental, but that worked. I'm wondering if I can't, uh... Sneak up on this guy. Oh, there you go. Oh, wait, wait. Did that count for me? It sounds like air is going to the forge. Dude! That counted. Alright, so we got air going up here. Uh, I'm gonna save. I definitely hear the air, but I don't. Do you want some butter? Would you like some butter? I mean, that sure sounds good, but I sure don't know what it means. So does that mean I'm missing... Does that mean I'm missing a, uh... I'm missing a piece to the... To one of those columns. I'm still missing one. Hello? Hi, it's Ned. I've Get been the fuck to off, Ned. Going there. What's the latest? Well, I've discovered some kind of medieval alchemy lab. Really? Where? Under the manor. And I mean way under the manor. In fact, I may be the only one in this place who knows about it. What's in it? Well, I was hoping to find the fabled pendle and treasure, but all there is in there is an old forge. Forge? Isn't the thing you use to heat metal and make swords and stuff? Right. So what are you going to do now? Well, actually, the forge looks like something I saw in that strange picture book Jane has that I told you about before, which means I should probably check it out more thoroughly. Probably uh... hasn't been used for centuries. That's the thing. It looks like it has been used recently. I mean, relatively recently. Certainly within the past 50 years or so. What would someone be using a forge to make in this day and age? There was also this big keyhole in the lab. What about a key? No key. Well, there you go. Maybe that's what has to be forged. The key that goes in that keyhole? That'd be my guess. I'll talk to you soon. You'd better. Finance. Shut up, Ned. And thanks for those, uh, those bits, Doc. She's probably sleeping. What time is it? Uh... Okay, so I should just... Get up in time to. I need to get into a room. Nancy? Nancy, Nancy. 
Nancy. What? You uh, you called me over here. What the fuck do you want? I'm here. Hello? Nancy. N -n 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 Nancy. Can I go outside now? No. Nancy? Nancy? She's probably sleeping. <laughs> Mrs. Drake, is that you? Okay, well, I should. I know what happens when I do that. Was it you? Did you? Say goodnight, Gracie. And the winner is Lulu. Nancy? N Nancy? She's probably sleeping. Well, fuck. Then I'm just gonna go back to sleep. <laughs> Nobody else wants to get up and be spooked by ghosts. I'm going back to bed. Bunch of party poopers. Uh, I guess I should write down... I don't know. I got 3.15. It was 3.15 when I woke up, right? I feel like that was a relevant time... <laughs> For something else as well, but I don't remember. Nancy? N Nancy? Nancy? Hi, Nancy. No. I should get going. Toodles. <laughs> This is the one. I'll bet this book can help me figure out how to get that old forge going again. And maybe even how to find the pendolin treasure. Well, I already have some of these notes down somewhere. I've written down some of this. Uh, well, that's definitely they were talking about some dragon. Did I write? I think I wrote that down though. I did. Those aren't the... Those aren't the doors. This is definitely something. This is the key. Uh, this is the key we're supposed to forge, but uh, does it have to do with the the crest somehow? Book. Leo, Star, uh, is that Snake or Dragon? Dragon? Oh, damn. Like a 
water droplet, a tea, Pegasus, mouth, comet, a rainbow. Sundial. I don't know if it's actually a sundial. That's just what I'm going to call it. And then pointing person. I'm glad you like the, the Mystery Science Theater theme that Ace did. I enjoyed being on it. Okay, so... Do we want to talk to the bird again, maybe? I feel like I'm definitely missing something. The time has come. Hello! How about a hint? Lulu hungry. Lulu want cake first. Yeah, yeah, I know the drill. Lulu want a yummy cake? Cake! Lulu want cake! Yum! Yum! Delicious! Any idea how to fire up that old forge I discovered? It's in the book that Alan gave! The ugly statues want a wave! You mean, want a wave? Lulu said what she means, that means what she said. Was that the book we were just looking at? Ugly statues. Well, I got. Well, I got that wand. Is that what it means? Uh, ugly statues. Wand a wave. I got the. Bye, bird. Here we are. Oops. No. I don't want to know about rhyming. Oh, this is literally just telling me how Roman numerals work. Uh, I don't know that the game would let me dial 911, but we're in uh, Europe somewhere, aren't we? Wouldn't it be like 999? Bolt. Unless I'm supposed to do something else with this world? Oh, you know what? Oh, never mind. I thought maybe I could use this. I can't. Looks like a piece is missing. You know what? There was that thing in my bedroom that I never figured out. Now that I think about it. It's in here, but what? Oops. Something fits in here, but what? Ooh, what? What do we have here? Uh, I don't know what we have here. Uh... 
Am I supposed to do these in order? Or... Oops, no. We're sorry, your call cannot be completed and dialed. Please check the number and dial again. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm recording. Looking, uh... Alchemy symbols, I guess? But what? Is this to make silver since I'm in the moon room? Figure out what to do with that box with the prongs on the top that I found in the old lab. Maybe I'm supposed to take some of the prongs out, pour molten metal into it. Well, yeah. Can't check that off till it's done. Check. That's done. I'm finished with that. Okay. So current objectives are uh, figure out how to do that uh, molten lava thing. But I feel like this is going to be a priority. Push the symbols in a particular order. Uh, but I don't know what order. Maybe it's the order of their s s signs. Um, like the f the family's signs, you know. I gotta find a book on. Uh, on astrology or something. Maybe ask the bird. Insufferable turd monster. I'm going to bake another cake for Lulu, if that's okay. Go right ahead. I mean, my only guess right now is to just do them, do the signs in order, but I also don't know the order of the signs. But if that was the case, there would be a book around to, uh, I'm gonna punch your voice box out of you real quick here in a second. Just gonna take one big old punch. Hi, Nancy. I should get going. Au revoir. <laughs> She's still got her meat. Hi, Linda. I'll be going now. Dude, it's all, it's, you, you know Brady Armstrong is going to be the center of all this. You know that Brady Armstrong is going to be the real werewolf.
You sent me a gift on Twitter. I will I will keep an eye out. I haven't checked Twitter since I started. Can I go in the kitchen yet? I can't believe I'm respecting this note. I Okay, so I gotta figure out the water. Yes. Goodbye. The pleasure is all mine, child. Um, I guess I'll go ask for a hint. If if the bird does not give me a hint, I'm gonna ha go, have to go back down to that lab and reread the part about filling the well up with water. Uh, cause we haven't done that. Looks like Nigel forgot his laptop. Hold on just a moment, please. Oh my god, eight hours? <laughs> uh, uh, The silver snickerncy, snickerns, snickers snee. I'm gonna go talk to the freaking bird again for like the billionth time. I gotta be further than halfway through. I feel like I'm getting, I mean, I'm down in the forge. I just gotta figure out how to turn on, uh. Hello. Lulu want a yummy If I can cake? figure out how to turn all that crap on. <laughs> Bye, bird. Bye, bird. Okay, I guess I'm going back to the forge. I can't remember how to get there. Uh, it's down here. Uh, well, it's not this. Mercury's all covered up. Oh, oh, I'm in the wrong. Uh, okay, I gotta go over here. There we go.
I would not be down here. It sounds like someone's about to blow up. Get. Okay. Did that. A devious lock hidden in the passages underneath the manor. Well, we found that key. But the forge cannot work without being tempered by water. If the well is empty, a devious lock hidden in the passages underneath the manor. So are there more? Maybe there's more stuff in these passages that I'm just like running through. Maybe there's more. Maybe there's more crap down here. Um... Which way did I come from? Let us be ever vigilant. I mean, unless that... Is that supposed to be a clue? Unless that hand puzzle... Wasn't the water puzzle the one you already did with the Spartan dude? I mean, it could be... It could be, but I don't think so. I think that would make a water noise. Um, I know there were notes on that puzzle, though. Well, hold on. No, oh, never mind. I thought I was onto something, but I don't think so. What's all this then? Glorious laboratory which my ancestor Albert Pinvillain created. Um, it was not helpful.
across the conservatory's pond. Okay, so I have to fill up the pond. That is what I need to do. The pond needs to be filled up. I'm almost positive that that's what I need to do. There you will discover a... Okay, okay. So the... Um... The... Not constellation, what is it? The uh... Astrological symbols, whatever. That is where the moon thing is. If the well is empty, a devious lock hidden in the passages. Did I find... Oops. Did I find another puzzle that I skipped over, that I was like, I don't know how to do this, and skipped over it? If so, that's probably the right one. And where did I find the... No. Oh, hello, male. Hello, male. Door chimes for secret doors. I'm gonna go get my mail. So does, like, for real, this is, I, I need, uh, it's not even really a hint. Did I find a puzzle in this downstairs part that I haven't solved yet? Uh, that I just forgot? I mean, it seems possible, but... No. We did the green dragon. We did the target. No signal. Uh, uh, maybe I'm able to find out the zodiac symbol thing.
Because we don't have, like, fire or anything down here, so we can't do the fire. Okay. Sounds like the answer is we don't know. Uh, I don't think... I've tried to click on the, um... On the gears. I'm supposed to use the staff for something else. At some point, but how do I get the fucking water back? I did find the hidden passway, passageway behind the gargoyle. That is something that I... ...accomplished. Set a puzzle under the manor. I am under the manor. And yet I see no puzzle. I got all turned around. Now I don't know where I am. Aside from this, which I think I'm done with. Did I just loop? I did. I, so I went in a complete circle and I did not see... Reminds me of that What's all I this then? Sleeper. I'm supposed to press I hate the button under like the blue that. triangles I want to move. Then press the one under the group I want to move them to until I wind up with a group of just four triangles. Hate shit like that. It's one of those, well, you didn't turn in the right way or something. It's the same thing I've got a big complaint on Riven, which is like my favorite game. Uh, why I, there's a, there's a similar thing that I, I really dislike. I don't like shit like that. Oh, is this the, um, does this have to do with the cups? Maybe? am I doing here? Four cups. Uh... 
Well, okay. I don't know. <laughs> Five. Well, I get with the puzzle this is supposed to, uh... This is in the book with all the, the cups holding out. And there's three cups and it's five, eight, and three. And then in the bottom cup is a four. So, am I trying to get four in the middle? Is that the goal here? Or maybe just four in any of the cups? There's two. Sure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if I open the door now, I'll flood the place. Okay. Um. If I open the door now, I'll flood the place. Okay. Well, that's done. See, like how was it was like tucked. So for reference, I came into this room like this all the time. No indication. I guess there's a little, like, there's a wall here, and there's not a wall here, like... Okay. Well, let's go see if that, uh, I wonder... Thank you for the congratulations. I, I knew it had to be in there somewhere. I knew we missed something. No, I don't want to go downstairs. Well, I guess I'll go downstairs. I don't know how to get out of this place. Let me out. That's true. <laughs> A little bullshit in each adventure game is probably true. Um, Barbara Leach, uh, it, it was behind one of those. So now all those underground hallways are actually all connected now. So it was actually behind all of them. Um, so the triangle doors, there was one on each side. That opened and in front of us was the, the door with the moving room. And then off to the right, where you couldn't really see it, was the water puzzle. It was just off, it was tucked away. Pay no attention to the bird behind the curtain. Okay, so maybe we can do... I sure hear water. Yep. All right. It's a game based on that children's book John Pendleton wrote. Oh, right, the shitty frog book. Oh, 
Oh, I have to do it. Oh my god. Well, this is gonna be fun. Can I go on the land? Cheap. Yeah, this is basically like shitty Minesweeper meets Frogger. Thank you. So the only thing I'm missing is the uh, zodiac symbol puzzle. This goes here. Cause I think I've opened, I've gotten all the other, uh, all the other ones have been opened and I think the pipes are in the correct position. Hello! How about a hint? Talk to me! Okay. Bye bird. Bob's your uncle. Nancy, I'm so afraid someone just sent me this horrid message. Look at this. This house is now mine, so of this be warned. Thou hast angered me and shall chicken. soon be gone. Now look on the other side. That symbol is a rune. Right side up, it means protection like a shield. But there, it's upside down. It means I'm in danger. I wouldn't take this seriously, Jane. Someone in this house is up to no good, and I'm determined to find out who it is. Are you really? I mean, none of these weird things started happening until you came to Blackmore. How do I know it's not you who's behind all this? I think you can trust me. I think not. I don't think I can trust anyone right now. I wish I'd never come back to this place. It's old and cold, and I hate it. And I hate... I just don't want to be here. I know you're upset, but please, you have to trust me. I'm on your side. Yeah, maybe what if the paper was supposed to be flipped over, you know, like this instead of like this? Uh, and also, you lied to me about performing a ritual, so I don't really care what happens to you. I should get going. Bye. I hope the werewolf gets you. That's what you get for lying to Nancy Drew. Uh, you want to talk? The ritual. She was, um... She was pouring oil down the, the hole in the floor. And then she was like, I wasn't pouring oil down the hole in the floor. And I was like, bitch, I saw you pour the oil down the hole in the floor. And she's like, no, you didn't. Hi, Linda. <sighs> I'll be going now. Again. It's very curious, but quite wonderful. Goodbye. Good evening. Okay. Um, man, I don't know that I have seen a solution 
to the Zodiac puzzle. Maybe it's in my room? Maybe this is the solution? Oh, you know what? There was something in here. Wait. Oh wait, I gotta do the... You'd think these two things would go together since they use the same... Oh, they don't. I thought maybe I could see those symbols again. Still, nobody spooky has put anything in my luggage. Check. Check. Can't check that off. Can't check that off till it's done. I feel like I haven't been seeing any zodiac symbols anywhere. I mean, maybe like some, because some of them are kind of like the uh, the alchemy symbols, like this one. Uh, uh, do I have to separate the alchemy from the zodiac? Maybe it's not Zodiac. Multiplication. Are they all? Well, I don't see the arrow one. Like this bottom left one here, I don't see that anywhere. Maybe I'm just supposed to... Um, you know what I'm gonna do? Gonna write it down. When in doubt, write it down. When in doubt, you write it down. Don't be sad, don't have a frown. When you don't know, just write it down. Something like that? Thank you for not helping. I 
I know it can be frustrating to watch me be stuck on a puzzle if you know the answer, but it would not be fun to just get the answer all the time. The joy of puzzle games is figuring out said puzzles. You know? No, I didn't get the note from Under the Venus Flytrap. Um, she's always there except for at night, and I don't think I have anything... I tried to give it butter, and it didn't want butter, so I don't know what else I'm going to give the plant to get it to back off. Uh, I did play the Talos Principle. I enjoyed the Talos Principle. So, we've got multiplication, uh, what about that little sprout thing? Okay, this, oh wait, there it is. We've got the little weird loopy things. Dissolution. And then we've got like a weird... Uh, like a weird squiggly thing. Oh, you know what? I wonder if that squiggle thing... I think that's actually a VR, maybe? Like that, uh... That alchemy thing we made? This thing? It seems like it might be able to... Or it might be that. I don't see... I don't see anything that looks quite like that squiggle thing. Uh, moving on, we've got a Roman number two. Which... is not a thing. It is not a thing. No. Uh, well, this looks like the thing right next to it, but upside down. I don't see a right side up one. So maybe there are fakes in here, hiding amongst the real alchemy. I don't see that. I don't see the arrow. Uh, it's like a little torpedo fish looking thing. Kind of like that, but not really. 
The last one is distillation. Okay. Uh, so some of these are real. I think some of these are not... Uh, are not related. Damn. Uh... I mean, we could try the fly trap. I don't think we have what we need to get, uh, to get there, though. Uh, let's go to... Digestive system cannot do without roughage, you know. Yes, Mrs. Rose. Ah. I see you. I see you. You don't hmm. see me. Interesting. You're blind as shit. But I saw you. Hmm, looks like some sort of charm. I can't tell what that first thing is. Uh. F, chicken foot, X, triangle, Z, asterisk, little funky thing with a deal on it. We can't go home until we solve the mystery of whatever the mystery is. She's probably sleeping. Should I knock? I should save before I knock on your door. <laughs> Mrs. Drake, is that you? I'm going to run away now. Uh, we know the plot. The thing is, I, I, I understand the plot of the house. I don't quite understand why Nancy Drew is here. Uh, I, I understand the family thing. I, I think I got it. But I'm not 100% sure how, how Nance got involved. I'm almost positive that's not the answer. Uh... I mean, unless I get butter... He doesn't want the butter. I definitely hear bugs. If I could get wherever those bugs are, if I could get them over here. Mm -hmm. 
I agree. I think I think the plant would have gladly taken the butter. Well, at least we have something new to talk uh, talk to these people about. Would you like my butter? Excuse me. No one is awake. Let me go into the kitchen. Say goodnight, Gracie. Okay. Well, I don't know. She's probably sleeping. Well, who is at my door then? Oh, there's a... Scratch marks. Like something was trying to get into my room. Dude. I'm gonna get... Warwilfed. Anything in my luggage? Anything there? No. Okay. I guess it's time to go... Go back to sleep. Please? You were up to s Don't. Oh, it's still there. Are you a werewolf now? Hi, Linda. <sighs> I'll be going now. Would you like some butter for your meat? My lady? Would you like Hi, a butter? Okay, I understand. I'll talk to you later. I have this butter in my pocket for a few days. So Linda is uh, behind a sheet. Um, we are being led to believe that she is a werewolf, uh, but I'm not. Uh, I'm not too convinced. Um. I feel like the bird could still be the werewolf. Monthly, monthly can help our dreams come true. The only Zach donated $2 and says, Hi Ian, I just looked at the time and realized I've been up watching your stream for six hours. Thanks for such a fun stream and keep up the good work. Uh, Blood Trail. P.S. I'm looking forward to the next episode of Televoid. Well, thanks for hanging out for so long. How long is the stream? I haven't even been paying attention. Oh, eight hours and 48 minutes. <laughs> Thank you for donating. Thank you, uh... Uh, thanks for hanging out. Yes? Why did you put that charm above Linda's door? What? I fail to see why that is any of your concern. But if you must know, I was only trying to help Linda. Oh, I am at a loss as to what to do about her. A complete loss. Sometimes extraordinary situations require extraordinary measures. I thought that perhaps a charm would help, whatever it is that's plaguing that poor thing. She's the werewolf. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the bits. I don't know. People asking when I'm going to stop. I don't know. I never know. I don't know why you keep asking. I don't know. I don't know how long I'm going for. Who knows? Could be another year before we get this mystery done. Who knows? I could be here for the rest of my life. 
Uh, which Nancy Drew games do I have? Um, just two. This one and whichever one we played last time, which was... Uh, Uh, which was, what was the one we played? Um, there was a town hall that burned down and Nancy was in jail the whole time. Are we human or are we werewolf? Do you believe that Blackmore Manor is haunted? No, of course not. I've lived here for many, many years, and I can tell you without a doubt that absolutely no ghosts walk these halls. An occasional odd creak here and there, yes, but no ghosts. But I do sometimes wonder if those who have passed away remain with us, lingering on. I miss you my You mean a terribly, fucking ghost? I sometimes wonder if he is in some way still here. There's no ghost here whatsoever. Yeah, except though those ghosts wandering about. Yeah, but no ghosts. Goodbye. Run along. I wish I could run along to a more helpful answer. Exactly, there are no ghosts, but I think there, there's probably ghosts. Um... Do you want, do you want my butter? Let's see some serious coinage here! That's big money! Excellent! Oh, Vanna! The White Silver donated $10 and says, A combination of your schedule and long hours of streaming has allowed me to watch you live again. So, thanks for that. I hope it's not exhausting to stream for this long. I've decided to give you money equal to your hours, rounded to the nearest Vanna. Thank you very much, White Silver. Uh, no, honestly, what time is it? Oh shit, it's like 6.45! Uh... Yeah, I, I don't know, it still feels like it's like 2 or 3 to me, so... <laughs> Not exhausted. I uh, just really want, really want to know what to do with this butter. Uh, but thank you, White Silver. I like rounding to the nearest Vanna. <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh... Okay, well, I'm gonna skip, gonna skip forward in time and talk, talk to the little werewolf. I am getting butter all over my phone. <laughs> I'm getting butter all over everything, really. I'm just wandering around, smearing butter on shit. I'll get food later. I can eat later. You know what they say, food, food, it's optional. Hi. Do you want to play a game? Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought she was going to say something else. I don't actually want to play a game. I actually don't want to play a game. I've changed my mind. How about a game of petroglyph punch? Dude, the Bachelorette On premiere was great. Get set, what go. was the <laughs> what bam or whatever that dude was? I don't know. Uh, I may actually go over to Danny's again uh, next week to watch the next episode. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Is 
There's some crazy dude who had like a, a catchphrase. Waboom. He just kept fucking screaming at everybody. Waboom. So if, you know. <laughs> That's insufferable. I'm trying to think of what the other... Who else showed up? Was Waboom the the weirdest guy? It would be rude to use it now. No, we fucking wouldn't. <laughs> oh my god, the guy with the puppet, the tickle monster, that's right. I haven't watched the challenge, but I, I know of the challenge. Oh, dude, I should call, uh, I should call, uh, I should call Werewolf Lady. Madam Werewolf. Madam Wolf. Check the number and dial again. This is a recording. Oh, I live near a police station. And I also live near a fire station. Which is why you hear so many sirens near me. No. This is Paliki. This is Nancy Drew again. What is it now? Thanks for your time. How about I got a almost got attacked by a werewolf last night? That seems like something worth talking about. Hello. Hi, Mrs. Petrov. Hi. What's going on? Goodbye, Mrs. Petrov. Goodbye, Nancy. Okay. Come on, Ned. Oops. Hi, Ned. Hey, what's the latest? I'll talk to you soon. I'm already looking forward to it. Fucking creepo, Ned. God, it's gotta be that puzzle, but I don't know... I don't know that I've seen anything that tells me those signs. I mean, except for the ones that I can tell that some are some are alchemy signs and some I don't think are alchemy signs. Oh yeah, I guess I could uh, I could call Hugh maybe? Mr. Pambolin, it's Nancy Drew again. Yes, good to hear from you. I am a bit pressed for time, however. What do you know about the secret passageways here at Blackmoor? Only that they're hundreds of years old and are undoubtedly dangerously decayed. Jane has been ordered to stay out of them. Fortunately, it's highly doubtful she'll even figure out how to get in them. How many passageways are there? One or two, I suppose. I'm really not sure. I vaguely recall blundering into one when I was a child, but it was very dark and ended rather abruptly, and I found the whole experience to be rather unremarkable. When I told my father what I'd discovered, he merely shrugged, agreed that the passageways were dark, decrepit, and pointless, suggested that I stay out of them, and that was the end of it. I wish I could bump into Ethel Are you the again. one who hired Ethel to be Jane's tutor? No, that was my aunt's doing. Mrs. Drake? Yes, she absolutely insisted. She said the Bosonies had been tutoring the Penvalins for centuries and that I was duty-bound to continue the tradition. Mm. She kept saying that it's what her brother would have wanted. Her brother being Alan, your father? Yes, and I must say, I've been quite pleased with Ethel. She's a fine young woman, and Jane seems to enjoy her lessons, strange as they are. What do you mean by strange? Ethel demands that Jane study history, obscure history, Penvalin history, they discuss events that even I, as a direct descendant, find inconsequential, to say nothing of deadly dull. Are you aware that those columns in the Great Hall can be opened up? The columns in the Great Hall open up? Why on earth would they do that? I'm not sure yet. 
And more to the point, what did the columns in the Great Hall have to do with Linda? I'm not sure about that either. My mother-in-law is counting on you to find out what's wrong with Linda. I'm counting on you. Linda's counting on you. I do hope you won't allow yourself to get distracted. It was nice talking to you. Do keep me posted. Uh, give me some food. Ball's head, this is Tommy. Hello, Hi, Tommy. This is Nancy Drew. I'd like to order some food. Sure, we've got some loop de loop bangers and mash, pinky and perky and a dog's eye, and they're all Robin Hood. Maybe if I get raw meat, the werewolf will come in. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll this I'd is, like I haven't had the pinky and perky, and perky yet. Good choice. Uncle Fred and Johnny Rudder? You bet. All right, then. We'll come round and leave it at your Rory. Baked potato. Baked potato. Should get going. Bye. Hi. Bye. <laughs> Geometry, algebra. of Bridget? <laughs> She's not happy. Uh, I don't remember what. We did something to make her unhappy. these pictures of the animals around but I can't examine them so they can't be the zodiac ones pay no attention to the bird behind the curtain I almost feel like I should go to bed again Hello. bye bird Bob's your uncle you're gonna need a bigger boat a hint. Talk to me. Bye, bird. Don't leave me. I love you. God. Time has come. Bye, everybody. Baked potato, everybody. That's leaving right now. Baked potato. I think the doors wink at me occasionally. Um. You miss when I killed the bird. That was a that was unexpected to say the least. Why can I only go up to this? Uh, the stone tower was where we found a key. We found a key up there, but it doesn't look like there's anything else up there. I feel like it's gotta be that constellation box, man. But I don't know what piece of information I skipped over.
Dude, a baked potato does sound pretty good right about now. I would take a baked potato. Now, I tried doing the sound effects uh, steps backwards, but it didn't, uh, it, it didn't seem to have an effect. Yes? Goodbye. The pleasure is all mine, child. I guess I'm gonna go to sleep. I mean, sh weird shit happens when I'm in bed, and I feel like maybe I need more of that weird shit to happen. We haven't slept a ton. We spent a lot of time in the, uh... Damn. A lot of time in the, um... You know, a lot of time. Dude, I didn't get my new food. It's been a whole day. Oh my god, that's not what I meant. Lulu isn't giving me jack shit, are you kidding me? Really wish that was it. Okay. All right. All right. Let's drink. I mean, I guess I still haven't done. There's something with fire I'm supposed to do at some point uh, that I ha I've yet to do. Kill Lulu again. I don't want to disturb them. I do want to disturb them though. Maybe if I. If I skip to two, I'll uh, I'll bump into her. I feel like I need to bump into what's her face again. <laughs> Stick butter on their door. I honestly, I really hope butter is the answer. Again. Well, I... I don't know that that is how that was supposed to work. <laughs> Do you mind if I make something? Go right ahead. I should get going. Bye. Oh, God. No. Butter in the cake. Hi, Linda. Okay, I understand. 
I'll talk to you later. <sighs> Who's a pretty bird in the mirror? Come on, pretty bird. I need. Is a stupid bird. Is a stupid Come on, bird. stupid bird. How about a hint? Lulu hungry. Lulu want cake first. Yeah, you gotta yeah, give me something, do. dude. I I need just a just a little nudge. Hello. Lulu want a yummy cake. Cake. Lulu want cake. Oh. Delicious. Bye, bird. Fucking. Oh, Pretty bird in the mirror. You're gonna need a bigger boat. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, if anybody has any, uh, even just a, a room that maybe I should be in. Uh, if not, I'm just gonna go down. Oh, not this again. Uh, I may just go back down to, uh, the lab and look through those notes again. Because other than that, I feel like I've been everywhere a billion times. I mean, maybe this guy updated his thing to... I know he's dead and everything, but... Which one was it? It was, uh... So who's ready to go in a ghost hunt? Pretty sure you can get the meat that I need from dinner. I do- so I do need meat? Okay, well I can try that. I didn't actually know that I... ...needed... Uh, ...needed meat. I still never got, uh... Bald head, this is Tommy. When you hey, click on the plate, it like just eats food. all the food for oh, you. We've got some loop-de-loop -loop bangers and mash, pinky and perky and a dog's eye, and they're all Robin Hood. Can I have the dog's eye? That'll make me gooseberry right proud. Uncle Fred and Johnny Rudder? You bet. All right, then. We'll come round and leave it at your Rory. Baked potato. Baked potato. Now, how did we get the food? I remember just appearing here, but I don't remember how I made that happen. You need to wander around for a bit? I'll wander around down here? Hello, I'm looking at this award while I wait for my food. No, my phone doesn't say anything about, um... I mean, not unless... Well, these say Zodiac. Okay. Well, maybe this...
Oops. Well, I might as well save. Oh man, something sounds smells good. Okay. Someone's making some something with garlic. How is that under? What was it under? It was under why star? Why the stars seem to move? <laughs> so we've got Aquarius. The weird V looking thing. So this is not one. V. No. Okay, so I don't know what the hell the weird one in the top right. I know you can't see it right now, but you're going to have to trust me. That it does not appear to be anywhere in here. Gemini. Leo. That it smells really good. Libra. Got a little basketball looking thing. Pisces. Are these in order? Scorpio. Uh, so they all are zodiac signs. I mean, maybe it's just supposed to be in order. Taurus is two. Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio is not on here. Maybe? And then Pisces? Because eh, this is not anything. This is like a weird made up 
Oh, what was, uh... I missed where... Uh... I missed, uh, oops. So after Lib Libra, Sagitt Sagittarius, and maybe ten. Where was Aquarius? Sag That doesn't make any sense. How did I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? Oh, Pisces. Pisces is at the very end. Uh, okay. I don't know what this one is. I know what they all are, except... What is that little thing? I wish it clicked on the right. There we go. It's a disaster, what is what it is. Get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah! Yes! Yes! I mean, maybe it's Capricorn. Maybe. Maybe. I feel like that's a, that's a stretch. Uh, I feel like I'm meeting the game more than halfway on that one. Supreme Burrito, thank you for the 10 months. Uh, at it again with Nancy Drew. I thought you were giving up after the last one. You know, a lot of people said that I played one of the worst ones right off the bat. Uh, so I'm giving it another shot. I think this one's going a bit better since I don't have to keep swapping through the people. It is Capricorn. Are you... Joking. Okay. Well, okay. So, Scorpio, then Sagittarius, then Capricorn. 
I don't remember. Something in peril. I was trying to remember what the last one we played. Like I said, Nancy was in jail. We had to swamp through different people, and the town hall burned down. Um... Alibi and Ashes. Why was I thinking Peril? Oh, dude. So, um... I was hanging out with Danny for The Bachelorette on Monday, right? Uh, we watched some Lifetime Movie Network. And we saw a, uh... <laughs> we saw an ad for an upcoming movie. I think it's on Sunday that comes out. Uh, called Sinister Minister. And... It's a little hard to tell what exactly the game is about. It's like a minister and creeping on some girl or something. I'm not sure. Uh, but we we have we have committed to it just for the title alone. Because Sinister Minister is just a, an amazing title. It was, uh, your list of lifetime- We really want to find I, Me, Wed, but we couldn't find it, uh, last time we were over. We're gonna search again next time. But I'll be sure to let you guys know how, um, uh, Sinister Minister is. We watched a couple movies about, uh, nannies, or babysitter, it was like some nanny, evil nanny marathon or something. Looks like a piece is missing. Sounds like I did something right. I need to readjust all of these? No, that one's in the right spot. Might as well double check while I'm here. I think they are all in the right spots though. That one is right. Oh man, they have some really great marathons on Lifetime Movie Network. <laughs> Looks like the other ones were all right, because I'm a fucking genius, except for on all those things that I got stuck on today. Yeah, all right, let's, uh, we did. I haven't nope. done that. That's done. So does that mean I'm going to be able to do the key thing already? Right? Should we check in with the bird just to... Hello! How about a hint? Talk to me! Bye, bird. Love your uncle. Okay, I guess I'm going to go down to the, uh... Um, back down to the lab. Wrong way. 
I will say that I'm thankful that they uh, programmed a workaround for this puzzle. That was nice of them. Something would be different down here, I won't lie. Let's see here, I got the water working. How was I supposed to get the fire working? Um... Oh, I can... What does that mean? What does that mean? There's another people? So, wait, so... I don't know where this is supposed to be. Peephole... But it's looking down... It's looking down at a staircase? Upper level... statue was facing north Times and people. So is that the library? None of these places look like real places. Uh. Oh. Since the pipes are together, do I need to go do the... Well, no. I don't know.
If I open the door now, I'll flood the place. It's like they always say, um, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Peephole? Is there, is there like a peephole around here? Someone's spying on me? Is that a peephole? Hi, Linda. <sighs> I'll be going now. Fucking useless, Linda. What was that? Where'd this come from? Doom shall come on swift wings. To thee who has seen forbidden things. This looks like it came from a wolf. Wouldn't have been better to make like a tooth rhyme. Doom shall come uh, with swift teeth. To thee uh, who has seen this tooth. Meh. Did I keep the tooth? Oh, I kept the letter. Excuse me. Hi. I should get going. Bye. Do you know about this letter that I Hi, received? <sighs> I'll be going now. You think I'd be able to talk to Jane about it because uh, we got very similar letters. Drunk guy walks into your house, sits on your sofa, looks around, says sorry run, wrong house, and leaves. Well, there's a life story for you. And a great a great reminder uh, to lock your doors. That sounds terrifying. I would not be okay with that happening to me. Yes. Goodbye. I can't ask anyone about this stupid letter, really. I can't think of anything that used a tooth. Still can't go to the windows, it looks like. Dude, I always lock my doors. I'm paranoid when it comes to door locking. Things like that, dude. Hint. Yeah, yeah, I know the drill. This is a real Bye, piece babe. of shit. Bye, bird. I can't feed him the tooth. I'm trying to think of anywhere where I could use a tooth, but uh going to bake another cake for Lulu, if that's okay. Go right ahead. I almost feel like I should, like... 
just go to bed and see what happens. Because nobody really wants to talk to me, and if nobody wants to talk to me, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, we're probably slowly killing Lulu. Oh, did I get my food? Excuse me, did I get my food? No, I still have this shit. Like... This is Nancy Drew. I'd like to order some food. Sure, we've got some loop de loop bangers and mash, pinky and perky in a dog's eye, and they're all Robin Hood. Do you have any cake? No cake. In that case, can I have the dog's eye? That'll make me gooseberry right proud. Uncle Fred and Johnny Rudder? No, thank you. All right then, we'll come round and leave it at your Rory. Baked potato. Baked potato. Penvalin. Hi, Mr. Penvalin. Nancy, how can I help you? It was nice talking to you. Anytime. Like... Maybe Werewolf Lady would like to know that I'm being haunted by a werewolf? Oops. We're sorry. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. This is a recording. Oh, whoops. Uh, I want, I want to use my phone. This is Paliki. This is Nancy Drew again. Hey, I got a wolf tooth in the mail. Werewolf Thank tooth. You time. My pleasure. Hello. Hi, Mrs. Petrov. Hi, what's going on? Goodbye, Mrs. Petrov. Goodbye, Nancy. Okay, we're going to sleep. We are going to go. We're going to sleep till two tomorrow. Right? Did I get my food? Probably not. No, I don't think the game is bugged. Hi. I think I How just going? don't know what I'm supposed to do next. Hi, Linda. <sighs> I'll be going now. Aside from going back down to the lab, I mean, I don't... Mm. But I don't want to play a game with her. Eat the butter. <laughs> Dude, if I could eat the butter, I would eat the butter. Should I butter the envelope? No. I mean, I can play a game if that's really what- if that's what we're supposed to do.
Um, Edward, you seem to know uh, something's up. Could you tell me what what room, what room should I be in? Where should I go next? I guess I could talk to the bird. Remember the peephole chart. I remember the, uh... Oh my god, it was another... Hidden. I can see into Linda's room. Fucking thing. She's probably fine. Yeah, she's probably fine. God, it was another one of these cheap. Oh well, I. Of course, how, how how did you not know to look at this little sliver of a thing? Okay. I like these kind of games, but I hate that bullshit. I know what your arm looks like. I know you're a werewolf. Hi, Linda. <sighs> I'll be going now. Well, then I'm going to call my werewolf hunter friend. God, I always do that. This is Paliki. This is Nancy Drew, again. What is it now? What if someone seems to be growing a lot of hair, like, on her hands? What do you mean by a lot? I mean a lot. Well, to tell you the truth, psychosomatic hair growth is extremely unusual. In fact, as far as I know, it's unheard of. Are you saying that my friend really is turning into some kind of beast? No, of course not. But you might be well advised to keep an eye on her. And please, call me if anything happens. If anything like what happens? You'll know, Miss Drew. You'll know. You could just tell me, though, uh, to give me a heads up Thanks on that, time. or... Uh, okay. No, I guess not. I guess that's too much to ask. All right. Okay, well... Yes? Goodbye. The pleasure is all mine, child. I'm just going to pinch a little off here and a little off there. I wonder if there's a specific time I need to be peeping through that peephole. <clears throat> Hi. I should get going. Bye. Okay, I don't know that she's going to be any help to me anymore. What about... There was a time that I wrote down... I think 315.
Okay, so I heard chanting at 315. Excuse me. Uh Who is that? Hmm, I wonder if these are what made those red eyes I saw outside the night I arrived. I mean, should I I'm gonna, I want to look in the peephole. I want to look in the peephole. Well, I want to know where the spooky guy went. Uh... Dude, hey there. Azizi, I'm I'm doing uh, I'm doing all right. We're hopefully getting towards the end of this game. We've been playing for a while. Sure would like to know where the spooky man went. Dude, I would not be surprised if Ethel was the spooky guy. But also, there's that teacher. I I don't know. We don't see much of the teacher, which makes me not really trust the teacher. And the times that we have seen her, she's, like, popped out of nowhere. After watching me play this for 10 hours, you're installing a Nancy Drew for yourself. That's, you know, that's what it's all about, man. I still don't have, I don't have anything to offer this plant. Which I find insane that I can't just move the plant. Um... I, I still haven't a new dinner. hoping you could tell me. I found them in the hallway. I've never seen those before in my life. 
I should get going. Bye. She could be the werewolf. I mean, it seems fairly obvious that this person is the werewolf. Hi, Linda. Linda? I'll be going now. Play this almost as long as my Uncharted 4 full playthrough. That makes sense. Uncharted isn't too much about trying to figure stuff out. You know? Polly is a super bird! Polly is a super bird! Hey, uh. Hello! Lulu want a yummy cake? Cake! Lulu want cake! <laughs> Delicious! Bye, yeah. bird. Felicity! The door! The door! Thanks for that, Chrissy Angel. Yes. God. Goodbye. Run along. <laughs> I guess I could go back down. I mean, what else am I going to do but go down to the lab, right? Unless the kitchen magically opens. You can't just walk out the door. You have to get fired, pretty much. Yeah, see? You want me to call Ned? Hello? Hi, Ned. Hey, what's the latest? I think Linda really is turning into the Beast of Blackmore. Oh, come on. While I was looking into her room through this peephole, I... You were spying on her through a peephole? No. Well, sort of. Okay, so maybe I was. But the point is... I got a glimpse of her hand, and it was all hairy. You're kidding me. Frankly, it was pretty shocking. And if the rest of her is anything like her hand, well, it's no wonder she won't let anyone see her. I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation. I have no idea what it could be, but I'm sure there is one. I'll talk to you soon. Helpful as always, Ned. Always, uh, always coming through with the, um, with the good advice. Hi, Mrs. Petrov. Hi, what's going on? Goodbye, Mrs. Petrov. Goodbye, Nancy. Uh, I mean, I don't think that, uh, I don't think Werewolf Lady's gonna help me on this one. This is Baligibadas. I think those I'm are people. I'm currently attending the Transylvanian Symposium on Metamorphic Phenomena. I'll be back on the 10th. Call me then. I don't know if you guys could hear that yelling. I think that was the people that live below me uh did i get did i get me food did i already check me food okay well i'm gonna order some food and then go uh I go. Uh, this is Tommy. Yeah. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. I'd like to order some food. Yeah. Sure, we've got some loop de loop bangers and mash, pinky and perky and a dog's eye, and they're all Robin Hood. I'd like some pinky and perky, please. Good choice. Uncle Fred and Johnny Rudder? No, thank you. All right, then. We'll come round and leave it at your Rory. Baked potato. Baked potato. Okay, now let's go... I don't know. 
Let's go, uh... It says I'm supposed to, like, make a key out of it, but, uh, the thing isn't... It's not yet working. I think there's still something I've yet to do. And I'm afraid it's gonna be... in one of these stupid... Well, you didn't look here... parts. Cause this is fun. I am still streaming. It has been a while. But at the same time, it really hasn't been that long at all. But at the same time, it, it has been a while. Got the water. Got the wand. Tame Master Guardian Gargoyle and his two companions. Could that just be the guardian the gargoyles that are just sitting around? Am I just supposed to whack him with the... with the... staff? Do they have to go in order, or can I just fucking hit the shit out of them? And the winner is Lulu. Uh, uh, I think the other one was... Well...
Is that my only? Once more. This one probably works through magnets. Okay. Guardian and that's it, right? Perdicity! The door! The door! Okay, let's try this again. Did I do it? I can't tell if I got it or not. Once more. I may have to go read that stupid book again. Is there something I was supposed to do after? And the winner is no. Oh my god. Oh my god. And the winner is no. It was just 3 of them, right? It was uh Try again. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta go back to that stupid book. You're gonna need a bigger boat. Felicity, the door, the door. Fucking strangle that bird, dude. At least I know I'm on the right, uh, I'm on the right track. At least I figured out what to do next. Like, kind of. I don't know, I mean, I, I do appreciate the uh, the assistants. I don't know how often we'll be doing Nancy Drew games, but we'll probably do another one eventually. Fire does not seem to be working. Okay. If only I could, I don't know, take a book with me, you know? Apply the one, okay. Got it. Got it, got it. I gotta stick it in the hole. I should have known. When in doubt, just fucking stick it in the hole. so obvious, right? Alright. 
Okay, let's try this again. You're gonna... Shut the fuck up, Lulu! Shut the fuck up! Oh my god, where's the... No! Are you joking? Oh my god. How do I get to the hole? Whoa, something tells me I just succeeded in lighting the forge. Okay. We're just gonna give that a good old save. Uh, then let's go, let's go see what we did. Let's go see how things are looking. Of course it's not dangerous. Sticking a fire pole down a thing that people just dumped oil down. I mean, come on. What could go wrong? You'd think with all this elaborate shit down here, someone would have put in a light. Like, a single light bulb, maybe? A candle? I'm just going to save before I experiment with the molten metal. Just because I feel like I may have learned my lesson. It looks like some kind of key. Uh, did I get the key? doesn't work. I must have made it wrong. Well, might as well melt the old key down and try again. I don't know how I'm supposed to figure out the key. I'm finished with that. I haven't done that. Uh I'm not even on that much caffeine. I I thought about making another coffee a little while ago and then I just I was too lazy. I think we may have all the info that we need. I think, I think we might. Whoops, I want to double check. Hopefully, this is the last time I gotta do this crap.
the ending better be worth it. I don't know. I mean, it's not always about the ending. Sometimes it's about the journey, right? Well, the journey's been pretty good. Capacity, the door, the door! Okay. the Duke of Ballingsford, but she stayed at Blackmore to raise her son Thomas, who inherited the estate when his grandfather Charles died. Uh, okay, so my current train of thought is that since uh, Charles was the one to write that note, she wrote it to the next person in line, which would be that person, Jillian. And so that person is the coat of arms that we should look at. Or do we need to look at all of the coat of arms? Maybe, maybe everyone past this person put a clue in their coat of arms. Sure wish I knew who these people were. Uh... Well... I don't know, there's a lot of people in here. Well, we already used that one, though. Oh, I should have checked who signed the... Mm. that do you see that what is this circle around this uh... did you s this one doesn't have a circle around it Uh, okay, well, the only two things, oh, is that where the slide came out? Oh, well, that's less exciting, but I still think this could be the, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, um... I know Leo and Pegasus were both on that thing. Uh, I know that a raindrop was on this thing. Well, 
Well, there's a mouth. I know that there's someone's got a, a rainbow looking thing. And there's a T. Is there a book on any of these? There are books. Uh... Crap. There's actually a lot of matches on this one. There's a book. There's a comet. Well, maybe those are the only two. There's no bee, no acorn. Oh, uh, there's just so much. There's just so much stuff. Why does everyone have to have so much stuff on their... Did we have one that looked like a dragon? A missing dragon, and I'm missing that sun thing. Uh, mm, it's not quite the sun thing I was looking for. Oh, well, you have the dragon. Well, that's not quite as helpful as I had hoped. So literally every sign on this drawing shows up. Except for the... Uh... Except for the this one. Except for this one. No, I mean, this sun thing, it's a different sun thing, I'm pretty sure. God, I fucking get it, girl. I understand. I mean, it's, it, maybe this also shows up. It looks way different, uh, and it's also a symbol that's used in a variety of ways. Um... My initial thought was these two showed up, but the problem is, is that all of them showed up eventually. I sure wish I could just take that with me. Uh... I guess the sun is kind of the- well... No, we could take a look. Mm. Hi. I should get going. Bye. Hmm... 
Okay, I have to go. I have to go back to the factory. If nothing else, I need to go. Uh... Or not the factory, the uh, the forge or whatever. I need names. Okay. So Charles wrote it. Then... See, Thomas was the next. Thomas... There's so many, though. What happened? I don't think anyone. Uh, you don't need to be. You don't need to be sorry for anything. No one needs to be sorry for anything, unless anyone was being a dick. John, Charles. Harold. Okay. See a ghost cart. Uh so Thomas maybe. Oh my god, you can- oh my god. It's even worse than what I thought. You can- Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So do I need to find what side, maybe it's what side of the crest each symbol shows up on? Maybe?
Well, if some were on the crest by themselves, then maybe they could be the the middle one, right? Like uh, book shows up in the in the middle, maybe. Book shows up in the middle. Uh, Comet shows up in the middle. The drop shows up on the left. Deer is not one. Uh, I still don't think, I don't think that that's the sun. Um. T showed up on the right hand side. Now I'm gonna have to try this the opposite way anyway. Because, um. Hmm. Is that Leo? Did I miss a Leo back there? No. So this Leo also shows up. Yeah, but the whole coat of arms backwards thing, I can't forget about that. Pegasus is on the right drop is also in the middle e. did I get that this first drop on the it's on the left on the left okay Excuse me. Excuse me. Mm, star on the left side. I don't know if that comet counts. Maybe. Pointing King is on the right. This is probably not even correct, what I'm doing here. Mouth is on the right. Parrot, not on it. Sun, still unconvinced. And then dragon. Okay, well I have something for each space, uh, except for... Uh, I wonder if that comet, surely that comet counts as a comet, right? Even though it's going straight down, it was a single comet. Uh, okay. I'm gonna make a few keys. I'm going to count that as a comet.
initially and we'll come back and again this could be completely incorrect Melt the old key down and try again. Oh, wait, I gotta do the uh, okay. Okay, so let's not count that comment though. I've got two more combinations that I can try, otherwise I'm fucked. Melt the old key down and try again. Yep, I think this is the last thing on my checklist. Surely it's not reversed. Because the... I gotta go look at it again. 
I feel like I've got all the information that I need. I just haven't put it together in the way I'm supposed to put it together. Is that two? Jam the staff in the keyhole. Dude, you know what? That that could work. Use the butter. I hope it's I hope it's the butter. I have my doubts, but uh, I sure hope. Um I don't think the- I don't think the... Maybe it does. So, I wonder if this is the... If this is the key... Or the... The key maker thing. I think that may- I think that, uh... That's important, but she's still in bed. She's still a werewolf. She's in bed. Glenn, the singer. It took me a little while. Thank you so much for subscribing. Hey, Ian, I've loved the stream so far, and I know that you can do this. I'm a big fan, and I am proud of you for getting so far. Thank you very much, Ron. I'm, I'm sure I'm trying, dude. Uh... It's like a sundial thing. Sundial? Oh, did I take the key with me instead of the thing I melted down with? Because if this is the press... Then... Mm, we're gonna go... Get me out of here. I'm not in those ch chattery teeth. Do these even count? Should I even? Maybe I shouldn't even count the ones on the wall. The are these for anybody? Who who are these for? Uh. 
Uh, okay. Dear, see, there's a little drop. So drop to the left. And there's another comet in the middle. Does that cancel the other comet out? But then there's a third comet. I mean, maybe the sun, maybe the sun does count. Maybe if it looks like a sun, it counts. At this point, I don't know. I didn't get any feedback from the game. So I don't know if I'm on the right trail, if I'm on some ghost hunt. Nobody knows. Uh, I guess I'll put the suns as a, as a maybe. Uh, pop, pope, popey, lon, sixy. Uh, sorry. <laughs> you glorious, beautiful bastard. I'm so happy I finally caught a stream. Thank you so much for subscribing. I apologize for butchering your name. T on the right. Leo in the middle. Does it matter which direction Leo is facing? He was facing a certain direction. Leo on the left. Pegasus on the right. Water drop in the middle. Okay. Well, now there's three comments. <laughs> it could... It, <laughs> Maybe that does count. I don't know. Who knows? It could count. It could not count. Does the sun count as a... Are the compass count as a sundial? It's kind of close. Oh, dude, there's stars in the middle. I missed the first time. I wonder if that's what I missed. Is the only thing I missed the stars? Comet to the left, okay. Uh Pointy King on the right. Mouth on the right. There's another fucking sun. Sun in the middle, maybe? And then... Dragon in the middle. So, maybe the only thing I missed... 
Was the star in the middle? I got nearly the same thing aside from I was a little... With the sundial, I wrote those down. All right. And now it's time to go all the way back. You know what that kind of reminds me of? Maybe that just means I've been playing this game for too long. I'm trying to think of if there are any... Any coats of armor that I missed? They would all be in the Great Hall, though. I don't know. <clears throat> See, Ice Princess. It doesn't work. I must have made it wrong. Well, might as well melt the old key down and try again. I just wish I wish I had some info to go on. Like it doesn't work. I must have made it wrong. That well, doesn't tell me well anything. Down and try again. All it literally tells me is I could be wrong in one or a hundred places. really have my doubts about uh... It doesn't work. I must have made it wrong. Well, might as well melt the old key down and try again. Might as well shut the fuck up, Nancy. Just shut it. You just...
Okay. Let's try... I don't need stress, Rat. I'm not stressed. I'm just a little frustrated. It doesn't work. I must have made it wrong. Well, might as well melt the old key down and try again. What if I said, fuck no, to the ones on that wall? And I don't think the ones on the sundial count either. Okay, I have a question. I have one question, because I think some people are, you know, at least a little bit ahead of me. My one question, is right right, or uh, do I need to flip them? Like, because uh, I read that thing, so, uh... If I, s you know, you know what I'm asking. I saw the Pegasus on the right side of the crest. So. Neither? I fucking, I fucked it all up. Oh, I f fucked it all up. Now I gotta figure out how to get out of this fucking place. I'm in the corner.
get it, get it, get it, yeah! Yes! Yes! Uh, Jaw Link... Level 5, maybe? Thank you for subscribing. I love your streams, and I hope you will click on the chattering teeth and sleep. Nancy needs a quick rest. Uh, I, I can click on the teeth for you. I mean, next time I'm in there. Oh my god. Oh my god. How many of you out there figured this out? Simple yes or no. I, I, I see the information that I'm missing. And if you saw the information that I missed like an hour ago, you're probably just... just pulling your hair out. Oh my god, okay. Well, the good news... is that, uh... See these little symbols up here? I'm assuming that that is the... the symbol for the, the comet. This is a comet with a... with a drippy drop, though. Uh... Okay, I'm not sure about the, the drip, the drip, 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 drip. So the book, it's both. I wonder, I wah, 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 wonder. I wonder if this is, uh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. I guess it doesn't matter. Oh my god. I feel like this is a way less clever way to hide your symbols. I feel like I was thinking way too hard. Is that for both? It's gotta be for both of the... See, this one doesn't have a, a symbol, but it's got the drop there. Well, I'm a fucking giant moron. Okay, we well, have to start over. Because, uh, like I said, I'm a giant moron. Oh my god, I'm a giant moron again. Okay, star. This does not have anything. 
Is it? What I'm wondering is on these ones where the some symbols appear on multiple, like here's a comet, but it's not diagonal, so I'm not gonna count that one anymore. Teeth. See, like, okay, so we've got Comet here that's the T, and then we've got Comet and Drip that's just a line. Um, but I guess it doesn't matter, because on the Comet, they both have, you know, in the Drip, there's one in the middle. Book is the T. And that's it. Rainbow. T. Leo. I'm assuming that this lion doesn't count because it's facing the other way. So I'm assuming it doesn't count. Right? So Leo Leo Lefty is the one we're counting. And that's all of them, I think. I'm going to go double check that book and I have to I have to click some teeth. And then we're going to go give it a give it a whirl. jump scare warning you realize how ridiculous that sounds right <laughs> Melt the old key down and try again. Oh, 
I wonder if I should just guess on the sundial thing. Stop giving me hints. I will I will ask for hints when I need the hints. Measure head on the desk and cry a bit. Uh. Cause I can't think of where else there would be any. Melt the old key down and try again. The hint I was being sn snippy at. Well, oh, I'm doing the wrong fucking thing. Uh, is uh to think about every coat of arms that I saw. I've been trying to think of any coat of arms that I missed. And I can't... think... There, that looks right. Well, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. It's mine, bitch. I would have found it before you did if I didn't have to sit there all day learning all that other silly rubbish. It's mine, bitch. I don't I don't know, but it's mine. That is the Pendleton treasure. A rock? 600 years of secrets and mystery and puzzles all because of a stupid rock? No way. There must be something under it. No, don't Oh, you're going to die, bitch. You're going to die. Are we both gonna die? Jane, I told you not to touch it. <laughs> oh boy. Give me a second. I can't uh, alt tab out of that game without showing like my entire desktop. So I have to switch off of it. Boy oh boy, I hope. Man oh man do I hope. <laughs> that uh That that game saved. Oh, oh boy! What if I second chance? No, oh my god! Okay. It. That's right, no, bitch. Yeah. It's not really sick. 
I just made her think she is. I left that curse in her room and gave her allergy pills and put her medicine in a moisturizer. And she didn't figure that out? Why? I just wanted to go away. I just wanted to be daddy and me and mommy. My real mommy. Please don't make me talk anymore, Nancy. <gasps> There's no air in here. I can't breathe. Yeah, you deserve it. figure out a way to get that box off of her fast. Do I, though? I'm out of air. Yeah, you are. <laughs> playing this game over here. Uh, I don't fucking know, bitch. You're the one in the. Uh, I use the. Uh, hey, buddy, you want to come help out? Uh, I don't know. I think you may die, dude. Uh, cause I can't. I don't know, man. I think you're gonna die. Use the butter. <laughs> Would you like some butter, dear? I don't know, man. I think you're just fucked. Shouldn't you should have paid attention when I said don't? Uh... I think she's just dead. I think she died. I think that's. Uh... That's not helpful. Mm. I don't know, dude. I can't leave yet. Why? It sure does look like it has to do with this guy's hands. Can I put all this crap in your hands? Uh, you want to hold on to some of this shit for me, dude? Oh, God, maybe... Oh, there's the box. Okay, all right, all righty, all righty. Thank you. You didn't Dear deserve Nick. it. Well, there is a beast of Blackmore, Jane. She made poor Linda think she was turning into a monster by putting her uncle's hair restorer in Linda's moisturizer. She also slipped Mrs. Drake's allergy pills into Linda's food so she'd feel woozy all the time. An extremely dangerous thing to do. Needless to say, Jane's father was very upset, especially when he found out Jane had done it because she still wants him and her real mother to get back together. After Jane apologized to Linda, and Hugh apologized to both of them, they all resolve to do whatever it takes to become a real family. Dude, the piano. The Blackmore Manor. Mm -hmm. Ever since mm -hmm. I told him about all the passageways mm -hmm. and gadgetry mm -hmm. I discovered, mm -hmm. Hugh has become fascinated with his family history. 
and has asked, no, ordered Ethel to teach him what she's taught Jane. And while he doesn't believe for a second that the meteorite in that old alchemy lab has magical powers, he has encouraged Jane to come up with a puzzle to help ensure its safekeeping, just as initiates have been doing for centuries. Which reminds me, the Pendulins swore me to secrecy when it comes to all their traditions. So don't tell anybody any of this, okay? Nigel suspected something was up when he came to get his laptop and has been hounding me ever since. This is just the kind of stuff he'd love to include in that unauthorized tell-all he's trying to write. If he calls me one more time, I'm telling on him. To Mrs. Drake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That'll teach him. Ever yours, Nancy. Hey, sassy detective, congratulations on cracking the case. You've been awarded the title of, I hope it is sassy detective man, oh man. Do I hope it is sassy detective? Svelthior Druis? Yay. The year is 1930, and everything is on the rise. Unemployment, government breadlines, and organized crime. In the midst of it all, a heroine is born. Armed with only a flashlight, a blue roadster, and a spirited resourcefulness, a 16-year-old detective will go on to inspire hope in the hearts of young girls and curses upon the lips of evildoers everywhere. Her name? Nancy Drew. Wasn't that the first book or something like that? Dude, 2005, can you wait? Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. All right. Uh, speed run in. Okay, I have to switch to this. Oh my god. Well, hey. How long? It was a pretty fast game. It only took me a cool... 11 and a half hours... Uh, to do this. <laughs> If you happen to watch all of this stream, I don't know how many of you out there were here for this whole thing. Even if you just watch the VOD of the whole thing, you have my thanks. You have my thanks and, uh, and my congratulations for making it through this entire thing. Uh, so I'm done. It's, it's 9.16. So probably time to get something to eat today. Uh, but thanks everyone for watching. I will be streaming again on Wednesday. Don't expect 11 hours. Uh, but I'm going to go now. I'm not going to draw out the, the exit too much. Thanks everyone for watching. Please follow if you haven't. We'll play another Nancy Drew... Some more adventure games. We'll play more. There will be more of this for sure. Uh, so have a great night, everyone. And I will see you again on Wednesday. I'm going to go eat some food and, uh, and catch some Zs. Night, everybody. And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.